Bakers. Hello. Look at me this. Hello. Beautiful lady. How are you? I'm good. Good. I was just chuckling because I did that again. Yeah, I, mm, I so, do that. So, you, this mm. lovely Stuart from Sewing Street says, oh, it makes me laugh, Elwood. Every time you step into to the building, you're always like, hi. It's like, you know, do you think you're Beyonce or something? And then I walked in behind I you and went, exactly hi. <laughs> It's a girl thing. It's it a must, JM thing. Must be. It clearly must be. It's They're just a friendly wave. It is. It's an excited wave. Because not only is it the weekend and it's going to be a scorcher, mm. we've also got, yeah, it's got, apparently we've got, um, it could be, it, yeah, it's definite shorts and oh. flip-flop weather. Um, it's predicted to be 30 degrees this weekend. Um, nice for some. Not for me. Not for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Adam loves it. Absolutely loves it. I like 20s. 20s me too, is fine. Me too. That's nice. Mm. <laughs> I'll be there with the fan on me. Just I oscillating with it. I can't move. Yeah. Just oscillating in front of the <laughs> yeah. fan. Mammy, can you move out of the way? No. <laughs> no, definitely. Definitely no, not. Stand aside. Stand aside. Mummy's hot. <laughs> <laughs> we've got we have got an absolutely amazing friday morning um and i'm going to start by talking about your amazing kits oh they're gorgeous so beautiful and do you know what i love about them it's not hard none of it's difficult so this could be jewelry uh, jewelry for any oh any any capabilities yeah. yeah and i think you know when it's jewelry that you want to wear yeah like do, do you like to wear it doesn't matter if you're advanced or beginners or in between because you just can't wait to get that jewelry on your wrist or wherever yeah totally um, i've also got rings in the 12 o'clock they're amazing it's a bit of gem setting but it's simple all you need is pliers so you don't need to be afraid of of this gem setting so if you haven't done gem setting before is this an ideal opportunity to get cracking yes ah <sighs> Now, these are coming up at midday. I love the little briolette drop so as well. So I. That's beautiful. I absolutely love the charm rings that are coming in, you know, the little charms. And the yeah. briolette on there is just lovely. Because as you, I love jewellery that moves. And as Me you too. move your hand, it moves. It's so lovely. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So those are 12 o'clock. And your 9 o'clock kits are about a gemstone. Um... I yeah. don't know if we've done it in a kit before, actually. I think I it's always been it. in a showcase. And it has to be one of your favourites. Oh, it is selenite. Yeah, I knew it. I mean, it's just... Because you love the metaphysical, don't you? Yeah, it's crown chakra. It's all about inner peace. It's all about um, calm. I need a bit of that. I need a bit of inner peace and calm, especially at the moment. Do you? Are yeah. you feeling stressed? Well, no, you know, I'm just busy. Yeah. Just busy, busy. Yeah. Like I was telling you before, I've got oh, one doing... Hey, that was one doing... They're not O-levels anymore, but you know what I GCSEs. mean. GCSEs. GCSEs. Um, yeah, so uh, selenite. And I also love, all that aside, like some people aren't into that, are they? But, you know, I love the, all the little, like, clouds inside They're so beautiful. It. Selenite, if you've never seen selenite before, it, what it does yeah. with light is just unbelievable. It's, it's such a got, beautiful stone. It's like it's got a little orb of light inside. Yeah. It just goes... Pew. If you could put, if you could describe an aura in a gemstone, it would be selenite, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, yeah. It would be selenite. So these are coming up. First time ever, we predict, um, in a kit. I, I, I don't recall ever doing selenite in I've a kit. I've not done one. Personally. And it comes with some lovely sterling silver components. So those are at nine o'clock today. Um, your deal of the day today, and it cast your mind back a couple of months ago, maybe? Maybe not even that, to be truthful. But we had a huge mega auction quantity of 500. Mm -hmm. um, in beautiful topaz. Now, for the, those of you who will be going, ah, I know straight away which one Elle's talking about. Mm -hmm. It was a sellout. And of course, as you um, you actually requested, we have managed to get in, in touch with that supplier and get the last remaining quantity for you. So it's if we had have had a thousand on that day when we launched this strand, we'd have still sold out of the <laughs> thousand. Um, honestly, um, so we've got literally the last of it now okay. so we went back to the supplier anything that you can give me let's have here it is and you can oh. see why we and you absolutely loved it it's beautiful oh. topaz i want that on my wrist because it's almost like you know the reflection you get on a diamond t tennis yeah bracelet, you yeah know, that we all want one but they're thousands this all the colours. I think it's more sparkly. Oh, well, it is. Because the light can come through everywhere. Well, you get it? more brilliance from a topaz than diamonds in certain cuts. Um, this being one of them. Now, um, in terms of quantity, Roscoe, how many do we have? Oh. What? We've got that quantity. 
And that's it. Wow, okay, we have got mega quantity. All I'm gonna to suggest to you, if you love the finest quality topaz and you know you're gonna use it throughout your years of jewelry making, get it now because our supplier cannot offer us any more. Um, we have got mega auction quantity. This is that chance. Um, so I'm gonna say, don't just stock up your stash, stock up your stashes for years to come um, because I know where it's going to as well, Debbie. Ooh, is it three uh, mil? It is three mil. I am constantly looking for three mil. In fact, if there's any of these left, I'm going to get these for Daisy's prom. Do it today because, because we can't got... get it after okay. this. Um, so it's at 10 o'clock. And I tell you what we're going to do is we're going to put it available on pre-order at 9 a.m. this morning. So you can shop ahead. Do it today because we know to actually repeat a strand like this. We've been told, no, we haven't got any more. That's it. So it might well be years until we get it again. Who knows? That's coming up. And then check this out too. On the back of that deal of the day, we've also got it in some faceted marquees. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, my goodness me. There's only 50 of this oh, one now, so it is much, beautiful. much, much more limited. So these are happening at 10 o'clock today. I also want to show you the most unbelievable pearl deal that Ross and I discussed briefly before we came live. And we were like, is that right? Is, is that, you know, you know when something just doesn't quite sit right in your head? Yeah. Um, now these are natural pearls, so they're not dyed in any way, shape or form. I'm gonna hold them up to the neckline. <gasps> Natural pink pearls. We were saying our graphics don't say near rounds, but I think we would all agree that they are. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, I would. You won't believe. I'm going to touch. Shall I just say these are? You can get both. It's got to be a price error. Got to be Ross. We can't get our head around it. Less than you normally with us, I'd say there 199 per strand. Would you yeah, agree? Yeah, yeah, 199 yeah. here at Jewelry Maker, that is outside of these four walls. Heaven knows. Um, I'm gonna tell you, do, shall I give a hint, Ross? You can get both mm. today. Mm. This is why I think it's an error mm. for less than 100 pounds. Both at nine o'clock, yeah, both. So we'll bring imagine those with your topaz. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. And don't forget, sometimes, listen, I love Jewelry Maker. Sometimes, Jewelry Maker, amazing. You know, they're a lovely bunch, we really are. But sometimes our left hand doesn't know what our right hand's doing. <laughs> I'm just going to say it as it is. It's true. Is it true? Because we all, we all uh, myself included, always forgets this. Because if you go to our website, I'm reminding you, which I probably won't get thanked for, but hey-ho. Nine o'clock today, look. You can also get a further 10% off your show price because oh. it's this month's birthday. So that's show price, not just web price? No. Oh, that's amazing. I know. Um, add the code at your checkout and genuinely, you're paying less than what you should be paying for one strand of these pearls. Genuinely, I believe that. Genuinely. Oh, that's um, amazing. I know, honestly. We've also got coming up the most amazing, and I want these. Let me get my tweezers <laughs> a second. I'm shopping again, you know, Debbie. <laughs> the most amazing oh. pearl pendants, which have this lovely vine that kind of wraps itself that's around. Crazy. Now, that's at nine o'clock today. You can't shop ahead on it yet, but what you can shop ahead on is the Malachite version. This is in this hour. So you get the perfect um, Malachite. And I'm going to try and turn it round towards our lovely Adam. Because look, what do I see? Whoa, what do I see there? The perfect peacock eye, absolutely, which you pay a premium for. Um, so you get this and you get that oh, I love textbook that. sample. Isn't it lovely? I, I love that. If that if that was in a shop window, it would be in one of the, yeah, I agree. It would probably be, it would be three figures and then some. And then some. You can shop ahead on this and I would encourage that. The Malachite jewellery, I was looking um, through some websites and 
the malachite jewelry you know when they do different versions of something yeah the malachite's often more expensive isn't it yes on the website because it's rare it's yeah. very rare uh, and it's so in demand at the moment you know i've shared with you my favorite powerpoint um and i actually gave it to our sister channel as well the other day when they were doing a showcase if you read this paragraph about third of the way down um there you go just over half concentrically banded malachite known as peacock's eye is especially sought after as it is rarer than linearly banded gemstones wow that's a perfect peacock's eye that i've just shown it you it is um yes shop ahead on these it's an item number one on the website so you can shop ahead and i would encourage that on this hour because remember each item does disappear um, come nine o'clock this morning um so there it is number one 49.99 and it is going lower if you have any requests any items that you want me to bring to air maybe that bale uh, that ball class sorry maybe this gemstones uh set baroque pearl how about those beautiful toggles how about the mexican turquoise any of these items you can shop ahead even before i actually bring them to air some of them are locked some of them will go lower so um just make sure you guarantee natural kyanite it's just unbelievable that strand um that is the very last of stock though um, yeah, I would have expected that to have been Fisher filled in some way, shape, or form. There's that clasp I was eyeing I like up. That. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. It's like a brock it's unusual, pearl. Isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Um, so you can shop ahead on all of these items. We've got bundles of your three mils coming your way as well. So, genuinely, rock and a hard place. You're going to almost wish you were at home today. As usual. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I, don't, I definitely want those um, for the prom though because I've got the green gemstone and now I need the sparkly clear. You need so the sparkle. Perfect. They'll go on pre-order at nine o'clock today. So I don't want you to miss out because the demand for that strand is huge, absolutely huge. Um, I can already see items are flying out the door. And I need to mention the pinch bales. The other pinch, the, oh yeah, sorry, we've got it in the different stones, haven't we? We've got it in the malachite, we've got it in the pearls. Yeah. That's a, yeah, sorry. Um, I was thinking that, that we had other things in there as well. Shop ahead on those and they literally just pinch together. You can use a little bit of your glue as, if you wanted to. Anybody could do that, talking about ease of luxury jewellery. I like that as well because it just gives that minimalist little bit of um, precious metal at the top of something, especially a pearl or a little pendant. It's really pretty. I love that malachite because you could hang something from the bottom like you a could. tassel. Yeah. Because you've got that space, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. We'll do that about quarter to nine. Okay. Oh, so, I like both of them. I can't decide. I know. Well, <laughs> let's just say we're going to get you. A, we're we're going to make sure that you have um, you have the best deal. So possibly you can get both. Ooh. Shall we start with that clasp that I uh, that I mentioned? Yeah. This is a box clasp. Get your messages in as well. Come and say hello to us. Um, have we got a topic? Shall we talk about the weather? You know, it's very British, isn't it, to talk about the weather? Do you like it when it's in the 30s? Yeah. Or are you like me and, and Debbie prefer it to be a little bit uh, Friday morning? Are you gonna be are you gonna be are you gonna be out sunbathing, worshipping or or wallowing in a paddling pool like I did the other day? <laughs> yeah. Mummy, can mummy get out? No. <laughs> <laughs> mummy's mummy's turn in the paddling pool. <laughs> um, <laughs> How many grams are in here? Two and a half grams of beautiful sterling silver. I mean, if you're if you're working with things like your brock and your fireball yes. pearls, to have that continuity of design, it would be absolutely perfect. It kind of sets that strand yeah. apart. It does it, that piece of jewellery, and it's obviously going to lay beautifully against the decolletage. You can see the box class there as well. Um, look at that, and and you know it's so weird that I'm holding this right now because only last night I was trying to find. I was looking around at, uh, at competitors as well. Very little, very little clasps. There's a very little design aspect to clasps, yeah, I is. always think. There They're is. always very bog standard, yeah. if you see where I'm coming from. So it's lovely that jewellery maker do things like your gemstone set clasps, for example, those toggles that are available today, and pieces like this. Um, I know that Charlie Barron's designs very much, you know, that's, it, 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 it's really important. It's really important to him that you have, at the end of the day, it's not just functional, is it? It's, no. it, it needs to be beautiful. Um, what's that? You feel like Suru have done something like this. Yeah, or Monica Veneda, I think, definitely. Um, and that wouldn't surprise me, but they come with a certain price point, don't they? £19.99. Oh, that's pence. good. That's a chunky bit of silver there. It is. Mm. And again, to actually make something like this, let's see if I can actually show you how the box starts. You've got plenty of purchase because it is such a big amount of sterling silver. So just squeeze it. There you go. That's simple. Push it together. I'm going to be getting some of these. 
uh, push it together and you've got that wonderful security there of the box class. All that 925, if I just hold it up by the jump ring, come here, come here, come here. Um, there you go. And you can imagine how it's going to sit on the decolletage. Um, how many do we have of these? It could be a pendant, an on and offable pendant. Yeah. <laughs> That would be that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Aha! Oh, this is what you're thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like the Nura pendant that you see on Monica Veneda. Yeah, kind of that the organic, hammered. Kind yeah. Of metal. I just like it because I think you know you could get the same strand of pearls and put this on it, mm. or just put maybe I don't know a bolt ring or a lobster class, and you'd be drawn to that. Would make it look completely different, more totally. designer. Totally. I think if you have if you've got Baroque pearls in your stash. Using a class like this, yeah. it's that continuity, isn't it? It's just yeah. going to look seamless. Now, this is brand new. We've never brought this to air. And to be honest, 19.99 for the gram weight, for the design aspect, there are only 30 of these available. This might be, we're going to go even lower. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Everybody will pay that final low price tag. All around the world get involved. We've got New York, California, hello to you, Durham, Lancashire, Maker, London, County Tyrone. Well done for being up nice and early with us all, or it might be late if you're in the States, of course. Twelve ninety nine only. For again, I just think it's so important because, as you know, for those of you that know me anyway, know that I love pearls, and I think if I've got baroque pearls or fireball pearls, and I'm kind of knotting it together in a kind of Lady Gaga inspired yeah, necklace, yeah, yeah. I want the clasp to be as yes. beautiful. You know, I don't want it. I don't want to just put a bolt ring clasp in there. There's nothing wrong with a bolt ring clasp, but it's not that. Oh, wow, look at that. No, and a lot of the design. Designers are doing, um, like, uh, how do I put this? Metal versions of a yeah. gemstone and putting yeah. it with gemstones. So, like, a metal version of a tumble stone, and they're having sort of amethyst tumbles, and then the metal version of that up the other side. That's yeah. quite big. So, this is like the silver version of a Baroque pearl or Beautiful. fireball pearl. Mm. So, it's quite on trend as well. Yeah, very it? much so. Twelve ninety nine. I think that's an amazing price. It though. is. I, I think we should do these in all different colours as well. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? All different colours, in the rose, in the in the yellow gold too. Um, we only had 30 though, so I think they will be an on-screen sellout. I definitely think there's a real gap in the market for clasps. Um, a real gap in the market. Um, yeah, it's something that Adam and I have spoken about at length. I, I think there's, yeah, we need to be branching out somewhat away from, nothing wrong with these clasps no. of course, but you know, there's, there, there is, there's a gap for something which is much more designer inspired. 12.99, Ida, Linda, Lancashire, hello to you, Alla, California, Olga, hello to you, Lorna, Margaret, Donna, hello to you, Heather, Leicestershire. There's only seven left, so I'll leave those with you because if you don't get them, guess what? <laughs> we will, 100%. <laughs> um, right, let's do, yes, Ross is like, I knew you'd like that one, Al. I'd be putting that with those pearls, those pink pearls. So we do some lovely natural purple pearls. With the shepherd hook, now I know these are very limited now. Oh, they're beautiful. Look how, look how perfectly spherical they are. Look at the colour. Yeah, and oh. it's natural. Oh, they're beautiful. They're not dyed. They are beautiful. Totally natural. And then wait until you see this. Hang on, I'll get my tweezers. You've got the sterling silver. Look how beautiful these are. Oh, they're beautiful. They're just classical. Oh. Simplicity. Oh, I just, love those. And me, just a little dab of glue. Leave them overnight. Oh. You've just made high-end jewellery. I love the pearls. I love the colour, the subtlety of it. Look at that. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah, you, all the overtones visible there. You can see the pistachios, the blues, can't you? You can see the pinks. That shows, that indicates that they are natural pearls. This is that auction. Oh, I see. <laughs> There was a certain tone to this, wasn't there, that Ross said in my ear. It's like, was. this is one of those auctions where a producer who <laughs> covered my shift, you can't say, you, you were on holiday. You were on holiday. Um, he's like, I'm being honest, if it was Ross, he'd have closed it at a great deal, by the way. Okay. He'd have closed it here. That's really good. Okay, so I presume they closed it lower. He said, at a push, depending on what the quantity was originally in the auction, he might have pushed it under £20. Okay. Eight mil natural purple pearls with the sterling silver components. You yeah. don't need to do anything other than literally glue them into place. But, 
Yes, we had uh, we had um, a non-regular jewellery maker producer and somebody that probably doesn't know our product as well as the cost prices, etc. <laughs> wow, Ross. <laughs> he says, you'll agree with me in a second because there's only 10 left. He says, I'll match the price purely because it's been launched at this price tag. Oh, that is idiotic, I agree. <laughs> but it's a good idiotic. I like it. It's fantastic for you, but I get it. <laughs> Ross is like, look, I want to get paid at the end of the month, and so this isn't going to do that. There's literally nothing oh, in this amazing. for jewellery makers. That... <laughs> he says, normally you can work out a reasoning, but there's no reasoning to this whatsoever. They're natural pearls, and they've sold out. Congratulations, well done. <laughs> It's funny. I want to get paid at the end of the month. He I've says, never I'm... heard him so passionate. I've never heard him so angry. He's having a little bit of a rant, isn't he? <laughs> a bit of a rant. Maddest, most stupid deal anybody's ever done. Idiotic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got what, sorry? I do. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. There's only seven left. Is this another one of those deals, <laughs> Ross? Is it? He says, no, no, this one makes sense. He oh, says, because I, I launched it. Hang on, which way's the front? That way? Yeah. That way. He says, it couldn't be launched any better. <laughs> there it is. Um, and we, um, yeah, when we launched it, we, we actually sold separate auction, the actual necklace. So if you've got that, it clips on perfectly, doesn't it? Um, if not, I mean, I'd be putting this on my pearl necklaces. I'd yeah. Be, it's on and offable, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. There are only five left, though. Oh, we didn't close at 39.99. Do you know what? Some might say this deal, idiotic. <laughs> That's the word of the day. Word of the day. Uh, Ross, I want to get paid at the end of this month. <laughs> <laughs> because look at all that sterling silver and it's an on and offable bail. It kind of pinches over. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Ross, mine, 14 99 for a pill of that size with all that sterling silver, you know, people in glass houses and all that, <laughs> you know, um, amazing. We've only got how many did you say left? Two left. I'll leave those with you because they are going to sell out. Remember, you've got to check out come up the top of this hour. Um, have I got... Yes. Now, there's a reason why I put these on today. And on my day off, genuinely, these are something I made for a show absolutely ages ago. It's just literally they're lovely. bracelets. They're very, I just think they're a little bit Astley Clark inspired, they aren't are. they? You know, like the, the biography bracelet that we always talk about, um, which are like 100 and something pounds, 130, something along those lines. If you like this look, and I've got loads, I did kind of rein it in a little bit. Normally I wear about 10 of them. Um, if you like that idea, then here's the perfect bundle. Just putting them with some Mayuki spacer beads. Are they gemstones? Yeah. Or tassels. Oh, I love them. I know. You get all ten of them as well. So within this bundle, you have lapis lazuli, rose quartz, black spinel, peridot, garnet, uh, quartz, clear quartz, uh, blue agate, labradorite, amethyst, and amazonite. And by the way, you'll make loads of bracelets out of one strand easily. Um, I've, got, I've got about ten of these at home that I always wear on my days off. Oh, I love these. They're so gorgeous. And if you're a seed beader and you usually use um, your Preciosa glass beads, you can use actual gemstones. Yeah. And I love doing that. I love substituting like a bicone in a pattern for a gemstone, but you can rarely get enough yeah. of that it's size. That, it's, that, it's like that three mil. It's like a magic. Like you get a lot of four mil, but the three mil you tend to, well, I don't know if it's changed now, but you tend to get less like I wanted three mil for Daisy's prom jewelry and I was finding it really difficult four yeah. mil yes three mil not so much yeah or well, two mil even yes well you can get ten ten strands ten. Won't be any for me <laughs> um we're not stopping at 129 pounds 99 pence you will make so much jewelry out of these tassels spacers stretchies looming that's five pound per strand wow. 
wow, yeah, I need to get these as well. I'm going to be joining you, I think, Dee, because, um, bless my heart, my poor little six-year-old, she keeps, mummy, uh, can you make that? <laughs> She's been asking me for I don't know how long, bless her. And there's no excuse, I've got the elastic now. I have got it. Um, yes, Willow, yes, yes, I promise I will do it. But once the kids go to bed, I'm tired. Yeah, I just course. want to chill out and everything. But I will do it for her, I promise. I've had a sound bad mummy, naughty no. mummy. But these would be perfect, wouldn't they? Absolutely perfect. What do you mean it doesn't stop there? There's another big crash. There's 220 carats of three millimetre faceted beauties here. Bundle of 10 strands. And I reckon you'll get about three bracelets out of one strand. Yeah, are they, how long are the strands? 38 centimetres? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all 38. No, don't say. <gasps> the phone lines on the web have lit up. What's that each? Three pounds. That's amazing three pounds a strand was this a birthday deal or something it's got to be hasn't it there was only nine um sorry if you miss out you can always wish list it though wish list it wishes it just so you know your wall of fame is coming up as well at 12 o'clock today so make sure you're with me for that um oh the big baroque pearl with the gemstone set i've got this I bought a few of these and I've set them onto some sterling silver bales and they're going to be Christmas presents. I know, it's only June. I know. Um, but you'd, I don't want to risk not being able to get hold of items like this. Now, they are genuine gemstone set, not, not crystal, as we have seen elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and because it is well, quite a lengthy and technical process to obviously not just set the gemstones into a genuine cultured pearl, but they're also tube set too. Yes. Um, so you've got to do like a double setting, if yeah. you like. You need a lot of equipment. You do. Um, they're half drilled, so all you need is your bale. I can show you a few different jewellers when I first launched these that do gemstone set pearls. Mm -hmm. um, for example, 18 karat yellow gold pearl set diamond ring, $2,900. Okay, they're diamonds and it's 18 karat gold. I can show you another. They're beautiful. Oh, I love those. Very similar. Um, very, very similar. I might, they, might, well, they might have different gems set in. They've got morganite and salt and pepper diamonds. How much is that? $3,200 for those. You could make those so easily. In fact, I'd probably steal the shepherd hooks from the purple pearls and put them on these. I think that would be lovely if you're going for that look. Yeah. Mind you, we bring you shepherd hooks on a regular basis. I'm going to show you another couple of examples. Now, I don't mind these, but I'll be honest, the crew aren't loving them at all. They're like, well, they're just stuck on the surface, aren't they? I don't like those. I just, it's like there's no thoughts been put into where the, they put the... Do they, yeah. do they make you anxious? They make me anxious. <laughs> yes, they do. I don't like those. Take them away. <laughs> $178 for those. Goodness me. Yeah, they do. They make me anxious. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. I don't dislike them that much, but I do. yeah, you're not a fan. And they're crystal, not yeah, gemstones. It's like someone's chucked the gemstones at them. Yeah, I get that. I love these though. Oh. I think they're absolutely beautiful. How unusual. Yeah, really subtle. You've got diamonds at the top in a pair of stud earrings. Um, I can't remember how much they were, but they were way beyond my budget. <laughs> anyway, um, um, oh. how about these Wolf and Badger? I know they're dreamy, aren't they? But again, look at the difference. Make the comparison. I know those are diamonds and they're in 18 karat gold, but if you actually look at the quality of the pearls and the gemstone setting process it's the same one thousand six hundred and six dollars for those they're beautiful, they're beautiful really beautiful one more oh i like those as well three and a half grand three and a half you get the idea it's ex it's expensive and whether they're diamonds whether they're gemstones whether they're crystals they are expensive whether they're glued on the surface can i ask a question yeah that our viewers might want to know but we might not know the answer to are they all the gems set in the same place so if you've got two for earrings would the gems be in the same they are right yes i mean I mean, I'm not talking about exact measurements. No, they are great. spaced perfectly. Yes. Yeah, the ones I've actually so they seen. Wouldn't, you wouldn't get like no, a three none. together. No, or, no, no, oh, okay, no, no, right. no. They are kind of dispersed. Ooh, I'm thinking positions. earrings. They'd be lovely. I don't earrings. know how much they're going to. I do. Okay, can I make earrings? Can I fold it? <laughs> can, can Debbie make earrings with these, Roscoe? Oh, they've only got one. Has it gone? Oh, no, I just meant, it should just question if she bought two, could she make earrings? As in price point, as in price point, that's what we're getting at. Definitely. Yeah, oh, okay. I tell you what, okay. the most affordable <laughs> ones we've shown that Debbie My hates. My eyes are burning. <laughs> that Debbie hates, $178. Oh, no. 
well. Yeah, I don't I, I don't object to them as much as you guys do. I love those little pearls and they've ruined them. I don't like that. I like ours. They're so sensitively done. They look like they've been trodden on. So, they do. <laughs> Sorry, little pearls. Look. I don't dislike them that much. I think they're all right. <laughs> they're not they're not as nice as these look at these in comparison look at that right debbie you can make those earrings did we, did we at any point show you a double figure price tag <laughs> no. oh ooh. under 50 pounds for genuine gemstone sterling silver tube set so you have within here peridot tourmaline and am i right do i remember rightly what's the blue do i remember that rightly i thought so that's sapphire yes I thought so. So you have pink tourmaline, peridot and sapphire in every single one of them. So I they have the same gems. That's so... There's a clock. Yeah, there's, that's not where we stopped. There's a re when I said, Debbie, you know, I haven't got an unlimited budget. My budget, you know, I have to watch the pound signs as the, like all of us. I can tell you, I bought a few of these. Oh, I love it. There's a reason why I bought a few of them, because they weren't £49.99. Oh. If I tilt this forward as well, you can see there's the half drill. Half drill, right, okay. So you could, yeah, if I show you the underside. So oh, perfect. I super love this. I know. Can you imagine, like, earring? Now, now I'm getting excited it's going down. Earrings and a long line necklace with a pendant. Beautiful. Because you can do that because the pendant's lower and you've got the earrings aren't too big either. It's Oh, I love this. How many have we got of these, Roscoe? 20. <laughs> I want to I wanna get some more, actually. Yeah, they are amazing. I remember the pearl, there was pearl, a pearl necklace in the jewellers that I worked at. Granted, again, they were diamonds, mm. and I'm going back 20 odd years, and mm. they were five figures yeah. for a strand of pearls. And I like, I love pearls, so I don't want to see like gems that look like they've been chucked out of them. I want it to be sensitive. Or done. trodden on. Or trodden on. <laughs> you know, this is sensitively done. I can see as much of the pearl as I want to see. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Are they 29.99? They certainly are. <laughs> I'm that, not going to get them off. That 20, yeah, that means you can make those earrings for £60. All right, you're going to put some sterling So silver. under £100, you could have the earrings yeah, and the sweet. pendant. Full sweet. Ooh. How amazing is that? I do actually really love them. But we only have 20 of them. We <laughs> do need to get more of these. Um, I think, I, I, here's me saying that, very blasé, like it's a, yeah, just go, just phone up, get some more. They're genuine gemstone set with sterling silver in genuine culture pills that are the biggest trend at the moment we had 20 of them available i don't know how many we've got available right now are they flying out ross is debbie going to miss out 12 left as it stands says roscoe is this one of those deals though that goes off air after an hour yes okay. it is going to disappear at nine o'clock isn't it ross yeah also remember if you love oh Yes, don't forget to check out with Pearl 10 because you get an extra 10% off as well. So that makes these then. Someone's got six. I don't blame you for getting six. Well, you've got to check out that six. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah it's in your basket if you want six. I wonder six. if you're thinking, Mike, who's, who's got six in your basket, are you thinking earrings and pendant? Yeah, beautiful. Hiya, Selena, saying, morning, lovely folk. Bought these a while back. No regrets. Totally original. Yes. I love them. Sensitively done as well, yeah, aren't they? I love them. I think they're beautiful. I'd be buying some more of these if I was sat that side of the screen right now because look at those. How beautiful they'd be in earrings. Oh, yes. And how many people have got earrings like that? Not me. You know, without say, I'm say, we're saving ourselves thousands of pounds if you look at the comparisons that we've seen elsewhere. Look how beautiful they are. And you can use your 10% discount as well. Um, amazing. Well done to you, Selena. £29.99, but I only had 20 of these available. So good luck, each and every single one of you. Um, I'll keep everything cross, lovely. Come the end of the hour, I'll dive for my bag. When I disappear under the desk. Yeah. Now, let's, let, yeah, let's bring the most. But imagine that. Hang on. Oh, stop. I know what you're going to do. You know what I'm going to do. Why am I so obsessed with pearls? I just love I them. I love pearls. I love them. How about that? Oh, that's beautiful. Can you see it like I'd that? I'd want that as like a choker type. Oh. And then hang on. Can I borrow your board? You can. One sec. We're making jewellery, people. We're making oh, jewellery. Imagine. Oh, to leave it here? That, know? yeah. And we'll do the class straight after. That. You know what's on my board is mine, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Finders, keepers. That. Oh my oh, goodness! Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw.
saw that oh, in a jewelers. Love that. I can't, honestly, it's made me go weird uh, than normal. <laughs> It's so gorgeous. <gasps> oh, and I love that so much. It's so beautiful, isn't it? How about if I said, sorry, lovely, yes. you could make that piece of jewellery yeah. for less than what? <gasps> less than £100. <laughs> that in a jewellers would be four oh, no. figures. I, I just I need to get my glasses on. Wouldn't it? It would be four figures. And you just attach that with, you know, the, the bail that we had, the on and offable bail. That's what I would use. Um, hello, Victoria. I have these two and gifted as a pendant for my sister-in-law's 50th birthday. Oh, she wonderful. loved it. Oh, Victoria, Sorry. that's very kind of <laughs> Sorry, you. Sorry, I'm fiddling with it. There's a couple of those pendants left. I will champion getting more. And shall I say it? I know it'd be a different price point. How about with black diamonds? Oh, or black spinel. Black spinel, absolutely. How lovely would that be? Oh, this is an incredible, beautiful piece. $24.99 for that strand of pearls. What? I love the graduation. They're rounds as well, or near rounds, our graphics are saying. I think we're erring on the side of caution there, don't you? Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, that pendant is coming out. If you prefer, you could also use that. Has sold out now, but... Look at the difference by putting that there. Yeah. How you have taken that... Oh... Let's take the strand under £20 for you today. They're genuine culture pearls. <laughs> I know. Look, look what you can do. Look what you can do. And is that a difficult piece of jewellery to make? No, it's beautiful. So you can get the strand mm -hmm. and the gem set baroque for less than £50. That pounds. is incredible. It is. And we're bringing you that sterling silver ball clasp just after this auction as well. How beautiful. Imagine opening a really beautiful box and that's in it. Yeah, one I of the big, rat, big square ones. Overjoyed if someone gave. Me it. too. Me too. We're taking it under ten, under twenty pounds. If you don't grab these, I'm all over them. They're near round cultured pearls. They are genuine cultured pearls, not synthetic, not faux. And remember, they're only available until the top of this hour. Ooh. That right there. Give me that, please. That means we need to go to break at quarter two, Ross. <laughs> yes, yeah, Ross, if you could just, uh, or maybe just hold everything in for a few minutes during the break so that we can, uh, we had to crash that price because so many of you were there. How many did we have then, Roscoe? That's amazing price. 20. Oh, we had 20 of the pendants, 20 of the pearl necklaces as well. They are genuine cultured pearls with your near round, but perfectly graduated. I think that piece of jewellery is just, it's, it's just crying out to be made, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm really excited to buy this piece of jewellery. Can you tell oh, me? Carolyn, Lancashire, West Midlands, Mariska, Jacqueline, Lynn, D, Karen, J Jane, Alexis, Hello oh, well Maker. Guys. There was only 20 of this strand. How are we doing culture pills at 20 quid, though, seriously, within that quality? I don't care. I love it. <laughs> I don't uh, care how we do it. I think it's absolutely... Oh. Hang on. Oh. Look, you, you, you make kits, Debbie. Make, make a kit like this. Can you imagine those dotted in there? Should we do the clasp and then we'll go into the black spinel? And you could dot those, couldn't yeah. you, as well? There are only four left of this strand, though. What, so of the pearls? Make, yes. Let's do the clasp. And I'll pick it up just so you can see it closer. There's four of the brock, four of the strand, and now we're doing the clasp, says Ross. The clasp. The clasp. The clasp. Um, First price crash, straight under £20. Beautiful ball clasp, so, and that's not referencing its shape uh, either. It is a, obviously a ball, mm. but... So those first two components, £50. Yes. Yeah? yeah. The necklace and that Baroque, gem, gemstone set yeah. Baroque pearl. With the clasp now, we're talking, what, £70? So when we said under £100, we weren't just talking by a penny. No, that's way under. And we're going even lower. We are going even lower. This is your ball clasp. So can you see you get a really lovely, there's the actual, uh, uh, it's kind of like a box clasp effectively. Um, obviously when it is stranded, you'll have much more purchase. Um, but they, all, the, all the mechanics, if you like, are actually hidden within that beautiful detail. You've got the jump rings there, so you don't really need to add anything to this. Not at all. Maybe your wire guardians. I mean, it may, if you're a knotter, maybe you want to knot the pearls. Um, I'm not a big knotter, to be honest. Um, I might just strand those pearls. And I just think that putting a lovely, unusual clasp on is like the yeah. icing on the cake. I agree. It? It, makes, it makes a big difference, doesn't it? It kind of, yeah, like I said, it goes back to that conversation that we've just had. There's, 
There's, there's nothing wrong with a bolt ring, a lobster claw, or no. any of those, but it's whether you want your class to be as beautiful as the rest of the piece of jewellery, not just functional. We're going lower than 19.99, eight mil in its size, so perfect balance, if you like, for that piece of jewellery yes. that we have laid out on uh, Debbie's board. What's that saying? Possession is nine tenths of the law. Yeah, it's mine now. Thank yeah. You. £14.99. <laughs> I have to give it back. £65 only you that's can make amazing. that piece of jewellery. That, that's just... Imagine getting that for Christmas. Oh. I mean, forget Christmas. I couldn't wait that long. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, nor me. I, I couldn't wait that long for this necklace. If that was a piece of jewellery that I had, you know, in my oh, grasp... Me happy. And me. And me. £14.99 for the clasp as well. Um, grab it whilst you get the chance. I love the kind of detail, that wonderful kind of ribbed details down the side. Um, you it's might a bit use... like a shell. Yes, it is a bit. This would also look lovely on something like faceted pearls, I think. Yeah, I think... Yeah, it just any beautiful strand. Yeah, it doesn't have to be pearls, does it? Clasp. Yeah, it's like a little lamp. Like jade. Jade, Lovely nice. jade or... Or um, faceted pearl. Nice, beautiful. Fourteen ninety nine. Linda, well done. Cambridge, well done. Heather, well done. To you all, stay where you are on those phone lines. And again, consider the, the actual engineering that goes into a class like that. Um, Okie dokie. Right, I adore this gemstone, and um, my boss always knows that it's a gem that I'm going to ask for. Can I just say these are going to be perfect with Debbie's nine o'clock hits? Yes. Perfect also with the white topaz. In fact, one of the strands that I actually put on this morning is black spinel. I love it because A, it's natural. B, when it's faceted and polished to a perfection, you get the most amazing exterior luster, yeah, yeah. the most beautiful light return. We rarely ever have it. That's the reality. When we do, it sells out because... Clearly, we're all, all obsessed with this gemstone. It's totally and utterly natural. And, of course, it's a birthstone. Spinel comes in a multitude of colours. You can get pink, red, you can get blue, you can get mauve, you can get uh, um, greens, you can get lots of different colours. Black Spinel is, I think, certainly the one of the most Lorraine Schwartz red carpet worthy. In fact, loads of different celebrities have been pictured wearing this gemstone. We're going to do this in one price crash. We rarely ever get it. If we do, it's in a showcase and then it all sells out. 55 carats in your faceted four millimeter rounds. Yes, I need to show this not only alongside those pearls, but alongside that beautiful white topaz. I'm just going to build the most luxurious kit ever right now. Oh, yes. Um, how amazing would that be as a, as a kit? So beautiful. Isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And it would go perfectly with Debbie's nine o'clock kits as well, alongside your selenite, possibly for the first time ever. Now we're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. Natural, genuine black spinel. Of all your black gemstones, you know, if you think about it, you've got diamonds, you've got onyx, you've got agate. Black spinel, I think we would all agree, it's it's all about that exterior paparazzi luster isn't it it's very audrey hepburn it's the whole breakfast at tiffany yeah. it's pearl and black um chanel inspired pearl and Love black it. it's just classic it is it's generational like your you, nan can wear it you can wear it your daughter can wear it it's just that beautiful sparkle timeless it's completely mm. timeless and again i know i've shown them in the past we've got how easy is it to get uh, jennifer aniston on screen or sandra bullock on screen are we running out of time? Okay. We've shown them in the past anyway. But just literally simple pieces of jewellery, all about the black spinel. My goodness me, that's lower than I was expecting it to be. I would use these with Debbie's beautiful kits at nine o'clock as well, alongside the selenite. It would go lovely, especially with the um, these two, with the Buddha heads and the little... And it's sterling in the kits. Oh, Look at those together. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, I love that. Amazing. Nine ninety nine. Lots of you getting involved. Did we have quantity? We started with 30, but um, half the stock's already gone. Karen, Nottinghamshire, multi bought. Denise, Eileen, hello to you, Lynn, Marguerite, hello to you, Maker, Pat, London, getting involved, West Midlands, lovely to see you. I can't see every name because there's a little bit of a delay um, on our call screen, but there's people on the phone lines as well. Margaret, new customer, Mary Claire, hello to you. Make sure you're checking out because I only had 30 of these available and also they disappear come the top of this hour. If you are looking for things like your um, selenite, the beautiful selenite, 
Stella Knight kits, which we've got coming up, Sterling Silver and your Elonga 0.3 millimeter elastic, then guess what? It's happening in the next hour. So make sure you're with us there. Um, 9.99. I mean, we have genuinely everything will work so perfectly that we've brought you together. Don't you think? Here's Sandra Bullock wearing her black spinel. Let's be honest, she could choose any gemstone, couldn't she? She, could, she looks amazing. I love how it really complements her hair and that big, vibrant red uh, frock that she was wearing. Um, but simplistic, really, really simplistic. Elegant, Very it? elegant. And it's black spinel that she's wearing just there. Nine ninety nine. well done. Helen, Janet, Beverly, hello to you. Shaolin, hello to you. Uh, getting three. Northamptonshire getting three. Margaret, hello to you. Christine, don't forget as well, at nine o'clock we have these amazing... Um, pendants. Now I'm going to be bringing you the malachite one in this hour. We're doing it in a couple of minutes and then the pearl one we're going to do in the nine o'clock hour as well which has got that beautiful vine pinch bale. Um, those are coming up in a few moments time. I don't know where time's gone. It's flown by hasn't it already? I feel like I've been shopping. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm like ooh, I love that. Ooh, I love that. I love that. Ooh, yeah. It's my kind of hour. This I know. Hour. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Amazing. Well done. Okay. Uh, I said, these are the pearls I bought, aren't they? There are two. Oh. And you also got 10% off. In June, we're actually over at, I bought this pearl. And I don't mind telling you, Karen, maker, I've only got two, so we haven't got five that you're, you've got in your baskets. You know, I said the other day that there are two strands of pearls that I generally think are the best I've ever seen, yeah. not just here at Jewelry Maker. This is the other one. I bought it, and it, it, I'll be honest, it's not an inexpensive strand, but this is probably one of the most luxurious pearl strands I've seen. Um, they are perfect, and I, I, I'm always cautious to use that term uh, when we're talking about pearls, oh. but they are absolutely perfect. The colour as well. Yeah. Not just the shape. Oh. Perfect rounds. They're beautiful. Natural colour. Use your extra 10% off as well. Pearl 10, make sure you use that. What? Are you actually joking? Is that what you paid? No. <laughs> you know what? And I don't, I'm not, look, I still got it for a great deal. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Make the most of that price point. Two nine nine, and you can get further 10% off that as well. So we'll just call it 30 quid. Goodness me. That's amazing. That is amazing. I've been knotting this, and I'm, look, I've said it, I've never made any secret of this. My, my peers know this as well. I would get an 18 karat gold class for this. I would, I would go to someone, one of our competitors, Cooks and Gold, there we go. Go to Cooks and Gold, they've got 18 karat gold class on their website. That's what I would be buying to go with pearls of this caliber. I'm gonna leave it with you because there's only two and I've got loads of you there, so good luck. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Genuinely, I've, I, that, that's one of the most memorable pearl strands I've ever seen. Now, what's incredible about this opportunity, and there are only 11 left, kyanite, we know it has complexities. We know it's, we know it's a nemesis to many uh, lepidoris. We know that it, can form, it forms in different directions. We know um, that it has a perfect cleavage, meaning it fractures and splits very quickly during the cutting process, not after the cutting process. So it's difficult. It's difficult to bring to air. We also know it suffers heavily with colour zoning, don't we? This is totally natural. There's no fissure filling to this whatsoever. And we all said it when we launched this parcel and we had it in the four, six and eight, didn't we? Um, it's the best parcel we've ever seen because all the others have sold out because I bought a kyanite strand. And weirdly, I'm kicking myself because I almost put it on the today as well. Um, I bought a kyanite strand when we were in the old studios and it was fissure filled and I, I was over the moon with the quality of this kyanite because because it had this blue, but it was treated. That's natural. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Look at that color. We're making jewelry again, Debbie. Oh, yes. How beautiful is that? We're going to go straight to the price because we've got the final 11. 24 pounds and 99 pence. And don't you have a sapphire in this? Yes. So that will just go beautifully. That would match perfectly. Just mix those all together. How beautiful would oh. that be? <laughs> Oh my goodness me, £24.99 for natural kyanite. 
a polymorph gemstone, a gemstone that has dual hardnesses, so it's really difficult to actually cut, has a perfect cleavage so it can split what, during the cutting process, that suffers significantly with colour zoning. And yet here I have that beautiful cashmere sapphire blue, and it's natural. Straight away we've got collectors getting involved. I've got uh, Gloucestershire, London, Jean, Maker. I can see you all there on the website. There's people on the phone lines. I only have 11. The 6 mil and the 8 mil sold out. I'm not surprised by that. Um, it's absolutely breathtaking. And again, in our 13 years of, of broadcasting, probably one of the best kyanite strands I've brought to air. Um, okay, speaking of, actually, if you were, yeah, um, if you were, if, I, if we were playing um, Guess the Location, and I was to say, guess the, lo without looking at the graphics. Okay. Don't look. Guess the location of this turquoise. Yeah, that's easy. It's Sleeping Beauty. Is it, though? See, that's what I'd have said, Debbie, as well. What is it? It's Mexican. Mexican turquoise is normally green. That's what I mean. Um, if it's my birthstone, so... You I'm know your turquoise. Yeah. <laughs> and I've always loved it, even before I didn't know it was my birthstone. Isn't that funny? But I've just always drawn to it. And what I love about this, in fact, I'm going to be controversial. I think I've said this before. I prefer this. Because it's got matrix? Yes. Yeah. I like a little bit of make, not too much. Yeah. I like a bit of matrix in there. I we, think it sets off the blue. I agree. I totally agree. And we were saying that, look, I'm not saying all Mexican turquoise quite clearly, actually, is inferior to USA turquoise. Okay. But most people absolutely would consider USA turquoise better. Okay. However, how wrong are we? Yeah. Because look at the quality of this Mexican oh, turquoise gorgeous. strand. It's gorgeous. It has that robin egg blue. Mm -hmm. And it should never be the country of origin that determines our purchase or not. It's about the quality of the gemstone. And I remember launching this thinking, oh, my goodness, I thought that was USA. I thought it was Sleeping Beauty or Cochise. 39, and if they were, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be 39.99. We've just taken £20 off what was an amazing price point. And you know what we're going to do in another minute? Yeah. <laughs> Take another £20 off that price tag. These are large turquoise and they have that robin egg blue with the perfect, and I agree with you wholeheartedly, Debbie, the perfect amount of matrix. It's not hindering the no, beautiful blues, no, no. but it is showing that it's genuine turquoise. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm supposed to be so bad at maths and like you're taking 21 off the price and my brain's violent. So, it's going to be under £20 for turquoise. And, uh, I, yeah, and That's cast your mind back when we were in the old studios. There, it would have been a, there would have been one in front of that. Yeah, yeah. Turquoise, I don't have much in my collection because considered. It's expensive, expensive, yeah. It is expensive. I totally agree with you there. I understand that. But, yeah, today we've got the final few. How many? 22. The final 22. This is the best Mexican turquoise I've seen. And I launched this strand, didn't I, Roscoe? Yeah. Um, and I said it then, best Mexican turquoise I've seen, because ordinarily Mexican turquoise can be a bit green. And I like that. I do like it too. Um, but wherever in the world you're sourcing it from, no turquoise, genuine turquoise, certified tur turquoise like this should be under £20. That's amazing. That's an amazing deal. Isn't it? I also really like the graduation. Yeah. I just think that, you know, having the, the, the rounds graduated is really, really pretty. And there's so much, you know, I could talk, I could talk about this till the cows come home because I can remember having a conversation with Jake, mm. um, Jake Thompson, and I, and I wanted to, when I went over to Tucson, I wanted to bring a pendant with a round turquoise, and he was like, oh, and I can't do rounds, they're far too expensive. So I had to do an oval. Um, it was 20 quid. 20 yes. pounds. Yeah. Usually turquoise is that strand that you get out and you look at, you look at it and then you put it back in the box because you're like, oh, no, I'm just waiting for the perfect piece. Perfect piece. And you should just make with it. I mean, you should. Oh. Imagine those together. Oh. That, I, that's Debbie Heaven right there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Debbie Heaven, turquoise and pearls. Oh. And you can make that piece of jewellery for £40. Oh, wow. £40. That is Debbie Heaven, actually. That is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, is there any of those pearls left, Ross? Sold out, but you know, hope we'll, we'll bring you more pearls. Can you imagine those in amongst some beautiful high-end pearls? In fact, hold that thought. Hold that thought. How about 
yeah. the natural pink pills that we're bringing at the most crazy deal. Absolutely. Make sure you are checking out on those. You've got, what, seven minutes left on this hour. These are coming up a little bit later on in the show. Um, we're going to dive straight into your beautiful malachite pendant. Now, if you love this and you love pearls, we've got that coming up as well, just the other side of the break. Uh, but you can't shop ahead on that just yet. Now, this is brand new. It's a 10 millimeter malachite with the perfect peacock's eye. Um, that's all natural color and a brand new pinch bale in solid 925 sterling silver. Amazing. We have a quantity of 50. It's never been on air before, and I don't think it's going to go on air again. I think it's going to be an on-screen sellout. It's coming up as your early bird right now. Are we do, do, going straight into it? Okay. Um, okay. So let's talk about Malachite. So I think it's fair to say that Malachite has, is very much in the spotlight right now. Yeah. Um, you know, all the biggest designers are actually working, or most, I should say, um, are working with Malachite. And I'll name a few of those in a few moments' time. But what is Malachite as a gemstone? Because it's not necessarily one you're going to see on your local high street, um, but you definitely see it in the likes of your Gucci, in the likes of... Uh, um, um, Shopard in Van Cleef and Arpels, all yeah. of those big names. Well, I found an article that was written in the jewelry editor, and look, I'm always looking to kind of and see if there's any news, um, uh, more news or um, more poetic write ups like this. But and I still go back to it every single time. I think this is the most perfectly worded uh, um, presentation, if you like. Not my words, this is a jewelry editor, and they've described malachite, eternal paradise in shades of green. Oh. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. I know. Absolutely amazing. Let's read on. What is malachite? Well, it's a highly distinctive um, with its variegated banding and rich emerald green colours. That colour comes from copper deposits where the malachite is often found. In fact, malachite itself is used as a source of copper via process of smelting. Often malachite is found alongside azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that also forms in copper rich areas. I'll show you a photograph of that in a second. Concentrically banded malachite, known as peacock's eye, is especially sought after as it is rarer than the linearly uh, banded gemstone. Malachite is rather soft with a Mohs scale of three and a half to four on the Mohs scale. However, don't let that put you off. Like I said, lots of big jewelry houses are working with it right now. Malachite is found all around the world, including the US, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, and uh, Congo. Adorned with the allure of mystery, malachite is, is a hypnotizing stone. I think you'll like this, this, this article. Mm -hmm. uh, like a mesmerizing beauty, it puts you under a spell the moment you lay eyes on it. In the world of stones, malachite is that outlandish eccentric, the stone you see once but will remember so, uh, but will remember. So significant um, is its appearance. Possibly the earliest ore of copper, uh, having been mined um, through eastern deserts of ancient Egypt as early as 3000 BC. Malachite is a green copper carbonate hydroxide. It is used as an eye paint, a pigment for wall paintings and in glazes um, and the color of glass. Not so much these days. It's more say. used for <laughs> your um, for your gemstone yes. adornment. Yes. Um, the name malachite is believed to come from the Greek word uh, molochitis, referring to the mallow leaf, which is similar to the colour. Malachite has been used by humans since antiquity and was believed to protect one from evil. In ancient Egypt, the colour green was highly symbolic, representing new life and fertility. Ancient Egyptians referred to the eternal paradise they believed awaited for them in the afterlife as fields of malachite. Oh, they would rarely use malachite as a gemstone um, in jewellery, but would grind it up to make paint pigments in eyeshadows. We're talking about Egyptians here. They did I that mean, with lapis lazuli as well. But these days, we don't do that. That's bougie. Yes, right there. we don't do that. We use it actually in, um, in as a gemstone. Um, and just to show the history of this, this is a malachite uh, mask uh, of the Red Queen displayed in a museum ex exhibition in Mexico City. In modern metaphysical practices, malachite symbolizes transformation, abundance, and spiritual wisdom. Some people, people believe that wearing malachite jewelry can alleviate depression and help aid the restoration of balance and positivity. Whatever your beliefs are, malachite is undoubtedly a beautiful stone to add to your collection. 
and there are lots of big designers using it. Stone and May, not too badly priced, I don't think. No, but I don't it doesn't, think that's good. Didn't tell you the size of them though. So, um, but it's eighty-five pounds, and you don't know if it's natural. How about Netta Porter? So you can. I, I'm going to guess they're about four mil. Yeah, they look little. Yeah, four hundred and eighty pounds. Has got a gold clasp on there though. Granted. Um, back to Stone and May, £75. I don't know why there's no reviews on that, though. Maybe they're new. And that's gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Um, let's talk about, yeah, how about we start talking to, about the big designers like Tiffany's & Co. £1,306, sorry, dollars for a vintage piece of jewellery. I like that. That's lovely. It is lovely. Mm. We have a massive 10 millimetre round. Should we do it now? Um, and it has also that beautiful peacock's eye that I'm going to make sure I show you. Um, the drill hole. It's a simple pinch bail. Where is it? There we go. Simple pinch bail that you will secure in and around your beautiful malachite. There is that perfect peacock side that I was just referring to. That is so incredibly sought after. Here is the, uh, the pinch bail that you will use to secure and complete this piece of jewellery. You have a half drill gem. So again, you use the actual sterling silver peg. If you want to put a little bit of glue in there, you can. But let me turn this round as well. When we talk about paradise and shades of greens and the afterlife, um, fields of malachite. Don't you think that's the perfect symbolism behind this wonderful yeah. setting? And I couldn't find anywhere else that actually has something like this. You've got malachite and just sim really simple slices in places like Astley Clark and Misoma for the three figures, triple figures, uh, but nothing which actually is, um, I think, as floral as this. Big designers like Van Cleef and Alpels. Now, you will be pleased to hear their price has gone down on this. Uh, it's still 18 grand, don't we? You know, <gasps> yeah, it's still, yeah, but they have decided to knock five grand off the price tag, or it was the case last time I checked anyway. £18,000 last time I looked at that. Um, but again, this is one of their most popular, one of their most uh, um, sought after Alhambra necklaces with the addition of your Malachite. Van Cleef, I could talk about Piaget, I could talk about Chopard. Um, they're all working with Malachite, and the most, I know we said a few moments ago, the most sought after location of source because of the quality is the Congo which is where yours is coming from right now let's bring it to you at your early bird price point 19 pounds it's a massive 10 millimeter round just put that on a long line chain and anybody could do that Debbie 1990. I know oh you've got a love jewelry maker haven't you <laughs> you really do because I don't know anywhere else that can do Prices like this. I mean, that is so perfect, that malachite, that little peacock eye. It looks like someone's painted it on it. Yeah. So perfect. Yeah. And that is Mother Nature in all her glory right there. Well, malachite forms in stalactites and stalagmites, and I think we've got a photograph of an old um, disused mine anymore uh, on this presentation. So this is oh, cool, isn't it? Look at yeah, that. Yeah, it, it forms in stalactites and stalagmites as the copper-rich water kind of drips wow. down. Um, that's what forms the peacock's eye. You get those almost like the rings of a tree, those oh, perfect spherical shapes as it kind of cascades down. That is not your final price point, but we've got 50. It's a really exclusive deal. Mm. In 60 seconds, we're going to do a big price crash. Make sure, there it is, yeah. Now, this is a, 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 a disused, it's all but mined out. You can also see the azurite that we spoke about, that pure, brilliant oh, that's blue. Stunning. That's the malachite. You can imagine how it forms, literally, the, the copper-rich water filtering down. <laughs> Forming like the shape of a ladder. Amazing. Um, amazing. But you think that's all malachite on that ladder? Can you imagine like climbing down that ladder and seeing that? Yeah, I mean, incredible. Wow. And you can see why this gemstone is the inspiration, not just in jewellery. You know, it's they are using it in soft furnishings, in tiles, in wallpaper. I mean, uh, lots of big designers are actually using it within... Um, here we go. There's a malachite sofa, malachite curtains. Malachite tiles. I like that. And me. That's, be that's beautiful, that bathroom. Van Cleef and Arpels. Dolce and Gabbana. Oh. Not Malachite, but you taking the inspiration yeah, from Malachite. Absolutely. We're going to take a big price crash using it in their timepieces. Rolex. Nobody pays $19.99. If you walked into a high street shop, this would be costume jewellery, not genuine Malachite. If which you're is lucky. Yeah, true. 
you know, True. if you're lucky. Ross hasn't been dragged into Claire's accessories lately. No, or like somewhere like M&S for a pair of earrings, you'd be lucky to get twelve ninety nine for a base metal. Absolutely. Here we are talking about sterling silver, genuine malachite with a peacock's eye as well. This How is, amazing. It's going to sell out in... In a heartbeat. Yeah. And if you love this, we're bringing you the pearl as well, just the other side of this hour. Rolex use it as well, don't they? Rolex have got um, Dolce, Lola Rose. Lola Rose. I love that watch, by the way. That's I keep, a lovely watch. It's lovely. And it's not... Look, it's £130, that watch. Mm. Um, Mark Smith saw this in a stately home here in the UK. I think... Or did you say Blenheim Palace or one of those? Anyway, I think it was Blenheim Palace. Um, all inlaid with beautiful malachite. 12.99 there are so many of you there lots of multi buyers hello vera june cardiff tina wiltshire jane would it work as earrings yeah i think so would. yeah 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 would you remove the bail or no you'd keep the bail I'd on keep them. it depends how long you want them if you want them shorter you can remove the bail um, and solder on a jump ring um, if you Oops. don't mind them a bit long. they're not that long it's not that big to be honest then you can just put a jump ring through the bail and i think that would add to it yeah absolutely Beautiful, and just secure it in place with your half drilled. Um, the pearl is coming up, so if you love this and you're thinking, okay, I might get a few of those because they have got that, um, they have got that pinch bail. They're half drilled, by the way, so um, all you need is a little bit of your glue. I'm going to show you alongside. Do you know what? Talking of earrings, actually, that's a great show. How about the asymmetric look? How about one pearl? That's really in, isn't it? Yeah, um, and one malachite. Yeah, that would be oh, wow. That would be a real talking point. I've got nine left of the malachite and we're going to go straight after the break into the pearl um, and then we're going to do that that amazing double pearl opportunity as well which are completely natural. Do you want to see them? Do you want to see them? If you've just tuned in maybe you had to disappear out this morning. Um, we were saying earlier on this has to be an error. It has to be <laughs> an error on our part not yours um, because these are naturally coloured near round pearls which our graphics don't say for whatever reason i don't know why and um, but again this is all good for you guys at home i my experience and i can only really go by sort of what what i've brought to wear in the past i've brought pearls like that singly as in one strand at about 199 pounds yeah, i've seen that let me tell you getting both of them for less than 100 it's got to be um, a jewelry maker error now don't forget to use this as well pearl 10 use it with your pendant use it with this bundle that's coming your way it's happening immediately after the break your malachite is on the verge of selling out we've got beautiful kits with our lovely debbie coming up as well sterling silver and amazing selenite don't go anywhere make sure you're checking out your baskets folks because they're disappearing in a few moments time we're back after this <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. 
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Congratulations to every single one of you on that first hour. What we were saying, how beautiful. I know. It's, it's been, been a lovely lineup. It's been lovely. That's why it's so quickly because mm. I was ooing and ooh. ahhing. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooing and ahhing. I know, and there's still so much more. I have to say, Debbie, you're going to adore Debbie's kit and certainly Debbie's jewelry. Oh, they're just, it's so wearable. Yeah. And it's so quick to put together. Well, um, these kits are purchased now as kits, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and yeah, and I just think that, I don't know, everyone loves their stretchies and, and well, okay, not completely everyone, but you know, everybody can make a stretchy. Yeah. It's just knotting and you actually get the elastic in that you need. So you've got everything. I've not added anything to those bracelets that's not in the kits. How amazing. They're so they're, lovely. Well, they're coming up in a few, and they're sterling silver components as well. They are. So they're coming up in a few moments time, but as promised, let's bring you your early bird. Now you saw the Malachi, I think sell out. And I think this is gonna do exactly the same. Just make sure you don't miss out on this opportunity. Now you have got firstly, the most beautiful, and I'm just gonna borrow a white piece of paper, um, just to show you this quality pearl. So check this out. It is half drilled, smooth, amazing nacre luster, half drilled, genuine, cultured pearl look how perfect that is it's that pristine i know adam's probably thinking i can't see it on there l um but that's how perfect the pearl is yeah look at that that is beautiful pure it? white and you get that sterling silver pinch bale which i'll hold the tweezers actually now as somebody that maybe has stumbled across this channel is now thinking oh i like the idea of making my own jewelry but where do i start does it need to be threading beading something like that how about starting with making very much mainstream jewellery? Yep. And it takes you a matter of minutes. <laughs> yeah. Because all I need to do, Debbie, is secure that half drill pearl in onto the peg. Yes. Push it up a little bit further than on the photograph, but that's all good. Yeah. Malachite sold out. Right, I'm not, not surprised by that at all. 
So push the pearl up ever so slightly. You might need to ream your pearl, and that's just basic. Or snip a bit off the end of the um, peg. Yeah. yeah. If you think, oh, the peg's too long, just snip a bit off the end of the peg. As long as you've got a good amount to go into the pearl to hold it, there's no problem with doing that. No. And then wrap your vine round all the way. Just Yeah, just glue it. And just, you know, a good glue. Like, don't use something like super glue or use no. a jewelry glue like the hyper cement or yeah um, um a two-part epoxy just to to hold it in there but it's literally minutes as you say well the malachite sold out have i got quantity of this one <gasps> we've got quantity of them yeah that's good oh i love that I, I love that kind of vine floral it's like sweet peas, isn't it? Wrapping itself it is around. Nice. I love sweet peas. It's Me my favourite. And they smell amazing. I do love the organic feel of this. I think it's very different. It's not like anything that I've seen before. And it's just sort of like caressing the pearl, isn't it? Is, it? It's yeah. really lovely. Yeah. And of course, it being 925 sterling silver, you can kind of adjust it ever so slightly. You can kind of... Here we are. I'm kind of doing it here in the studio as we speak. You can sort of uh, uh, manoeuvre your yeah. um, your sterling silver in a position that you want to very quickly. Look, that's what I've just done. I mean, how amazing is that? And I, it's not glued into place, but I've just literally wrapped that round here in the studio. Look how pretty that oh, is. Oh, it's so pretty. The auction is open. Now, we have a 200 quantity opportunity. Now, we snuck it on pre-order during the break. 22 have already gone on pre at 23. Yeah, they're absolutely flying. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? It's stunning. And, and we had the question earlier on with uh, Malachite. Yes, you can absolutely turn these into earrings. So just so you know, Merseyside's bought two, Midlothian's bought three, London's bought two. There's a lot of multi-buyers getting involved right now. I mean, what's not to love about cultured pearls and a piece of jewellery like this? Super simple. Uh, super simple and just delightful yeah i mean you've got this beautiful vine organic shape that's kind of caressing the curve of the curl so the design is beautiful and then you've got this nice plain bale because i wouldn't want to take away no. from that vine and it's just a really lovely thought out and designed piece of jewelry i love that a mistake has been made on this one anybody that got it on pre-order will have seen this what is the price the price is supposed to be the closing price. Okay. Okay. Ross likes a little bit of wiggle room. He said, anybody that has shopped out and pre-order, which there are lots of people because the call screens have gone nuts. <laughs> what are they seeing? We're going to do it in one price crash. Don't forget, Pearl 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Don't forget that. Don't forget to use your 10% discount because it's this month's birthstone. Okay, in a minute, we're going to do it in one price crash because the phone lines are going crazy and there are loads of people. Yeah, we can't, we would normally say, you know, okay, set it at 39.99 just to sort of start it somewhere. Then we crash it to 19.99 to show you how amazing that deal is because it's a genuine cultured pearl. It's not synthetic or faux. You saw how amazing it was on the Malachite. So, really? Okay. One price crash then. Use your Pearl 10 code as well. And if you want to multi-buy, you absolutely can. I just do these. Literally have a kind of little production line. Bit of your hyper cement glue, because that's my glue of choice. Yeah. Leave it overnight and then feed them onto lovely sterling silver chains. You're making luxury jewellery. You really are. I mean, this is a real pearl. This yeah. is not a glass pearl. It's not a shell pearl. It's a real pearl. Ooh, sorry. And it's real sterling silver. Yeah. And it's just died. <laughs> and I've just dropped it. Oh, Eight, crumbs. Yeah. 82 out of the 200 have already gone. Look at that. It really is beautiful. Suspense is killing me. Oh, I'd kind of wrap that vine a little bit. It's just so it tilts to the front so ever you so can. slightly. 11.99? 11.99. No wonder they go. It, like someone's got four, well, someone's got two, threes. But are we forgetting, with the Pearl 10, 10% discount off that as well? You're pretty much a tenner for a genuine cultured pearl. A tenner! Yeah, and sterling silver. Yeah. That's very that's, that's amazing for the bale on its own. Or the pearl on its own. You couldn't make it for that. You couldn't... No, I don't think we could. Well, you couldn't factor your time in and make that bale for that money and no. buy it wholesale price. You couldn't. You just couldn't. 
I, I mean, we've done we've done bales before individually, haven't we? For more than that, just yep. do a classic bale, yeah, like, a really yeah. simple bale without yeah. anything else. Definitely. Whereas here you've got that amount of sterling silver. I'm going to turn it just ever so slightly so you can see all that beautiful detailing. 115 have gone, says Ross. 85 left in stock. We said one price crash, didn't we? But you don't like... Yeah, but... It, it is, really. It's not far off that anyway, Ross, because you've got the pill 10. <coughs> Adam says, look, I've just thrown the clock on screen so he can't change his mind now. There you go. Everybody pays the final row, uh, final low. That's Adam. This is this was you, Adam, wasn't it? Just put the clock in. That's all right. It's all right. Throw. It's all right. <laughs> Throwing the, co the <laughs> clock on the screen. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Um, good luck. Loads of multi buys. Oh, Seven threes, two. Gone crazy. Um. Oh, gosh, that was so nearly an on-air faux pas, that one. Um, good luck, everyone. <laughs> In all the excitement of these deals, the Malachite sold out at 12 99 This is absolutely going to follow suit. Yeah, see that? See this little part here? I would just tilt it just, just a little bit You forward. could. You definitely could. I'd like to see just that little bit of the vine sort of wrapping itself around that culture. And that's girl. the beauty of sterling silver. You yes. can do that. Look at What's those cool he going to do now? Let's have a look. Well, even w without the Pearl 10, I know that Ross is like 11 99 I know. It's just a bit of an odd price to him. If he can squeeze it low, he says, I always will. So you know you'll get, it's actually eight quid, isn't it, really? No, yeah, nine pound. Yes, nine pound. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine because you've got pretty much... That... <laughs> Unbelievable. Like I have no words. No, me. That is so good. That's amazing. It is. You've got, like, we've brought you bales, oh. haven't we, for that kind of price point? Without the, the, the gram weight of sterling silver and the size of that pearl. We've definitely done that, haven't so we? So I'm thinking you could get a pair of earrings and a necklace for under £30. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Basically. Yes. They're going to sell out, though. Wilch has <laughs> got five. Uh, Samantha says, I'll have six, thanks. Dorset, I'll have four. Manchester, I'll have two. Marie Claire, I'll have two. Joy's multi-buying. Buckinghamshire's multi-buying. Seven, Susan, well done to you. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. We had 200. Do you want to know how many we've got now? Yeah. <laughs> not for long. No, and there's a lot of names of holding the phone to your ear. If you miss out, you can always wish list it. And what that basically means is if anyone changes their mind for whatever reason, then our call centre can give you a call and say, guess what, a couple of these drop back in, do you want them? Give you that first dibs opportunity. Uh, Durham says, I'll have four. Elaine says, I'll have three. Jennifer says, I'll have three. Caroline, good morning, lovely, says, I'll have two. Lillian's got two, amazing, well done. Um, there's 25 left. And you can manipulate it, can't you? Let's mm -hmm. see if I can on air. See if I can. And like I said, would you glue the f the pearl first and then do the manipulation after the glue is secured? No, I'd I'd put. Well, if you were going to press it underneath so it hugs it in, yes. But you don't want to keep doing it. Decide what you want to, Debbie. That's what I'm doing. Got three for sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Because it's a no-brainer. I mean, even if you buy, you could you couldn't get. You know, well, I would challenge you to get a, a good quality costume jewellery, earrings, a necklace like this for that, yeah, that price. So absolutely. that's definitely what I'd do with it too. And yeah, you, Jen, you said Marks and Spencers. You wouldn't find something like this in Marks and Spencers for that, would you? Oh, no, 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 no. Not for nine, $9 Oh, no, 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 no. Look how beautiful that is. And definitely not a real pearl and real um, silver. silver. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Look how beautiful that is. Showing you yeah, all the way you see around. how you've just kind of just pushed it in yeah. ever so slightly. So if you're going to just push it in like that, then yes, glue it first so that it's nice and and then hug it in to where you want it, and then leave it to dry. Um, but if you want to sort of see how you want it to look first, make sure you've got your final design in mind before you tweak it. Because if you keep moving it back and forward, you're going to weaken it in one in yeah. a certain place. But 
That, see, that's lovely. That's made all the difference, hasn't it, I yeah, think, just what you've done you, there. But just squeezing it in yeah. ever so slightly. So, just so it, it's kind of growing round it. Well, it follows the curves then, yeah. doesn't it, of the actual pearl, and that's the joy. Oh, my God, um, there's five left. There's five, yeah. In fact, they are, no, they've gone. Well done, well done, well done, everybody. Well done, guys, you're going to gonna love it. You really are. Fabulous, they are really beautiful. Um, okay, because wow. we're not done there. We've got so much more to bring you, <laughs> including the beauty that is selenite. Now, I know... Um, Debbie, you really, you really love the metaphysical side of gemstones. Um, so, um, okay, yeah, sorry, beg your pardon. We're going to do one more bundle of pearls and then we're going to dive into the okay. kit. Now, something else as well. You know your white topaz deal of the day? The one that we said, get it now because we've been told clear as day from our suppliers. We, this can't be repeated. This is the last. We literally cleared out the last of their topaz, mm. three millimetre strands. Um, yeah, this is coming up and it's available on pre-order right now. We have got an exciting quantity. But again, if you you won't believe the price that's going to. You won't. In fact, in the moment that I've that sentence, nine have just sold. <laughs> and, and what, multiple buyers? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I, I did say, don't just stock up your stash. You've got to remember that if our main supplier has said, look, I can't repeat this order, um, then I'd be getting it for years to come. Because you're always going to be looking. They're yeah. like our diamonds, aren't they? Here yeah, at absolutely. And I think if it's something you know you're going to use, and, yeah. you know, and you've got the budget and it, it goes to a price that you like, definitely. No, you won't believe the price on those. Oh, really? Okay. Now, um, when we entered into the show this morning... Um, and when it, even prior to coming live, actually, Ross, Ross held these two pills up to me and he said, guess the price. What do you think? And I was like, oh, my gosh, are they natural? That's the first question I asked. And he's like, yes, they are both natural. What kind of price point? And I was like, well, we've done natural pink pills like this. Being the most sought after color of natural pills, we've sold them on air here at Jewelry Maker at one nine nine each. Mm. Um, so I was like, OK, there's two of them. Let's say as a as a bundle, you might get them for two nine nine or two four nine possibly. That's what I would have said. Yes, that was my response. H how very wrong I am! <laughs> um, if you weren't watching at the start of the show, I quoted a price that these were going to for the two, not each, for the two, and we said this has to be a jewelry maker error. And no disrespect, and I say this in a very loving way, I love jewelry maker. And I also love the fact that sometimes the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. I like that. I think that's what one of the things that makes us unique and quirky. Yeah, 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 true. It's very true. It is true. Yeah. Am I on? And I, let's be honest. Anybody, any of the, even our MD. Let's be honest. There are times. All our guest designers are going. <laughs> there are times when we don't know what's going on. Let's just say that I think it's true. Just saying as it is. This is one of those occasions. One has already gone on pre-order. Two. <gasps> so there's 15 now. Okay. Natural pink pearls. And I was being conservative at 199 each. Near rounds. How am I making a promise of both of these under under 100 pounds? If they were dyed, fair enough. Yeah. But they're not dyed. They're, they're natural. You try and find natural pearls at anywhere near that price tag elsewhere. If they're dyed, yes, that's possible. It's a completely different entity. But natural. Mm. Look how beautiful they are. Yeah, they're beautiful. They really are. They so are was, stunning. So if I said 199 per strand, straight away... We're starting this auction opportunity at a double figure price point each. Yes, yeah. With that beautiful, rare, blush pink colour, which is internationally the most popular colour of pearls. Is it? Mm. Mm -hmm. And generally speaking, comes at the highest price tag. I can't believe we're doing this. And I, I look, I could talk to you, I could do the presentation on how pearls achieve their colour. We know it's rare, we know it's... Uh, them traveling if you like to the circumference of the oyster itself that's where the oyster shell has the most con uh, sort of concentrated color so I could talk about that or I could simply say this is a jewelry maker fluff up 
<laughs> on a, fa a fairly, you know, gigantic, uh, I can't say the word, what's the word? Gigantic. Gigantic, thank you, uh, um, status. I don't know how, either that or we got one of the most amazing deals, but I, I don't think, I think it's the former, <laughs> uh, to be truthful. <laughs> I did promise under £100, and I wasn't talking about each. That's both of them under £100. Don't forget to use your Pearl 10 code. Because, again, mm -hmm. left hand, right hand. Haven't connected the two, have we? And listen, I'm as bad. Because usually that, I always think that that code is just for when you buy on the website, not the live show, you know, not the shows. <gasps> so that's amazing that you can get that on the shows. We're at ninety nine ninety nine, and you can get a further ten percent off that price tag. So we are talking about what forty five yeah. pounds yeah. for natural pink pearls. That's amazing. That's amazing. It, it's got to be one of the lowest deals we've done on it's natural really, pink pearls. It's really, really amazing. Got to be Pamela, Pauline, London, Karen, Lorna. Um, I can also Pamela. I can see you. Jane. Sorry, Jane. Are you dialing back now as well um, to actually get your further ten percent off? It's forty five pound a strand, Ross. <laughs> oh yeah see again <laughs> it's not actually it's not but it is oh you said under 100 <laughs> it's under 100 now it's been cheeky today it's going even lower are these natural absolutely are you getting both absolutely should they be in a double figure price point? Categorically, no way. Absolutely not. I can't, I, get, I, I think it's one of the most charming things about Jewelry Maker, really. <laughs> there are seven left. Sometimes we fluff up. <laughs> Sometimes we do. And I, this has to be one of those occasions. I'd, just li I'd like to be a fly on the wall in the trade meeting that happens usually every Monday morning um, when they're like, hang on a second, who's, who's <laughs> sold the natural pink pearls? Who took them to a double figure price tag? And, and Ross will go, that's what I was told to do. That's what I was told to do. They're unbelievable for you guys at home, though. The final seven, Sandy, Pamela, Wiltshire, Cambridgeshire. I've got Daniel, Samantha, Helen, Marie, Lincolnshire, New Customer, wow. Jane. I know. And you've also got 10% off that yeah. price tag as well. I'm reminding you this. I might not get thanked for that when I come off air, but hey, hey, ho. All good. We're all friends, aren't we? So, you know. <laughs> There's five of them left. It could, If we had 100 of these, they would have still sold out because you know how amazing that deal is. And it is, it is, it is quite charming, isn't it? Yeah. The jewelry maker. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, it, I think makes us endearing. Yeah. Yeah. Endearing is a good word. Yeah. It is funny at times as it well. It is funny. Yeah. It's got to be one of those moments, though, Debbie. Especially when it? a producer presses the wrong button and goes, "I shouldn't have done that." And I'm sure people think, "Oh, they're just saying that," and then they go, "Oh no!" Oh, no. <laughs> you can, if you could hear what we can in, the, in our ear most of the and time. And like, "Okay, is that is that is that true, Ross? How often?" Look at Ross. He looks quite relaxed. He today, does, doesn't he? Does. He? He's nicely chilled, aren't you, Ross? He's fresh from Thomas Land. No, so he's nicely chilled. <laughs> Thomas Ross, Land. How, uh, <laughs> He says, technically coming to work is a day off. I hear that. <laughs> I get you. I get, I actually, it's Yeah, true. I understand that. <laughs> it's so true. I used to have two under three at once. And, oh. Yeah. Well, I used to just spend ages in the loo with the door closed when my husband got home because I was like, I just need five minutes. just need to go to the toilet so on my own. Stop <laughs> hearing underneath yourself. Yeah. Mummy! Mummy, you've been in there a Mommy. long time. <laughs> yes. Mummy! I just, I just need to go to the toilet on my own. <laughs> Just start counting to ten. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that. One. Um, there are two left now. If it wasn't on, it wasn't on split pay, but we've just corrected it for you. So um, there are two. If you speak to our call centre, it will be. Um, you can get it on split pay if you wish, which is just amazing. Again, I can't believe we've done that too. Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence on split payment. That's really good. Or less it? if you've got your ten percent. Oh yeah. <laughs> or less how fabulous is that well done everybody make sure you're checking out yes they are natural um yes you get both of them no they shouldn't have been under 100 pounds <laughs>
but never mind good for you amazing uh, fabulous make sure you're checking out on those and don't forget also how beautiful would they be with some of your amazing topaz that yes. are coming up as your deal of the just day just stunning how gorgeous or can i also just add one of debbie's amazing strands from the kits that are coming up how about some beautiful selenite yeah that's a bit of you isn't it it is um now what's that well, there it is there it is there it is um you can pre-order on your white topaz um i've got one left of these pills so if you want to get hold of those now is the time to do it it's a fluff up on our part again um <laughs> well done okay so time for your kits now these are beautiful and we i, I might be wrong and if, forgive me if i am wrong but i don't recall ever doing selenite in a kit before i've never had selenite in a kit personally no, no. i think we've only ever done it in showcases and when we do showcases they're always absolute on we don't have out. much of it do we no. like i've not seen it in strands very much in fact maybe once um have you got my presentation for that because it's really quick um but i just want just because people might not know what selenite is i know lots of you do so just bear with me for one second and then obviously the floor is debbie's but not everybody will know what selenite is as a gemstone because it's not main it's not on every high street is what is my point because it is a very 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 rare beautiful gemstone and we said earlier on didn't we debbie mm. if you were to describe um the word aura in a gemstone it yeah. would be selenite wouldn't it, it is this because you do get an aura and it, it it's magical yeah amazing well here it is so let's talk about the history of selenite selenite is a specific variety of the mineral gypsum named after the ancient greek goddess of the moon selen the Greeks especially appreciated the beauty of selenite, even making windows with the stone. This gemstone received its official name from G, uh, sorry, J. G. Walleris Waller, um, in 1747 when he wrote that. Um, <laughs> gypsum, as a general material, has been valued since as far back as the Egyptians, where it was used for decorate, uh, decorative purposes. One unique use of selenite is in the Santa Sabine Church in Rome. The large arch windows built in the 5th century are made of sheets of selenite, not glass. Um, after large amounts of gypsum were found near Paris in France, the material known as Plaster of Paris was created. Uh, Plaster of Paris is a gypsum that has been chemically altered to extract the water within. It is also uh, said that French farmers use raw gypsum as a soil um, addition. Not selenite, I need to point out. No. It's a very different thing. The, sel the gemstone selenite is most closely associated with the crown yeah. chakra, as you yeah. just said, which represents wisdom and spirituality, as well as the third eye chakra. The colourless beauty and translucency of selenite is often attributed to purity and peace in both metaphysical beliefs and colour theory. Yeah. Selenite is excellent to use with meditating or trying to achieve mental clarity. You said all this, didn't yeah. you? Um, as it is believed to compel the person holding it to be honest with themselves. Mm. And these are the words I have, uh, that are associated, associated with selenite. Serenity, purification, peace, meditation, universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and positive thoughts. It's like a washing machine for your negative thoughts. If you think oh, of it. I love that. You put your negative thoughts in it. You know, obviously, this is not scientifically proven. It's not what everyone believes. I've been meditating and using crystals to meditate all my life literally since I was about 14 um, so it's something I believe in a lot of people believe um, and obviously it's proven with with quartz crystal yep. that you know it amplifies things um, and with the selenite I personally find it very very peaceful and I find that even looking at it like now I'm looking especially at the larger strand and I'm finding it calming and um, I don't think you even need to know these things. You should always I always tell people to go for the to the gemstone they're drawn to. There'll mm -hmm. be a reason and you don't need to know it. Yeah. You know, it does, it's not a head thing. But with this, I feel like it's a bit like a washing machine for my mind when my mind is tumbling with negativity and, you know, full of rubbish. That if I meditate with my selenite and just even just holding it. So it would be great for um, a mala, but I like to kind of fiddle with it on my wrist because yeah. then you can just, you get your fix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can touch it. So having it in the kits, and they're very easy to make kits, and you also get the sterling, um, I can't pick a favourite because I think there's something it's for everybody. It's difficult. It is difficult. Yeah. There are three kits and they're all beautiful. Yeah. Um, and the jewellery, Debbie, is so amazing. Now, we're going to start with the one with the Buddhas. 
I want to just show you a few prices. There's not, uh, look, it's not a hugely accessible gemstone, to be truthful, in jewellery. Um, so we found one selenite pretty. bead choker. Lovely. There's five. £63. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I think that's quite a good price, actually. I don't yeah. think that's bad. Not bad. It's got, sort of, what, five wrap loops on some sterling silver chain. £63. Yeah. Pounds. Okay. So we've also got... Are we not... Okay. Okay. Um, in fact, that's it. The other ones aren't available anymore. So there we go. I thought he had price, uh, price comparisons, but I haven't. These are... And selenite has got this really beautiful glow about it. Yes. It, it's got this internal glow that changes so it is like an aura and I just think that similar to angelite angelite makes me feel this as way um, as well but it's a different glow to maybe your moonstones and your labradorite it's more of a ethereal glow does yeah. that make sense yeah it's definitely more of a magical I was going to say spiritual, spiritual very 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 spiritual um even if you didn't know that you can kind of tell by looking yeah, at you it, can, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can, Ross. Yeah, that Ross said that if you didn't know it, you could tell. And I think you can. It makes you feel like it'll make me feel like meditating. I've got, mm. a, I've got a big slab of it, which I, I use. Um, now, I, I love anything with Buddha. And if you come into my house, you will know that because there's Buddhas everywhere. I find them peaceful. Yeah. Um, and I just... I think maybe this is my favourite because it's got a Buddha and the size of the selenite lends yeah. itself to the magic. Yeah, they're the biggest, aren't they? Yeah. Um, can I just show you something else? This is the selenite cave. Oh, I'd love to go there. How incredible is that? Oh, my goodness. Imagine the feeling you get when you walk in there. How it feels. Yeah. But also quite, quite terrifying, I also think. Well, yeah, they're huge, aren't they? I mean, yeah, vast. You'd I just think you'd be hit with this energy this peaceful yeah. kind of wow feeling it's a, mother nature is awesome oh amazing absolutely awesome okay now we have three kits these are the largest of your selenites mm -hmm. they're all round so if you yeah. wanted to um so create a graduation or mix and match each of these components together you can now they are 925 sterling yeah, are. silver buddhas with cubic zirconias you can't quite see that there but you're thinking you can on the recording where you've actually got sort of little bits of sparkle yeah um front and reverse and they are double-sided buddhas too plus then you're getting your bead long longer um white i need this I'm and so it's 0.3 which yeah. is amazing it, you can always double it up can't you oh yeah I'm desperate for the Alonga elastic. Um, so yes, 0 0.3 millimetres and you get a full 25 metres. Do you know what? I love Elonga elastic because you've also got this, so it doesn't go everywhere. Yeah, it's very good. Really you clever. you can just tuck it in after. Yeah. Um, and then here are your selenite. Look at the magic. You know, that's the thing. You look at it, if I keep my hand still, you think it's just pure white stone. But actually when I start moving it, look. and this is here in the studio, you see that beautiful aura and it's all totally and utterly natural how many have we got of these available Ooh. hang on ross i think you've is this the right one yeah with the spacers it says spacer beads these are the buddhas yeah 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 there's only one with yeah. elastic yeah yeah so yeah there we go there we perfect go. oh so you get three and i just put one in there but you could put all three in there if you wanted to but um, I don't know, you've got your peaceful Buddha, and if he turns around, it doesn't matter. No, because he's, he's on both on. sides. Yeah. And then you've got your selenite, and then you've got your elastic. And I, you, know, you could add some spaces to that. You could add whatever you want, your favourite gemstone, um, little tiny ones in between. But I just love it as it is. I just it's, think it's like having a cloud on your wrist. It is, yeah. Now, these are eight millimetres in their size. We on, I only recall ever doing selenite in showcases. Um, and we've done eight mils before in selenite, obviously, not in kits, and they were at twenty four ninety nine. Okay, well, that's good. They have been higher, but we're just saying the, the lowest price that we can find on our system of this strand on its own has been twenty four ninety nine. Okay. That our history shows, the Buddha heads, which are sterling silver, are twenty four ninety nine. Really, for the set of three encrusted with cubic zirconia. Okay, the longer, about five pounds. Okay. So straight away, this kit, about £55, pounds, mm. yeah. But, you know, we always give you a deal during our, during our kits. Now, let's just to start somewhere, £55. Pounds, you've got your 8mm selenite. We've done them at £24.99 before. That's the lowest price point that we can see on our system. 
We've brought you the sterling silver Buddhas at £24.99. We've brought the elong a longer elastic, five pounds. Who would, when we say you get the best deals either in kits and bundles, genuinely that's true. And this is a prime example. If you've ever wanted your eight millimeter selenite or you've ever wanted your Buddhas, your sterling silver Buddhas, now is the time because you are better off actually purchasing the kit than you are buying the items individually. <laughs> That's always the case with kits though. It is, it, 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 it is. We're gonna do it in one price crash. A shining demonstration of what we always say. Kits, bundles, we will bring it to you at a, it's more cost effective. We'll give you the best savings during your kits and your bundles. Why? Well, because you're gonna get the inspiration from our designers. We, you know, we want to encourage people to start their jewelry making journey yeah, as definitely. well. Of course we do. Mm -hmm. So if we, you know, this is where we kind of work off the smallest margins effectively because we want to encourage people to make jewelry with us. In 10 seconds, this is gonna be one of the biggest deals. How many do we have though, Ross? What? There's a hundred. I have to get some of these. I'm probably gonna multi-buy on this kit. I didn't ask what we were going to, so I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you've just bought your selenite, got everything else for free, or you bought your sterling silver Buddhas and got everything else I for free? I bought the Buddhas, I've bought the Buddhas before. I've, I think I bought two lots of them, because yeah. I love them. They are beautiful. That is a really, really good price. Yes. Well, we, we've said it so many times, haven't we? Get the kit, get the kit. Better yeah, saving in the kit. Definitely. Be absolutely. And I remember once upon a time saying to me, well, I, I don't want the other items. Sell them. Give them away. Whatever it is. Yeah, and or just put them in your stash. You will use them at some point. Of course you will. Of course you will. Twenty-four ninety-nine. You're get you're buying your selenite or you're buying your sterling silver Buddhas and you're getting everything else for free, whichever way you want to look at it. That, by the way, Elonga is amazing as That's elastic. Really good. I use it all the time. You get 25 metres, do you, on that one? Yeah. Yeah. So can I also suggest that you use your deal of the day? <gasps> That's what I would Hello. be using on the deal of the day. <laughs> Hello. How am I just... Yeah. I'm going to put them in, in, oh, into yes. this kit yes. too. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Topaz and selenite yes, yes, all in yes, one yes. beautiful bouquet. Because if you have any questions for Debbie, text in. You're still going with that, the crown chakra vibe if you're putting in the zircon because you've still got that kind of white. If you don't know about your chakras, like up here is often like the white light coming down. And it, we do that in meditation and yoga. Um, actually, I, I might make one of these for my yoga teacher. Oh, that's she would a lovely love idea. That. Yeah, I'm going to do that. She'd love it. Ah, definitely. Oh, I always wonder if all that glitters in Lancashire has got anything to do with all that glitters, the maybe. television programme. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or maybe they stole her that name. Or they like the name, yeah, but I always just wonder if it was one of the designers. Never know, never know. Um, right, now we're going to dive into the demo. Keep checking out your baskets on this one. We had 100, didn't we? Is that right? 100 of this kit. The others, um, but they're more limited, the other kits. Shop ahead on those two. So just to say, with the elastic, kit yeah yeah it was the larger selenites so then you've got the owl kit and then you've got the kit with the cord um, which i haven't made with i was going to demo with so you have got the kit with the cord and this one has also got um the precious metal spacer beads as well and they're really lovely they're sort of like little lattice work yeah, like sizable as well aren't yeah, they beautiful. um beads so i thought well what i do was i show you how to be you know I'm not going to do an elastic bracelet there's been lots of demos on that so if you are wanting to make an elastic bracelet in your beginner you can find that on our YouTube or on our website so I just thought I'd show you that if you wanted to use your cord how you can do a slidey knot or how slidey you can, knot. how you can, uh, can can do that so what I've done is I've taken the wax cord and I, that's just my to stop it falling off so just let me take that off there we go and what I've done is I've measured from my strand and my spacers how long I want my bracelet to be. Now, bearing in mind that with a slidey cord, you can make it a bit longer if you want to. That's absolutely fine. So I've used a very generous amount of cord here. So you're going to need to slide your beads down to the roughly the centre of your cord. And bear in mind that you're going to need a little bit extra because when you put your slidey knot in, you're going to need to have some tails so that you can essentially make that bracelet bigger or smaller and you need to get it over the widest part of your hand. So you're gonna to need to um, get it 
it's going to have to be able to open as far as the widest part of your hand so that you can get it on, if that makes sense. So what I've done is I've popped on the amount of beads that I want for my bracelet, and you can fiddle with that beforehand before you pop them on to your cord. And you will have some left over. I had some left over from my bracelet size, and they will come in handy if you want to pop them on your little tassel. Now you can knot, just as you do with um, silk, you can knot with this, this cord, but um, I didn't want, really want to see the black knots in between. I quite like the look of the black coming through the selenite. So I'm just going to put a knot at either end just to stop it falling off. So I want to see, just put my finger where I want my knot to be, and I'm just gonna do um, an overhand knot and push it down to where I want it to be. And then once I've done that one knot, I'm just gonna see if that's enough to stop my bead going. Because sometimes if beads have got larger holes, you have to do a double knot because otherwise it'll go over the top and that mm. seems to be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna push my beads down on that end. And then on this end, I want to do a knot again, but I wanna make sure I get it up nice and close. So I'm just going to do my regular granny knot and you tend to find that unlike um, silk, you have to be a bit more careful when you're knotting with this because it's a bit more awkward. It doesn't slide so beautifully. So you have to do a little um, of, of fiddling. So I'm just gonna, I've put my tweezers through the knot and then I've grabbed the thread just after the bead there, like that, okay? And then I'm going to pull my knot down. Now, sometimes the knot will get stuck slightly further up the thread, it hasn't here. In which case, you just pull your knot down with your fingers and keep your tweezers in there. And then I'm just going to take my tweezers out, Perfect. squeeze that and then get my tweezers here and I'm just gonna run them along to push them so that they're proud. So now they're held on. And the part that I'm going to do next is the slidey knot. Now there's a couple of ways that you can secure this. Um, if you've got a macrame board, that is a really nice, um, easy way to do it. So I've got one here and your strands are long enough. You can just um, take your strands, just as you'd wear them, sort of over the top here, and you can secure them into your board, just so that, it, you can do it without, but just so that it's easy. Another way of doing it is a bulldog clip on your bead mat. Um, and another way of doing it is masking tape so that you just would pop up there and pop some masking tape on it. It can be done without doing any of this, but it's just more fiddly. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I'm just popping these together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do my square knot over both of my tails. So I've got both of my tails there. So I'm just gonna, you've got more than enough thread to do this and probably to knot in between if you wanted to as well. So I've got a length of cord here. Actually, I'm gonna cut that. Let me find my cutters just so that it's easier for demo purposes. Let's see if this will cut it, yeah. So I'm going to take my strand that I'm gonna to use to do my knots and I'm going to pop it under both of my strands to about halfway, it's not an exact process. And what I like to do is put a knot on one end so I can remember to use that strand each time. It's just a little hack, so I've put a little knot there. And what I'm gonna do is take my thread over the top of my two strands of my bracelet there. So it's like a D shape. So I've made a D, I've gone over the top with the strand that has a knot on it. And then I'm going to take the other strand underneath both of them and up and through the D, like that. Okay, now it's harder to show you with this kind of, of um, cord because it likes to do its own thing. And then you're gonna pull, hold on, I didn't go under. It's me looking at the monitor, I should be looking at what I'm doing. You can see that, can't you? Right, now yeah. I'm just gonna look at what I'm doing, so if I get out of shot, tell me. So I'm going to put that underneath take it over the top of both strands like that so you've got your D and then I'm going underneath both of the strands is that under yet yeah we can see and then give it a pull so that's your square knot now when you're doing your square knots in macrame you pull quite tightly um, you don't want to be pulling that too tight at this point because you these need to slide so just make sure you're not going too tight so just give it a little tug and then if you don't know what 
side to use again, you always start over the top with the side with a little knot on with this particular one. So I'm going over the top of the two strands again and then underneath both of them and up and through that D. Okay, keep a hold of the other strand and you can see it's going down into a square knot. Now it's up to you how many you do. I'm going to go a bit quicker. So let's do, I probably do about six when I'm doing a slidey knot, depending on, on the bracelet. So that's now coming up and through, give it a pull. I'm making sure again that I'm not pulling it too tight because I need to slide and that's fine because they're sliding, so that's good. And then what you want to do is continue until you've got the length that you want. Let's just do one more. So I'm going to go underneath both of the strands and up and through the D. Make sure you keep hold of both ends. You've got your square knot and then knot it down. And again, this cord likes to kind of kink up. So just make sure it's going where you want it to be. Now, when you've got to this point and you've got as many knots as, as you want, just take the strands of your bracelet and make sure that you can actually pull it through, that it's not too tight. And when you're happy with that, you're going to add a little bit of glue to the end of your square knot. Now, just tr make sure that you don't splurge a lot of glue on so that you get it underneath, mm. because if you get that, those underneath strands, you're not going to be able to slide it. So um, sometimes if you've got a thread zapper, it will just melt the cord. So I would pop some glue on there, wait for it to dry before I trim my, my ends, and then you've got, obviously, a slidey knot. But if you pull that, that's going to come out. So what I'm going to do is snip my ends, but leave a little bit extra because I'm going to do a knot. So I'm going to just snip my ends here with this. And then what you can do here is you can either put on um, one of the spacer beads or pop on a selenite. And if you find trouble getting your end through, like sometimes it'll be quite together and other times it'll fray. If it frays a little bit, pop um, a bit of clear nail varnish mm. on there and that gives it sort of that little bit of structure so that you can get it through. So pop it through. Hold on. You can do it without if you fiddle with it. So I'm just going to pop it through and it can be anything. It can be something with a larger hole. Quick message in. Debbie, Debbie, that knot tip <laughs> is the best ever. Do you know, I used to... It is, because I always get those mixed up. I used to go around the country um, for a, a company that used to exist called Do Crafts, and the first thing that I taught was macrame, and I feel like I did it forever. And um, I used to do, like, 100 people in the workshop, you know, big, uh, big craft shows. And I came up with that tip, because that was the most common thing, that you have to sit there going left, right, left, right. You don't even have to think about it when you put no. a little knot on the end. Top tip, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. I like I, a bit I of a tip. I took that one on as well. I because, like a bit of a tip. Uh, so and you, I'm so easily, I, I forget so easily. So this one, I, I need to put nail varnish on because it's fraying. So anyway, imagine I've put the, the, the bead on, the nail varnish, yeah. and so then your bead will be moving up and down um, your thread. And of course, you don't have to have a bead. You can just do a knot if you yeah. want. And then you just do um, a knot on the end. So with the selenite, one knot was enough, wasn't it? When it didn't pull through. Give it a tug and then you can pop just a little bit of glue on there just to make sure that doesn't go anywhere and trim it to required. And then you're going to do the same on the other side so that you've then got your slidey knot. So you can adjust this. And if you don't like to have beads hanging down, like if they get on your nerves, then you can just do a knot and trim. Or you might even want to just have a little silver spacer bead there um, or one of the actual selenites. But, but don't do it, leave it too short because you still need to But stretch. don't leave it too short. As I said in the beginning, make sure yeah. that the knot can go over this part because yeah. it's like a bangle essentially. You need, it needs to be, to be able to go over the widest part of your hand. So there has to be room for that. And then once all of your glues have dried and you're happy that everything's nice and secure, then you can go in and just trim off um, the ends of your cord. And you've got that little sort of slidey, I think that's quite a unisex design. Yeah, Maybe um, quite a kind of young, You definitely need trendy. to do one for your yoga teacher. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for my yoga teacher. I think she'd love one um, with the Buddha on. Yeah. Uh, and I, the selenite, and I think she'd wear that when, yeah. she's, when she's teaching us yoga. She's lovely. You'll be so. you'll be the favourite class favourite. <laughs> it's like bringing an apple, but you bring a selenite yeah. bracelet. Yeah, well, I know which one I prefer. So obviously the other kits, you've just got elastic. Yeah. And then with the leather, you've just got the leather 
I presume it's leather, yeah. um, and, and an end cap. And all you have to do with that is pop your glue into the end cap and then just pop the leather in. Oh. And that's it. And you get one on the other side as well, so you get four of these. So you can sort of... Um, oh, that's lovely as it so, is. Yeah. Right, let's bring the kit that you were demoing with okay. on air. Because, okay. um, so that's with the cord that Debbie was demoing with. And the, the lovely silver spacers. They really are, they're they are. beautiful, aren't they? And you've got three. Now, if you're tuning in for the white topaz, it's coming up in about 10 minutes time. Bear with us. Okay. You can shop ahead on that though. Um, so just bear with us on that. But, oh my goodness, it's so difficult to choose between these kits. They've got to be new. I've not seen those before. They're really sizable. I like the three because yeah. I always think with three is mind, body and spirit. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Without being, you know, having something written on it, you kind of know that yeah, yourself. So it can, can be your reminder if it's your sort of comfort jewellery or... They are brand new. I thought they were brand new. They are brand new because they're a, I've not seen them this size. No, absolutely. Sterling silver, six milli, uh, millimeter selenite, yep. and you get your little uh, card of cord, which is a wax cord mm -hmm. that Debbie was demoing with. And it looks like you get loads on there, so you can make mm -hmm. lots of jewelry from that potentially. Have I got the same quantity, or did you say there's less? 90 okay um but again we, we said at the beginning of this hour we when we do see selenite it's usually in a showcase not yeah. normally in kit no. um so we actually think that this is the first time we've actually had selenite in a kit potentially i don't re i don't recall and forgive me if i'm wrong um straight away immediately we've got people getting involved they're diamond cut those spaces you can see that though can't you can you? see and it, very clever i don't know if they thought about this or they just thought it aesthetically looked good but it lets the light through yeah so you haven't got this beautiful light coming through the selenite and then a full stop when you get to the spacer True. bead you've still the spacer bead still allows all the light to flow oh, around yes. the bracelet which i love and it, it has got this beautiful aura this amazing amazing aura so yes if ever you do go to rome then make sure you go along to the church that's got selenite Oh, yes, please. I know. How amazing. I want selenite windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's incredible. It's a magical gemstone. Um, soothing selenite, absolutely. But lots of strong meanings associated to selenite and ones that you can absolutely, uh, you appreciate. Even if you, don't, if you don't necessarily go along with the metaphysical side of things, you can absolutely see it's, it's visually soothing, isn't it? C colour therapy yeah. is a thing. You know, some colours make you feel calm, which is why people have their bedrooms in certain colours and yep. their bathrooms. Um, and it's the same with jewellery. So even if you're not into any of that, you know, a colour just might make you feel calmer. True. And, and do, you know, do you know what colour our bedroom was when I, we bought our house? Literally pillar box red. Every wall and ceiling was pillar box red. Oh, that's so I bad. know. I was like, how on earth are you sleeping in this? Yeah. It was we didn't sleep in it for, for, for about six months until we decorated it. No, that's too harsh for me. Yeah, it was... It was uh, were you the same, Adam? Yours was more of a blood red. Yeah. Yeah, every... And the ceiling was red in our bedroom. Wow. And it, it made me uncomfortable. So, yeah, we slept in the spare room for a while. Um, I can see that. Now it's white. Yes, Calming. Calming, because that's your kind of sanctuary at the end of the day, isn't it? Where yeah. you want to rest. 19.99. Oh, that's really good. Sorry, is that me wittering on? That's very good. Witter, witter, witter. Um, that's the price of the... Is that the price of the strand? In fact, that might be even less than what I was expecting. That's got to be the price of the spacers. Yes, because they're big. Yeah, they are. Those spacers, how big are they, Ross? What's the size of those spacers? Eight millimetres in their size. So yeah, nineteen ninety nine for the spaces on their own, and you're getting a strand of selenite and the wax cord for free. Amazing! If I was at home, I'd get um, this kit that we've got on air now and the elastic kit Definitely. together because it's very, very compatible. Yeah, they with work each together. Other. I yeah. agree. You'd probably put one of those spaces in your stretchy bracelet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, um, with that in mind, then. Assuming people are probably going to want to do that as well. Should we take this lower? <laughs> yeah. But genuinely, here at Jewelry Maker, and we do bring you the best, most amazing deals on sterling silver, gemstones, you know, tools, all sorts. Genuinely, for the three diamond cut, eight mil spacer beads, 
They would be 1999. Yeah, I would expect them to be. That's what I've paid before when I've bought like really nice. Yeah, spaces. this strand would be more. Mm. Um, but in 26 seconds, because it is part of the kit, and because we would like you to maybe mix and match the kits together. I think they do work really well. We're going to go even lower. There were 90 of this opportunity. Look at that aura. It's just magical selenite. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it, you can see all of those, you know, the words that we shared earlier on. You, th you can see serenity. You can see that calming. Can we bring those up? Oh, let's do the price first. It's an ethereal glow, is it how is, I yeah. describe it. It's very calming to me, personally. Um, that is one of the properties, but I do find it calming. I do. $16.99. Oh. Serenity, purification, peace, meditation, universal uh, consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, uh, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and positive thoughts. I just love that. I just think... Washing machine for your mind. And just very, yeah. you know, meditation is scientifically proven to help yes. your stress levels. So even if you just think of it as a meditation aid, mm. um, it's very good for that. What's, um, we watched a series. Who was the guy? Oh, gosh, what's his name? Actor that's um, been diagnosed with early signs of Alzheimer's or dementia. Bruce Willis. No, not Bruce Willis. Oh. Younger actor, younger actor. Uh, Hemsworth, there we are, Chris Hemsworth. Has he? Yeah, he's got a, he's got a gene, right. effectively, where it's likely that, you oh. know, so effectively, it's, I can't... No, it's, a, it's an actual documentary where basically, because he knows, it's really good, you should watch it, but because he's been diagnosed with this gene, or whichever it is, but um, that he's likely to get dementia at some point, right. and it's how he prevents it. Right. And one of the things was meditation. Yeah, absolutely. And, and being able to control the mind, absolutely. you know, things like that. It was like uh, not getting so stressed yeah. out, eating well, which, yeah. you know, um, not for sort of fatty foods. Lots of the obvious things, yeah. exercise, but meditation was one of the things. And also just being able to control your mind. You know, because yeah. I'm guilty of this, you know, when you've been stressed out and you just almost become irrational. Yeah, and it's not zero real. To, zero to 60. And it's like, not real. Yeah. And it, you know, most of the time it's not real, it's what you're telling yourself. And so meditation, essentially I used to teach meditation, it, it quiets those, uh, that noise yeah. and helps you to just be still. Mm. And there's no failing at it. Oh, I had a thought, I failed. That, no, it's just anything that helps you to go inside, just, from, just focus on your breath, just relax. Mm. It's very, very good for your well-being. Mm -hmm. And people that had tried, you know, it's not all, all airy-fairy. It's not it doesn't have to be anything to do with religion or anything to do with spirituality. It's just, it's very calming. It's very relaxing. Uh, the, the other thing that they, he actually did in that documentary um, was they he was taken to basically off the grid, basically completely off the grid. Um, nice. And he found that really beneficial just because we're constantly barraged, aren't we, with, with screens yes. and telephones and iPads and all things like that. Um, so just having that disconnect, I suppose. It's just really interesting. I would recommend it, actually. Um, okay, so here we are now with the last of the kit, that beautiful bracelet. This is so stunning. So I actually made, just let me, both of these out of the one kit. And I just, I, oh no, I, did, I added these little spaces. I said I didn't, but I'd forgotten. So the little spaces in that one I added from my stash. Okay. But both of these bracelets came from this kit. So I added a jump ring. Yeah. And some spaces from my stash. How? But you don't have to have the spaces, do you? This is a big kit. Yeah. So this is, I wanted to show that, because I thought they'd be nice stacked together. Yeah. Well, you've got the strand. This is a big kit. Hang on, I'm confused. What's uh, what, what, what my specifications? So you've got six millimeter selenite, sterling silver owl connector mm -hmm. with white enamel. Oh, is that where the black spinel is? Yes, it must be, yeah. In black the spinel is in the eyes, there we go. And then you've got the leather and then all your sterling silver. Can you see this here? Four of those connectors. And a, 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 clasp. a, a clasp as and well. And the jump ring to go on the clasp. So if you wanted to, you could attach the connectors to either side of the owl's head yeah. instead of the jump ring at the top if you didn't want him to move around and just snip that off 
and then he would sit in the middle of the bracelet. But I thought I like my jewelry to move, so I added him as a charm. So that's why I added an extra jump ring. If you see my meaning. Yeah. Um, so I did a couple of selenite. Just depends what size you want it to be. But another way of making it bigger is to put an extender chain on the back if you just want to have the owl in the front. And um, I had him as a charm, but you could attach that leather to either side of his cheeks oh. and have him in the middle if you wanted to. Just snip the top little loop off. I mean, yeah. we're in 1999. Look, you know, kids are about to finish school, aren't they? I'm thinking about teacher gifts. Oh, yeah. Lovely. How lovely would this be as a teacher gift? Generous, granted. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> yeah. In 60 seconds, we're going even lower. You've got a strand of six millimetre natural selenite here and the leather and all that sterling silver. Yeah, a fair amount of silver. Yeah, that amazing little owl. Yeah, he's so cute. So I love the connection, owl, and I'm thinking back to the words um, that are associated, psychic development, forgiveness, meditation, universal consciousness, serenity, purification, clarity of thought. Well, owls are seen as wise, aren't yes. they? In 30 seconds, we're taking it even lower. Look at that glow. It is that aura, isn't it? It's, mm. it, it's Mother Nature's aura. It's, just having a sip of tea. <laughs> it's very um, supernatural. Yes. Yes. Like if Superman could be a gemstone, he'd be this gemstone. I thought about <laughs> Superman, Superman. Well. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe it's yeah. my age, I think of Superman as like the superhero, but. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's like, it's when, like what? when he goes to his house. Fortress yeah. of Solitude. What's it called? Yeah. The Fortress of Solitude. He goes there and it's all made of, of this, isn't it? That's why I thought of it. <laughs> you, you there he is in the corner. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine him, him hanging out in caves like this, can't you? Do you know what I mean, though? It's like a super... It's, um, it's, it's fascinating. Yeah. Mother Nature is awesome. It is amazing. Absolutely awesome. And again, look how it forms. You know, it forms almost in perfect cleavages, layers, kind of like slate. You know, a little slate kind of chips off and you've got those flat surfaces to get rounds out of selenite and then say, oh, I'll tell you what, just 14 99 please. That's a great price for all the sterling silver. 14 99 So wait a minute, can we just That's do a little so tally up? So good. For all three kits that we've brought to you in this hour, can we tally them up? First, first kit was 25 57 pounds <laughs> you can get all three kits and they are very adaptable because you've got the different sizes of gemstones so you could put some large yeah. ones and some, like you could go maybe um, a smaller one a six mil then an eight mil then a six mil you know you could do mm. it that way um, and it's selenite everyone's gonna love it mm. I don't know a single person that doesn't love selenite and if you just look at it from a just a jewelry point of view and forget all of the magic it's a color that goes with everything yeah Definitely. It's like pearls, isn't it? It's got that same, well, yeah. the same. You know, like pearls have got a pearlescence, haven't they? They've got that luster. Yes. Whereas with, it is different, obviously, because it's internal, the selenite, but it's got that magic, that movement. It's got a personality. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I, when I did my calendar demo, I was t t talking to my beads and then I said, oh, sorry, I talked to my beads, but I'm the only one. And I got all those messages on social media going, no, you're not the only one. I talk to my beads all the time. Sorry. But I feel like gemstones have a personality. 100%, 100%, particularly selenite. Um, sorry, you've just made me... As soon as you said that, then, it sounded like uh, um, the calendar girls. I oh, just yeah. One of my favourite films. <laughs> yeah, You're going to need too. considerably bigger buns. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good film. So good. <laughs> So good. No, not that calendar, just our oh. calendar, our birthday calendar. Yeah, I don't know, that's funny. <laughs> Chelsea buns. Yeah. Uh, 14.99, well done. Um, they are absolutely flying out the door. Um, well done, well done, everybody. And I think on the back, I think we've absolutely been, we're, we're all transfixed with this gemstone. Now, the topaz is coming up in a few moments' time. Three millimetres. Um, an unbelievable deal coming your way. Last potential opportunity for this for a very long time. Um, also, yes, we've got, pearls have been huge today. We have got a last opportunity for you to get hold of the final few. It's from the birthday, comes with the pochette. You get, these aren't separate, so you get the suite of half-drilled purple pearls. Oh, they're lovely. You get... The strand of natural purple pearls. Oh, that's lovely. You get another strand of natural purple pearls. And you get another 
of natural multicoloured pearls. Now, there are 30 available. That set of two that we did earlier, completely sold out. The pendant, completely sold out. The near round pearls in the 8 o'clock hour, sold out. This is coming up in a couple of auctions. Technically speaking, today, yeah, that's true. You've got the extra 10%. It's going to be the lowest ever price. Um, of course. Yeah, if you use Pearl 10, Pearl 10, this is going to be the lowest ever price opportunity. I've got 30 available for you this morning. So, yeah, grab them. They're all natural as well in their colour. Um, I'm just going to shimmy that to the middle because it's coming oh, up in a few moments' time. And don't forget to shop ahead on your beautiful on your beautiful deal of the day, which is coming. Yeah, we might be a little bit behind time, but we weren't we weren't stopping. We're in that we're, we're in selenite fever, aren't we? Right now, this in selenite mode, which ah, oh, it's just got that wonderful aura about it, and it just makes you all feel nice and calm, and I don't know. It, 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 it is one of those gems that gives you, you can feel it in its sense. And again, I, I, I'm with you on the meditation. I never used to be mine. Did I you not? No, never ever used to be. I think more recently I've kind of got, uh, um, I've always been interested, but I've never really backed it, if that makes sense. But now I do. I think people think you've got to be special to do it or you've got to have a special skill or they can't do it. And of course they can. You just try. <laughs> yeah. Now we've got some selenite wands. Now, if you're wondering what you would do with the selenite wand, lots of people charge their gemstones. Yeah, they do. But also, um, they're nice items to have around. You heard in that, in that write-up earlier on that... Um, which, you have to show me which one. Um, they're, they're the same. This one? Okay. Yeah, this one. Got it. Um, but also people have this round, as it said earlier on, it encourages you to uh, um, have clarity of thought, doesn't yes, it? Yes, and positivity and calm. Amazing. Now, this is the largest, so if I just move that out of the way. Um, and we are going to bring it to you. Uh, and look at that. Can you see how it all of a sudden just lit up? Yeah. It's all Mother Nature. It's, again, if you can imagine heaven looking like selenite, can't you? Exactly. That's what I mean by sort of magical and ethereal yeah angelic seven pounds and 99 pence only very, very good it's just a really nice item to have sort of around your home well some it? you know people do altars don't they and it's not some kind of weird thing people have been doing altars since pagan since time began yeah and even having your family photos on this on your sideboard is like an altar yeah to your family absolutely so having these next to the photos of your family or on your mantelpiece or next to your vase of flowers you're essentially making an altar yeah and you're making it either to summer or the celebration of summer or whatever. You might not even realise you're doing it, but people do it all the time. Mm -hmm. And having something like this just sort of increases the power of that. Oh, or like if that. you find it calming, it increases how you feel when you look at it. So yep. it doesn't even have to be to charge your gemstones. It can just be that it makes you feel calm. And you said earlier on it's about sort of uh, um, removing negative thoughts, which, mm -hmm. which let's be honest, we can all... We can, we can all um, get bogged down with that from time yeah, to time, can't absolutely. we? So, you know, negative thoughts, fear. Fear and negative thoughts and just that voice. You know, that voice will tell you you're not good enough when you're rubbish or you can do it better or you should have done this and you should have done that. Um, well, yeah, you, that is an option. I yeah, won't just, say what the suggestion was in my No, head. well, just, just <laughs> meditate with your wand. Exactly. And if you put a candle, it doesn't even have to be a real candle. It can be one of the fake candles. But if you put a couple of these, um, or even one and a candle in front of it, and just oh, stare that. at it yeah. and try and concentrate on it for a few minutes, that will relax your body. Amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, lots of people have these sort of dotted around the homes, don't they? And like I said, to clear their, uh, um, to charge their gemstones. Amazing. Yep. This is the slightly smaller size. I can't, I, I have to move it because I love what it does with light. I think it's absolutely fascinating. £6.99. Uh -huh. Again, this is for, for, for your yoga teacher. Yeah, she'd love that. I mean, she has like, um, we kind of, go, we do yoga in a semicircle and she has a can, like fake candles in the middle. And so crystals amongst those candles would be nice, depending on what mm. we're doing that week. But um, it all is to create a mood of relaxation and welcoming and comfort. Mm. And that's what she does in the yoga studio, which makes you feel comfortable to go in 
and that's what you want to do in a meditation environment. So even if you have a small space, but it means you get your selenite out and your little candle and that's your space. It mm. might just be in your bedroom, mm -hmm. you know, or just in the corner of your living room, but it kind of it sets up the scene for what you're about to do, which might just be a bit of breathing. You might be reading. That yep. might be your relaxation. Yeah. Um, that sort we of all thing. need that, don't we? Yeah. We need that, that, that moment to ourselves. So six ninety nine. the last of your selenite ones. This one's slightly smaller. Um, so we've just gone down in size. Um, again, just just really lovely object. It's just the fact that Mother Nature creates this. People do create sort of... Um, crystal charging ones with these so I've seen some people wire wrap yeah. them and then with like something on the top with another gemstone or just to make it pretty I've seen a lot of that actually if you go to a lot of the healing fairs or festivals you'll see the selenite ones that people have wrapped in wire mm. and added things to to make pretty beautiful and this is a size you definitely could mm. um so you're talking about nine centimeters in its length 200 carats of this beautiful gemstone um straight away collectors getting involved amazing i love it and it's a, it's a nice gift isn't it a little thoughtful yeah gift. that is a lovely gift actually or if you gifted one of the bracelets put yeah. it in a box with one of these oh lovely really nice 5.99 amazing well done everybody we've only got a few of those so make sure you're checking out um okay now coming up we are one one auction away um from your beautiful deal of the day now we have got a big quantity but again those of you that have just tuned in um it's available on pre-order i would strongly encourage you stocking up on your colorless topaz right now particularly if you're fond of your faceted rounds because we have been told by our main supplier that yeah that's it you've basically got I'm not saying Topaz is running out mm. I'm not saying that um, but we can't we can't purchase it at the price that you're about to see so this is coming up at a one one auctions time um, in fact two sorry I beg your pardon so um, these are coming your way this amazing bundle that's going to be the lowest ever price point in fact let's do this one so um, yeah now if you go to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. You will see this page. And it says, oh, June's birthstone is Pearl. Amazing. You can get 10% off using the code Pearl10. And Debbie, we thought it might have been just for the website. <coughs> Excuse me. I th yes, I thought that it was, you know, like if you bought on the website, but not when the sh from the show products. That's what I thought. But no, nope. you can use it for the show as well, you can't you? definitely can. Now, which means that when we uh, when we brought this birthday pearl bundle, oh, it's beautiful. which included a suite, effectively. You know how often do we say, oh, multi-buy, make a suite? You don't need to multi-buy. And it comes presented in this box. That's lovely. A suite of perfect drop pearls. They're a beautiful colour. Natural mm. as well. Which also includes... a further strand of natural purple pearls. These were launched as part of our birthday celebration and we have just a handful of them left. Another strand of natural purple pearls. And I'm still not done <laughs> because we have a third. You get all three and the pochette. Today, you are going to get this at the lowest ever price because a birthday deal is one thing, but then to say, okay, let's do the birthday deal and then slap another 10% off yeah. that. Do you know, again, it's one of those, isn't it? Right hand, left hand, that conversation. <laughs> um, I've got 30 available okay. opportunities. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Look at the quality of that purple. Never taken this to the price that you're going to be able to get hold of them for um, today, including that 10% discount, okay? So make sure you're using that. Um, they are natural purples. These are not bleached and dyed. You can see that because, do you notice that if, they, if they're dyed pearls, then they tend to be just one generic color, which is still lovely. There's mm -hmm. a place for dyed pearls yeah. all day long. Um, you've got a whole parcel of natural pearls. You imagine those loose, you know, if you were to de-strand them, put them on a, this pochette here, you know, that's a full parcel, a big bulk of a harvest, to be truthful. Yes. Um, because not every single pearl will have this beautiful natural colour. Now, I'm going to start at £200 per item, because it's not unrealistic. 
I'm not saying it's not a considered prize, but outside of these four walls, you know, for the, for a suite of natural purple pearls, and those 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 individual pearl necklaces, which could be sold individually, knotted with a high end class. You're not going to see them at two hundred pounds, are you? They're no. going to be more than that. Definitely. They are. I'm more than happy, Ross. He says, I think this next price would be incredible then. How about the whole bundle? Not £200 each. £200 of the whole lot. Plus your 10% off. Yes. Ooh, yes, please. So that means you can get it for £180 today. That's amazing. With your 10% discount. Oh. We're nowhere near done. I, I, I don't... Oh, don't say it, Al. Don't say it. Oh. This is why I always say pearl, our pearl buying is probably the best. I generally don't know how we do our pearl buying in a way that we do. I, d I don't know. We've got pearl harvest suppliers all around the world, but with that in mind even, I don't know how we negotiate the prices like this because this is natural purple pearls and we know the current status of the pearl harvest around the world. Yeah, absolutely. And anybody who goes or used to go to the bead fairs, and there, there aren't as many of them now since COVID, will know that you only have to look at the strands of pearls that are at your bead fairs, mm. and they are considered. Yes. Are they natural? Well, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. We're, that's no way near, Debbie. I can't believe we're doing this. We've got 30 today. With that code, you're going to get it for the lowest ever price point. I, I Again, I'm going to say it. For the suite or any one of those necklaces, um, pearl strands rather, I am more than happy at the than, uh, this price. But what's even better, you've got a birthday on top of a birthstone deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I know. They've never been to that, have they? Uh, I don't, not, not, I mean, no. with your 10% off, no. you're, oof. I don't know how we've done this. I generally don't. Because those, for 99.99, is an amazing deal, or any one of your strands. So that's working out at 90 pounds, 25 pounds each at this price, 25 pounds. So that's working out £22 each. How many have we got? We had, oh. we've gone lower than the birthday because well, it's yeah. the birthstone month, obviously. Yeah. So how many do we have, Ross? 30 available. Uh, hi, Samantha. I have mine um, in front of me now. They're exquisite, especially the three in the box. Uh, yeah. So uh, look, thank you for that, Samantha. It's so lovely of you uh, to message in. And likewise, Irene, um, I have these. They're gorgeous, amazing, amazing. And uh, an incredible deal. Because I'm sure Samantha, Irene, and anybody that loves these or anyone that's watching would agree, £99 for this one. That's amazing. Yes, £99 agree. for this one. That's amazing. £99 for this one. That's amazing. And this one, absolutely but it's not, it's, it's 22 pounds. Yeah, that's just an absolutely cracking deal. <laughs> yeah, and you know what would make it even more beautiful? Oh, yes. The white topaz. Do you know, day. I've sat here all day so far making jewelry in my head with all these things. Yeah. We've had such beautiful it's, things. It's been stunning, isn't it? Hello, Daniel, saying just ordered mine. They look awesome. Daniel, they are, they are beautiful. You're going to love them. Yeah, really beautiful. And you've got them at the lowest price there with that code. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see what people make with them. Yeah, please send them in so we can admire. Share it, won't you? Or in the Share Your Makes page. I love looking at what everyone makes. Oh. Um, what's going on with Facebook as well at the moment? I don't go on Facebook very often, but it's all a little bit... Um, it's cha everything's changed. I know. I mean, it's confused me. I, 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 I don't go on Facebook as a rule. I don't like Facebook that much, social media. But um, but I did go, for that reason, wanted to go on social media and have a look at some jewellery. But I couldn't, I, yeah, it's all changed. Um, £99, well done. We're down to the final few of these. Pamela, Evelyn, Marion, Tin, uh, Tina, sorry. Um, you almost, be, Tina, you almost became Tinder. <laughs> uh, because Linda's right below you. So Tina, Linda, Davinia, hello to you. Carolyn, Jackie, hello to you. J. Matty, Susan, Debbie, Jacqueline, hello to you. Lisa, Judith, Daniel, make sure you check out Lovely to Guarantee Yours. 
Wiltshire. Congratulations. I only had 30 of them. Um, so, yeah, it is going to be an on-screen sellout. Use your Pearl 10 um, to get hold of these. Um, yeah, if it's in your basket, it's not guaranteed to you. How many have we got then, Roscoe? I've got this many left. Nine. Oh. And I've got still got people getting involved on the phone lines as well. That's £22 with your pearl discount. £22 per natural pearl opportunity. That's yeah. madness. It's really, really, really good. Yeah, like you said, you go along to any of the uh, um, pearl traders. If you go to, do you know what? Even buyers in, in Tucson weren't anywhere near that price point. Traders in Tucson, anywhere well, they've near. Got, they've got this market of everybody in one place to, for, to, to buy from them. And uh, I mean, I think uh, we've said before, and we've been on together as well, that I think pearls are one of our most lovely things that we do. They're our greatest asset. I, I yeah. know that I'm biased because I absolutely love pearls and I've loved them more as the years have gone on. Yeah. But I really think our pearls are beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's our, one of our greatest strengths. Yeah, agree. Genuinely, agree. I believe that. I believe that. The pearls that we buy, I think, are I mean, these remarkable are, oh. at the prices that we do. And just the colour. I mean, it, it doesn't come up. If you like it on screen, wait till you see them. And I, We're under the lights. I've not even seen them in the sunlight. They are so stunning. Yeah, and it's all certified natural. Well done. I've got three of them left. Good luck, everybody. Now, um, we're going to squeeze one more auction in. Oh, OK. Ross says, I've been meaning to bring this next strand to air since Monday. I've got one left of these, so some of you will miss out. One more auction until I bring your deal of the day, which is going to, oh, honestly, the most mesmerising. Um, that's coming your way. Now, this... Um, <laughs> I launched it in Ross's absence. Um... And as he said earlier on, for those of you that tuned in, he was like, well, it was, it was one of our producers and not as experienced here at Jewelry Maker. Like, yeah. You know, let's be honest, Ross. You completely threw him under the bus, didn't you? He says, but on this occasion, you can't use that excuse. Why? Who launched it? Oh. <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> Ruby. Multicoloured sapphire and emerald in one strand. And my goodness me, it's so clear and obvious that it is those. I've got oh, 80 available. They're beautiful. Okay. I know that designers hate it when I do this, but uh, guess a price, Debbie. Oh. And don't worry, don't worry, you won't guess it. Three of your big four. Jewelry maker price. Yeah. $69.99. Okay, fair enough. It's ruby, it's sapphire, it's emerald, which are all natural, by the way. And by the way, that's Burmese sapphire. It's beautiful. Look, Look you've at got the colours in that. Oh, my goodness. Look, you've got yellow sapphire, orange sapphire. You've got beautiful Brazilian emerald. You've got the most amazing um, ruby. Listen, our sales manager launch this he's got the numbers he's got it in black and white in front of him if you just cut these up and just had a parcel of three of the big five in front of you what? and we said 40 pounds 39.99 yes please i'd be like yeah take that's... my money take my money 28 carats of three of the big five that's an amazing price point absolutely incredible do you think that's anywhere near we close though you said sixty nine ninety nine, Debbie. Well, I thought sixty nine ninety nine, and then today might do forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Next price that you're going to see, mm. not our closing price. Okay. Look, pop onto Misoma, oop, and you will see all the colour. Not our price. We've got eighty available opportunities. I worked twenty quid. How many, how many establishments on this planet, this beautiful planet of ours, will say, here, yeah, have some ruby, emerald and sapphires yeah, 20 for 20 quid. Just give me 20 quid. Just a purple note, that's fine. Okay, and we're not even stopping there. Honestly, this is one of those no-brainers, might as well. Didn't think I was shopping for it in particular, but how can I pass up an opportunity? Yeah, 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 yeah. Three yeah. of the big five. Um, we're not anywhere near, Debbie. Oh, really? No. 
We're not. And I understand why Ross is kind of saying, I wouldn't have done this. I'd do a great deal, but there's no way. He says, I would have closed at 19.99. That's still absolutely amazing. It is. Mm. But this remember, is we got special. a good deal. You get a great deal. Yes. If you go on Misoma, you go on uh, Wolf and Badger, you go on any of those ones, which it's all about colour at the moment. Yes, it and is. mixing all those yeah. colours together. But normally they're acrylic beads or mm. it's enamel or... Mm. These aren't, or, 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 or dyed quartz. These are sapphire, ruby and emerald. <laughs> okay. He's got, Ross has got a point, hasn't he? Let's be honest, he has got a point. He has got a point. This that, that wasn't the day when the graphics went down, was it? And he had I to do it. I don't think, no. It's a different day. I don't think we had that excuse either. I was going to say, because you'd need a bit of an excuse. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think there was that excuse. I think it was just, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Imagine, though, cutting that strand, a parcel of genuine, ge genuine emerald, natural emerald, natural Burmese sapphire in different colours, natural rubies um if as by the way if you are an employee you are better off joining us on this star buy opportunity than you are buying at staff cost because it wouldn't be anywhere near this price we are actually and that is quite often the case you know yeah. as an employee we're sometimes better off buying with you on air than we are actually getting the, dis the staff discount because it goes lower and I have, I did say before summer that all of these um, faceted rondelle jewellery were coming really mm. into fashion in the jewellery world this summer, summer 2023, that all the designers have got a lot of rondelles yeah. um, in their collections and they're over £100. And what really annoys me, and I know I'm a jewellery designer, not everyone's a jewellery designer or makes jewellery, but what really gets my goat is when I look at a blue stone or a red stone and I think it, it, it should at least be spinel or ruby for that price and it is dyed, dyed quartz. Mm. There's nothing wrong with dyed quartz, but for £180. Justify the price for them, yeah. You know, totally so agree. you're getting the real deal here. Yeah, exactly. For £12.99. And they're natural. Mm. And they're natural. And it's in tiny little small print in some places that yeah. you wouldn't, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you'd think, oh, that's, that's you know, really good. Yeah. You've got to be so careful online with, with mm. jewellery, uh, gemstone jewellery, because quite often they will be, like, synthetic, and they, like you say, they say it at the, at the bottom. Um, I mean, would you introduce your deal of the day alongside this? Because I think so. Yeah. Um, you're almost sticking the original four then, aren't you? I know they're not diamonds, but it's giving you that visual. I mean, how amazing is that? As a, a lot of designers are using the zircon, I noticed, yeah. as a centrepiece instead of diamonds. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, I saw a lovely locket that I liked, and it had um, a zircon in the middle rather nice. than a diamond. Yeah, I love I love zircon, zircons, topaz. Um, I don't like that they're often compared or th considered to be a substitute because actually they bring different levels of beauty. Yeah. And we'll discuss that in a few moments. Hello to you, Teresa. Good morning, ladies. Wow, wow, wow! What a deal! Thank you, team. Isn't it? It's amazing, isn't it? And your topaz is coming up now. I launched a strand, this strand, during the birthday. Um, and I'm, you know, and they sold out. There was just over 500, and they absolutely flew out the door. Sold out, mega auction quantity. And we feed, uh, we fed back to the team as we always do. You know, especially when I think there were actually requests during that that auction mm. too, sort of feedback that we needed more. Um, and we did. We fed back to the team saying we need more of your topaz because, and I'll speak about it at, at greater length in a few moments' time. Why topaz is actually used in replacement of, of diamonds, not as a substitute. It's not considered lesser grade. Most, a lot of designers will gravitate towards topaz above diamonds. Um, it's available on pre-order right now, but when we went back to our supply, and I need to tell you this straight away so you can pre-order during this, uh, this short break, our supplier has said, look, I'm, obviously topaz is not running out, but we can't bring you this deal again we can't honor this price point again. So if you're looking for the most affordable opportunity to purchase the most perfect strand of topaz, this is it. Stock up your stash, not just for now, for years to come. It's happening after this.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Make sure you join us this Monday on Jewelry Maker. It's under £10 day. I know, amazing. We're joined by Claire McDonald and we're also welcoming back a very, very special lady, Jan Dwyer. She's bringing her Easy Knot tool to the show in the 11 o'clock hour. We're so excited. Now, your deal of the day are four to six millimetre rounds. They're all closeout deals. And you've also got a Sphene Early Bird. Under £10 day this coming Monday on Jewelry Maker. See there. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, everybody. What a lovely afternoon it's been. So, afternoon, morning. It feels like afternoon to us. You particularly, because you get up really early. Uh, technically speaking, I can roll out of bed into the studio, uh, can't I? But I tell you what, though, what a show so It's far. been lovely. Woof. Absolutely amazing. And, again, I want to talk about a few different things, really. Um, so this is going to be one of those where we discuss the gemstone itself, why topaz historically is so favoured and so celebrated in the world of jewellery and gemstones. Um, also talk about it from a designer's aspect, which I know you all are, far more qualified than I. Um, but also I need to talk about it in a sense of a monetary side. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, 
we all have to live to budgets, don't we, oh, at the end it. of the day. Most of us, I think, would say that jewellery making is a hobby of ours. You might sell, you might gift, whichever it might be. Um, but yeah, it's a passion and a hobby of ours. Well, I'm going to start by saying, look, a about a month ago, I launched a strand of amazing three millimeter faceted round topaz that sold out, completely sold out. Now, in terms of feedback to our team, obviously they monitor which gemstones sell, which ones aren't so popular. Mm -hmm. They even look at how quickly they sell. So they can see all that data. Like I said, I don't get it, but they can see all that. The best, the easiest way to do it is our call screens. Um, but also, when we have customers who say, we want more of these, uh, we'll go to the trouble of messaging uh, us um, or messaging the team behind yeah. the scenes, we will take note. And there was such a volume of people that messaged our team about this strand that it, it prompted a conversation with the, the supplier. And it was about, okay, we need more of these um, because that 500 quantity sold out. And they were like, no problem, we can get them, but this is the, this is, I'm just saying as it is, look, we can get you more, but this is the last of it at that price. Mm -hmm. Because why is Topaz historically as popular, not just in sort of beaded jewelry, but calibrated jewelry? Yeah. Well, we, we kind of briefly touched on it earlier on. I don't think of zircon or um, topaz, especially those two really, or even colorless sapphire as a substitute to a diamond, because that's suggesting that a diamond is the, is the pinnacle, isn't it? Um, don't get me wrong, I love my diamonds, but they're not a substitute, they're no. an alternative. Yeah. It depends what you're looking for, because if you're looking for fire and scintillation, then go for zircon all day long. If you're looking for durability, go for diamonds all day long. If you're looking for something that has the best of all three, best of all three worlds, which I'll get to, if you want durability, if you want brilliance, you want affordability, and you want the purest white colour, go for topaz. Because this is a gemstone <sighs> that is higher on the Mo scale, mm -hmm. can be faceted more times than diamonds in many sizes, so you'll get more brilliance. That's why our sister channel quite often will actually favour a topaz over a diamond in certain pieces of jewellery. I love topaz in my jewellery. It sparkles more, uh, doesn't it, it? I feel like you get more colours from the sparkle, yes. and the sparkle just comes out in every direction. That's because there's more facets. Oh, it's gorgeous. Do you know like a single cut diamond mm -hmm. is faceted 17 times? Really? So that's about two millimetres. A single cut diamond is 17 times. Right. Um, the equivalent size in a topaz will be 57. Well, that's why then. You get more sparkle. You do. Absolutely. You really do. So I don't look at it as a, a, a substitute, a more affordable option. Yes, it is more affordable. There's no denying that. But it's also a breathtakingly beautiful gem. And it is a genuine gem. But the reason why we are doing this so close to the previous auction, which was around about a month ago that sold out five, and to be honest, if we'd have had 1,500, they would have probably sold out, is because of the feedback from our audience. They said, look, we need more of those. Because they are our opportunity to bring that colourless beauty um, to our beaded designs. They, it's, you know, we're not going to be able to bring a strand of diamonds like this. To be honest, we'll struggle to bring you zircon like this. Well, yeah. Mm. But our supplier has actually said, this is it, though. This is the last of it. We cleared out, uh, you know, his offerings. We said, we'll have everything that you've got left, which is about 500. Right. But he has said, moving forward, I'm not saying Topaz is running out, obviously, mm. um, but he can't honour the prices, is, is his polite way of putting I it. I wonder if that's because a lot more designers are using Probably. it. Probably. Because I'm seeing it in a lot. I look for it, actually. Because mm. I'd much rather have this than, say, a cubic zirconia or a... Yeah. I, I love this stone, so Me I too. kind of look for it. So I kind of th notice when it is a topaz, because I love them. I think they're lovely. I, I, I look for it now more so than ever, because it's Tiggy's birthday. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, she's a topaz baby. So for me, something like this, I'm going to be stocking up. And that's why I said at the introduction of this deal of the day, I said, look, don't just stock up your stash for now. Stock up your stash for the future, mm -hmm. because we have been told, you know, very transparent, we can't honour a price like this again. Okay. Moving forward. And it is absolutely beautiful. 
about, over a month ago, 500 of these flew out the door. I'm not surprised. It's something you don't see in this length of strands as well. And in this size, this is the magic well, size. Well, you said you look for them, don't you? I do look for them. And, and, and earlier on, we were talking about the design aspect of them. I mean, these are, you know, your per perfect colourless accenting stones this is your can you imagine a tassel can you imagine oh. looming with this in a beautiful oh. cuff can you imagine taking inspiration from the designers like Ashley Clark in their biography collection which by the way I don't think they do in topaz but can you imagine something like this in a colorless topaz oh, stunning. I mean that's uh, you could probably count how many turquoise there are in that bracelet now okay there's a, additional extras but 155 pounds mm -hmm. You know, you could do. You could literally take inspiration from said That's designer. Lovely, yeah. They're beautiful, yeah. and they are one of their most successful sellers as well, Ashley Clark. Oh, are they? I do like their jewelry. I lovely. can see. I me. I do. Mm. And they, and they and again follow them on Instagram. They do so lovely social media campaigns as well. Um, amazing, and you know they are a hugely successful designer brand at the moment. You're talking three figures all the time, yes. at least, yes. for their jewellery. But can you imagine taking inspiration from the biography uh, bracelet, but with a natural colourless topaz? Oh, that'd be beautiful. How unbelievable that And not be. hard to make, is no. it? No. You know, that's, that's crimped. Yeah. And then it's added a chain to the jump ring with the crimped beaded length and a clasp. That simple. It's not even going to take a long time. No. And it's so wearable. Yeah. So wearable. Are Stackable. You Are you ready for this? Again, stock up not just for today, because we know there is going to be a... Pr we can't sustain the price that we're taking this to. Um, and I do promise, the reason why I, we've got 500 for you today and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. I'm not saying you're not going to get any more Topaz, but we're saying our supplier is fed back saying you can't have them at this price moving forward. Um, and that's probably because we pushed those boundaries with the birthday <laughs> deal, probably. <laughs> um, and we kind of expected the suppliers to honour it once again. I want you, I, what I'm encouraging is you stock up if you're looking for the most, the best deal, the, okay. the best saving. It is on your screens right now. It's natural, pure, ice white, colourless topaz. Topaz, I always refer to it as a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. And what I mean by that, it's blessed with clarity. It's blessed with clarity that diamonds want. It's blessed with the clarity um, that, that zircons want. But it can be cut, faceted many, many more times than maybe some of those gems. Zircon can blur. It's that complex in its, its double refraction, it can blur. Um, diamonds can be quite off-white yellow. Yeah, they can. For me, a white topaz has got the best of everything. Look at all those facets on one, on one gemstone. I yeah. mean, you can see how it just glitters like the moon on water, moving water. It's just really, really beautiful. Natural. Yeah, it's natural. That's what I love about gemstones. Good luck, everybody. Because I don't know if you were with me during the first launch of this, uh, of this opportunity a month or so ago. If you were, then you might remember what we took it to. I didn't. I needed reminding. And then I was like, okay, well, it's fair enough. I, I understand why our supplier is saying, you're not having any more. At, you're not having any more at this price. <laughs> now, we could go, you could pay this, you could pay that, we could pay this, 69 79 We could do that, couldn't we? You know, it's not unrealistic when we're talking about 20 carats of this quality. Oh, look at that. I'm going to show you a price point. I love wrapping it around pearls, you know, just seeing how they would look. Any me, Moving forward, this is what I believe. Moving forward, I think a 20 carat strand of this grade, £29.99? Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, listen, we got the price point we did because it was part of our birthday celebrations where we probably bought others. So that's how that supplier negotiated the best rate for yeah, us. that makes sense. We've been a bit cheeky, gone back to them, said we'll have some more thanks, that, and then that's <laughs> the price. And they were like, look, <laughs> no, that's not how it works. <laughs> look, you can have them, but no more. Moving forward, yeah, 29 is a fantastic deal for 20 carats of colourless stone I'd pay that, I'd pay that. I'm more than happy. I'm happy. I know we're not stopping here, though. How about under £20, Debbie? Even better, please, Ross. Yes. Yes, please. You said earlier on, this is our, this is our uh, opportunity to take inspiration from a diamond tennis bracelet. 
Well, you wouldn't be paying 20 quid for a diamond tennis bracelet. You're talking tens of thousands of pounds. And pounds. that's something that you, you wish. You think, you know, when I win the lottery, I'm going to get a diamond tennis so bracelet. Today. It's aspirational, <laughs> isn't it? It's aspirational. Oh, look. I brought, I brought a diamond tennis bracelet to air on our sister channel the other day. And they bring amazing prices. And even there, I think it was two grand. Mm. Two grand. It's lovely. Really beautiful. Nowhere near 20 quid. So do you think that I was th our early bird price tag? Only because Ross said it wasn't. <laughs> I think that's a really good price. It's 20 carats. That's a pound a carat yeah. for colourless topaz. Yeah. When, we, look, when we spell it out, how about this then? £16.99. pence. A gemstone that's durable that's blessed with pristine clarity, the clarity that Diamond wants, <laughs> that brings you fire without any blurring, a gemstone that is a birthstone, of course. We could all day long close here. And we've always said, we've already said, moving forward, it's gonna be these higher prices. Let's get under 15 pounds and I'm still... <laughs> Ross, remind me what we're taking this to. Yes. And we're still not done. If you're wondering, look, just get down to it, Elle. Look, stop <laughs> messing around. Just do it. I can't do that. We'll crash the web and we'll melt the phone lines and we will not be popular. We have to stagger auctions like this to make sure that we manage the traffic effectively. We're at £14.99. pence. There's a reason why I'm saying, those of you that are multi-buying twos, threes, fours, I saw fives earlier on as well. Don't just buy for today in your current stash. Get hold of your pure white topaz for the future of jewellery, your jewellery making. Someone's buying 10. I don't blame you. I'm ready. Are we all ready? 20 carats. Pristine. The, the, the perfect three mil size. Pristine. Beautiful. Eye clean. Natural Brazilian topaz. Here it is. Yes, come on. 11.99. 11.99. 11.99. That's incredible. That's so good. I bought some plastic um, acrylic beads for my daughter to make her friends. I've said this before, and it cost me more than this. Yes. This is why we've said, look, and, and it was cheeky. I, I've, re, I've told you the ins and outs of this. Look, we went to our supplier. One of our regular gemstone suppliers said, look, we want colourless topaz. This is the size we want. This is, what, this is the quality. And, of course, we will quality assess it first. They'll send it to us. We'll go, yeah, that's perfect. We'll have so many of them. So we bought 500 for the birthday, and we would have bought it alongside other gemstones where we would have negotiated the best possible rate. We sold out in a heartbeat, went back to them after our feedback from the customer says, we want more, please, but we still only want to pay the birthday rate, please. Still only want to pay that. And that quite understandably, they've said, you can, but that's it. Don't push your luck, jewellery maker. <laughs> but <laughs> effectively... That amazing eleven pounds and ninety nine pence was not the birthday price. I don't think there's going to be people just getting ones and twos here. I think there's going to be people getting fours, five, sixes. In fact, seventy percent of the collectors on the on our call screens right now, and Debbie, you can see it too, have multi bought. You need to show the picture of that bracelet because I can tell you what it's what it's called. Yeah, it's um, a Capriccio bracelet. That's the pattern. Um, I've actually made this with um, Zorowski crystals because I couldn't afford an actual genuine gemstone to get enough of them. And it's absolutely breathtaking. I've made two of them. Um, and it's you, with your fire line, with your seed beading techniques. Um, if you look up Capriccio bracelet on YouTube, you'll see lots of tutorials. And it's very, very similar to this. It doesn't have the tassel on, although you could easily put it on. How stunning is that? And so, you could have it, not in crystals, but in, in actual topaz. gemstones. Because you, you can't get three millimetre gemstones that are affordable that you can get enough of. No. Well, you're going to today. How many strands do you think you need to make that bracelet? Can I have a look at the strand? How many? It's, I think I've used about 200 crystals. Let me just have a little calculate. Because I'm going to guess... You're going to be able to make it for less than £50. £9.99 only. 
natural, pristine, eye clean, faceted to perfection, Brazilian white topaz. I reckon you get about 100 on there. So how many do you need? About, I think it was 200 or 250. Need, say three strands. So three strands at what? 12? 30 quid. 30 pounds. You can't buy Swarovski for that. I know you can't now, full stop, but... And you could, and not with the tassel, like without the tassel. If you really want to make it, and the tassel, I'd get five to be safe. Um, oh, it's a lovely project. It's really mindful. I brought, that was in one of my Rose Quartz presentations years ago. That, and the kit team actually saw it and said, look, we'll make a kit. It never actually manifested. It's a cool... Probably because of the prices. If you pull like it this. tight, yeah. it, it kind of... Um, domes out. Oh, beautiful. But, or you can keep it loose and it's like material on your wrist. Do you know what I mean? Lovely. Oh, my goodness. Stock up your stashes, though, not just for today. I'm going to say it for years to come because, yeah, we can't guarantee that we're going to be able to bring you strands like this at a single figure price tag. I think that is fairly obvious, isn't it? Um, but it is my job, really, to relay information like this. I'm not saying Topaz is running out. Mines, there's mines all around the world, of course. Um, but the price of it should not be single figures. Um, amazing. Now, if you love your three millimetres, guess what? Oh, that's lovely. Is that Tanzanite? It is Tanzanite. Just alternate those two. Yeah, you don't have to do anything in the same colour. If you've got, that's the magic size. If you've got different gemstones in that size. I mean, imagine those three together, those four together. <gasps> Stunning. Look at all of these. We're going to do them all. If you love the biography bracelet, these are three mils. Yeah. It's Just, kind of a magic size, isn't it? Yeah. Just on, sorry, I keep showing like the one part where I went wrong with you. You can make multi-colours, these are three mils. Just on, you're a longer elastic than we had earlier on. Let's do the tans tonight, we're going to do it in one price crash. And I'm going to put them all alongside your deal of the day. I'm going to put them all alongside the colourless topaz. So, look Oof. at the quality, you've got beautiful vanadium rich blues. I've only got 20 of them available, wow, wow, oh, wow. That's stunning. Look at that. Start Ning. So I can... £30 for the two. Lovely, lovely. £30 for Tanzanite and Brazilian Topaz. Yeah, I know, I went all squeaky. <laughs> Look, it could, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. I could have got a pull, gone really Nessa as well at the same time, couldn't I? <laughs> Goodness me, that's amazing. Rich in vanadium blues, that's where you're seeing this wonderful sort of purple present. It's a heavily triacroic gemstone, so you see flashes of pinks, different shades of blues. Tanzanite, yes, it is still a one locational gemstone, and yes, we are still doing it at £20. That's amazing. <laughs> um, have we got many of these available, though, Roscoe? 20. Okay, yeah. Carol, well done to you. Karen, well done to you. Mary, you're there as well. New customers. I'm going to do pink tourmaline next. Should I swap them around? Just swap them, you know, do it, bring them to a sort of as and when. Um, the Tanzanite, well done. Make sure you are checking out on this one, though. But what an opportunity. Three mils. I agree. I love four mils. You know that. But three mils for this style of kind of bracelet or as you were describing earlier on. What was it called? Capriccio. Capriccio. And if you have a look, like I like to follow Jill Wiseman. She's a like a seed beader. Mm. Um, she's a really lovely lady on YouTube and she's very generous and she shares a lot of free... Um, patterns but I made and I think it was called the festival of lights bracelet which is a pattern of hers and I used again three mil um, crystals because I couldn't get the three mil gems so if you have a look at some of those really beautiful they make the jewelry that you end up with is so lovely Amazing. and to be able to have gemstones in there just makes it even more attractive Oh my goodness. Well, to me anyway, I like gemstones. Uh, no, one hundred percent. I can see that as well. Let's do tourmaline, shall we? Pink tourmaline, and again, look how lovely that is. Oh, that I love that. Just oh, going to really put them all that. alongside that Brazilian topaz because I think. Oh. But in reality, you can just stack all of those up, can't yep. you? Like all those colours. Yeah, know? I would. Yeah, me too. I would. <laughs> the more, the merrier. Especially if you've got if you've multi bought on your topaz. I mean, you're going to take those coloured gemstones, make them last even further. Yeah. Just alternate between the two. Yeah. Um, it is natural, tourmaline and all of its lovely complexity gives you this lovely dusky rose pink. Very few gemstones actually have that dusky pink. 
It's a beautiful pink. It's a pink. Oh, look at that. And it. it's Brazilian. It's it a bit more like. It's a pink for even for people who don't do pink. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Alison's not usually mm. a pink person, but she loves her tourmaline. £19.99. Again, it's a gemstone with huge complexities. This is a gem that gemologically takes over 50 different uh, um, chemicals to actually to actually form under the perfect intensities, heats, pressures. Um, it is, yeah, gemologically uh, um, uh, fascinating, mm. absolutely fascinating. Um, is that not the crazy low price tag then? Oh, got a nice quantity, just over 50 for pink tourmaline. Oh, <laughs> gosh, that's low. I'd definitely add that in with the, Me too. With the uh, topaz. Gosh, that's very low for pink tourmaline. It's a gemstone normally that, I don't know, 20, 30 pounds, maybe even more. And that's jewelry maker. That's me being blase, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Probably even more than that. That's me being blasé, isn't it? Mm. Not yet. We get used to it, though. We're in our bubble, aren't we? Yeah. Our and JM it's, bubble. It's nice, to, it's nice to be in this bubble, obviously, but every so often you have to step outside that bubble <laughs> just yeah. to remind yourself that it's, you know, it's a bit of a crazy place. Well, you look at Elsa and you think, I'm not paying that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> not paying that. Not paying that postage. <laughs> no, and you do the... <laughs> Turn, turn into builders, don't we? Start doing the intake. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Uh, Geraldine, Denise, well done to you. London, hello, Durham. Hello, Jean. Hello, Devon. Hello to you, Nottinghamshire. Joanne, Diane, uh, Mar Marianne, sorry, Roz, Elizabeth, Carol, Geraldine, Anne in Pembrokeshire. Make sure you are checking out. Yeah, gosh, that's a good price, isn't it? Nine ninety nine for natural Brazilian pink tourmaline. At the beginning of the summer, I went through my stash, and it's a considerable stash. I've been doing this a long time, um, looking for little faceted gemstones because I saw the jewelry that was coming in, not to make to sell, but to make jewelry for myself. Mm, obviously. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stack these in the summer, and um, I didn't have that many. Because today's the day. Today's the day for these, isn't Today it? Today is the day because we've got your topaz, we've brought you tanzanite, we're bringing you the pink tourmaline, and I've got other colours as well. Oh, good. Colours of the rainbow. No, and it's not breaking the bank, goodness me, 9 99 no. for tourmaline. Just imagine for a second, I've said this before on air, um, take a pin, put it anywhere on our globe, wherever it might be. Yeah? Mm. Blindfolded, just put a pin to the globe. And just imagine for one second that there had to be an, a different chemicals for different colours of tourmaline, 50 very specific diff different chemicals under the perfect heat pressures and, uh, and intensities to form it. That's incredible. It is mad. Yeah. Absolutely mad. The rarity of this gem. Right, let's bring um, an international favourite. Oh, I love this one. Beautiful oh, amethyst. I love this one. This is pretty, isn't it? I love the colour of this as well. And I love both of those together. Which one? That's the, topa yes. the topaz, yeah. I just yeah. love it. Sorry, a little itch then. Um, scratching my shin. <laughs> um, 15 carats, natural amethyst. Oh, look at it. That's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. And then remember, remember what the biography bracelets were priced at, which yep. I think we'd all agree were three millimetres in their size, or there or thereabouts. The biography bracelet, well, I'll tell you what, I'll scooch my bracelets up for a second and then just wrap these round. You're going to get, especially if you start adding spaces in there, it does depend on the size of your wrist, obviously, but you're going to get at least four, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Oh, look. How pretty I that love is. That. It's such a subtle amethyst, isn't it? So it's just like lilac tones. It's a bit like a lavender. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah, it's the perfect lavender colour. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? And it's got beautiful clarity as well. Here we go, jewellery makers, natural amethyst, six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Goodness me, is it even worth the faceting? You know, by the time we facet it, by the time we strand it, by the time we broadcast it, you know, on each individual <laughs> stone, we've got to mine it first. Mine it. Cut it, drill it, strand it, transport it, broadcast it. How are we doing this at six ninety nine? I'm. I, I just think that amethyst is so widely loved that I would have thought this one would have maybe have been a bit more expensive. Mm. But I'm happy it isn't. <laughs> mm, that would make sense. Uh, would oh yeah I know. Mm. Mm. But as we said, whatever. Jewelry maker don't don't we don't make sense. <laughs> In the best possible way, that is, of course. Loads of you there. How many did you say we had, Roscoe? 
38 and it's on the verge of selling out. Leslie, Karen, Pauline, Irene, Durham, Lorna, Pauline, Pat, Mary, Carol, Devon, hello to you, Jay Marie, Deborah, Paul, uh, Julie, Elizabeth, Anne, Diane, well done. Um, I think we need a demo on that, you know, that bracelet. Oh, the Capriccio, yeah, 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 I can do that. I think you need to do a, um, a little demo. Is it, is it, a dem is it demoable? Yeah, definitely, because it's repetitive. It's a repetitive bracelet, but, and it's stunning. And these would work? Oh, yeah. They'd be lovely, yeah. wouldn't they? It worked beautifully. Okay, on to the Peridot. Keep the topaz. I love this lamp. It's one of my favourites. Oh yeah, the lovely Peridot green. I like it with rose quartz Peridot. I think it's just beautiful. Yeah, well, funny, you, should say, funny you should say that. I'm just gonna twisty twist. Twisty twist. And I'm gonna grab, hang on, piece of paper. It's so fresh, this green isn't it it's like baby leaves when they just come out oh. of the spring oh yes please look at that look at how beautiful that is i mean look at that as you said fresh shoots look Pe the <laughs> idyllic color of peridot should be that fresh shoot of green you see that's how you should describe it fresh shoots not baby leaves <laughs> Like, like a baby leaf. Yeah. No, they're like this colour as well. Shoot, yes. It is when you cut the grass. It's the fresh, fresh. That, that's why Elle is the presenter, and I am not because to me. Oh, I stop would it! Describe it as a baby leaf. No, I knew exactly <laughs> what you meant. It is that green colour, though, isn't it? it that absolutely. Perfect you knew what I meant, though. Absolutely. It's absolutely, that colour. It's the colour of summer. Six ninety nine. Plus, you've got to remember for a second. Okay, you know that journey that we just spoke of with the amethyst. Yes. Okay, so let's extend the journey alongside your peridot. You've got a form in the Earth's mantle. Yeah? You've got a, th you've got a form in the Earth's mantle, a whole diamond's hand to get to the surface through what we call kimberlite pipes. Then you've got to be mined. Then mm -hmm. you've got to be faceted. Then you've got to be drilled. Then you've got to be strung and colour matched. We need to add that one in there as well. Yes. Six ninety nine. Goodness me. Well, you said... With rose quartz. This is what I'd put together. Let me just. I love it. This is summertime right here. It's a bit of a go-to for me, um, peridot and rose quartz. Now, I've got just shy of 100. It's a really soft, beautiful powder pink. Can you see that there? And it gives you a mixture of your opacity and translucency. Ah, uh, now, in a minute, announcement. Sorry. Sorry, Adam. I didn't, I lost, I lost my grip. Announcement. This is going under five pounds for you today. Ah, oh, beautiful powder baby pink. I love the contrast of the brilliance alongside so the opacity. Of the, yeah. That's pretty. And that is that Capriccio. Yes. That's what they used, rose quartz. That's that Capriccio uh, bracelet. Uh, now I know, I didn't know that. And I've been showing that bracelet for years. It's been called different names, but the one I know it as is the Capriccio bracelet. And as I say, you can pull it tight and it can be more of a structured like bangle piece. Or you, I left mine like that. It, in fact, looking at the picture of this bracelet makes me think about what it feels like to wear it. It's like wearing a piece of material. Oh, beautiful. And with a genuine gemstone, it would feel even nicer, I think. Under five pounds. You said you might need five if you want to include the tassel. I can't remember off the top of my head how many you use. Um, hold on, I might be able to work it out by looking at that picture. One, two... Well, you can make that bracelet for £25 if it is five strands. Make sure you check. Yeah, I know. Um, make sure you are checking out your baskets, yeah, everybody. Five, to be safe, I'll £25 wait. then in rose quartz. How amazing is that? Um, incredible. Make sure you are checking out. I have still got to come more colourless topaz and I've got imperial, uh, imperial topaz. Um, and then we've kind of pulled ourselves back on time now, haven't we? Um, amazing. So, yes, we've got two really beautiful strands to bring you as well. Make sure you are checking out those baskets. Natural blush Indian rose quartz um, just here. And the soft powder pink. Don't be, you know, it's not the same as the pink that you would see in sapphires or in tourmaline. It is that little gentle, like Japanese blossom pink. Exactly that. Yeah. And that when I put that together, whether I put the peridots in the and the rose quartz together. That's what it reminds me of, a blossom yeah. tree. Nature's confetti. Oh, can you imagine a tree of life oh, with pretty. those two? 
Oh, that would be beautiful. Beautiful. Four ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, um, I have got these coming up, and I'll give you a little sneaky peek coming up um, shortly. We'll put them on pre order, and you haven't got to choose. Over a little bit more. There you go. Um, you haven't got to choose because you do get all of them. You do get all of them. Pearls on necklace, on sterling silver, they are complete necklaces. Oh, I love Now, them. I know you could probably make these, but I'm going to tell you it's not worth your while <laughs> because we take these to a crazy low price. Even if you just buy them to gift, they are unbelievable. Now, we've got the last remaining quantity. Um, now, they launched when? La oh, so this, okay, launched last week. These are slightly different to the ones we launched some times ago because you've almost got like the sterling silver dot. There's 50 of these available. You haven't got to choose. They are natural colours. They're on pre-order though right now. And remember, Pearls 10, yeah, you're actually getting them at a lower price. I love those. They're amazing. You won't believe what they go to. Um, but first, let's talk about a gemstone that is... We've had topaz as your deal of the day today. And I want to go back to topaz. Um, but you can get topaz in lots of different colours. You can have colourless. You can have your blues, which starts off as a colourless. To, to have sky blue, Swiss blue and London blue, you have to have the finest colourless topaz. Because there's no point in going through that treatment process um, with anything inferior. Because you can't remove those uh, um, negatives, if you like, okay. in the gemstone through the treatment itself. Um, but natural topaz, like your deal of the day, is astonishingly rare. Now, there is one particular colour which is actually considered like gold dust effectively and is ironically is often found alongside gold mines and that is your imperial now imperial topaz not uh, um, to be confused with sort of dyed uh, varieties I'm not talking about that or coated varieties imperial topaz is very very distinctive in its color saturation it looks like liquid gold and it is considered one of the most valuable gemstones collectible gemstones out there and I'm going to quickly read through this because and, and I, I get it's very wordy this is but for those of you that don't have never heard of imperial topaz before um, I want to share this with you because they're the words of, of Matt Bennett. Matt Bennett is um, um, a gemologist. He's our founder's son as well. And he actually traveled to the Ouro Preto mine um, in Brazil. But let's read this together, shall we? Because it's his word. It is quite wordy. So my apologies for that. But it's so worthwhile. Directly translated from Portuguese, meaning black gold, Ouro Preto is a former colonial mining town set in the rolling hills um, of Sierra Dol Espin. Pacho Mountains, I hope I pronounced that right. The town is located in a gem-rich state of Minas Gerais, Brazil. The town is famous for its Baroque-style buildings and is a world heritage site. Here we go. Yes, bear with me. Um, when you see, that might be too far away for me. When you see how large the operation, um, the operation is uh, a capau um, and how little of the gem is on earth, you begin to appreciate how rare the gem is and why it is always so expensive. Mining in the current century with increasing wages and high fuel prices, most mining equipment runs off diesel, is not a low cost business. As a friend of ours who owns the emerald mine, um, an emerald mine, sorry, once told my dad, Steve Bennett, uh, these days most miners unfortunately put more cash into the ground than they take out. Uh, Joas, uh, who combs the area searching out for imperial topaz to supply our family business, told me that there is one mine in the region that has never extracted a single piece. Really? Um, it's not that they have been unlucky, but due to the fact that the mine's owner, who is one of the wealthiest in America, bought the mine for a huge sum a few years back and refuses to start exploration. I asked Joas, um, I think that's right, um, if this was because he was waiting for the scarcity to increase um, and then he would begin his operation knowing that he could sell his imperial topaz at an even higher price. Uh, but Joas believes that this gentleman does not need to earn a penny from, from his mine. Um, and as a keen gem collector, he takes delight out of the unknown. Joas explained, you see, if you don't need the cash, just imagine the feeling of owning the ultimate treasure wow. box, uh, but being too frightened to open it. Also, it's possible, um, a bit like the excitement you have before you go on holiday. Once you've travelled, it's all over. But before the event, you get immense pleasure dreaming about it. Oh, yes. But let me tell you a little more about this wonderful glowing gem. 
Um, of all the gemstones mentioned in the Bible, imperial topaz is possibly the scarcest of them all. Topaz was one, uh, was one of the stone of fire given to Moses. I can think of no better way to describe the gem's sensational color, which can vary between delicious combinations of golden yellow, rose pinks, peach and sunset orange. Just like a sarite and a rubellite, this gemstone whose appearance seems to change daily. Due to its pleochroism, depending on the light source, you, uh, you are going to experience different hues at different times. The gem will look different at sunrise, midday and sunset. It will take on a totally different look under candlelight uh, than it will in your kitchen under the light of your fluorescent tubes. As gem expert uh, Jim Feebig once said when visiting our studios here in the UK, after you've owned an imperial topaz for a while, you develop a relationship with it. If a friend then asks you about its colour, you'll find yourself waxing lyrical about it for hours. This gem literally lives. Uh, it has a personality which is upbeat, and for this reason, it's one of the most sought-after gems on our planet. Now, high praise, would you all agree? Imagine being that wealthy that you, you don't have any in intention of mining this gemstone, but you know you own it. Oh. Do you want to see this gemstone? I've been looking at this all morning. I asked you, you have... about it in the break. I said, what's this and when's it coming this morning? It's imp Well, you have expensive taste. Oh, right. Ordinarily. <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> this is imperial topaz. This is beautiful. And outside of that weird but wonderful bubble that we have here at Jewelry Maker Stroke Gemporia, this, is, this would be the most expensive strand of the entire show. Uh, it just stood out to me. It's there's something. It's very different. The colour is very distinctive. I didn't know classy. what it was. Very classy. Very beautiful. It's natural. Is it? Or please don't make don't misinterpret this for your dyed treated right. imperial topaz. It is not the same thing. Natural Brazilian or a preto imperial topaz. And yes, you have got expensive taste. Because Imperial Topaz is a considered stone. Um, again, when I first brought Imperial Topaz to wear on what was our USA channel some, uh, some years back, we had only ever commissioned 100 different designs. Really? Of all gemstones, that's got to be one of the most limited editions. And gemstones do have a personality because he said so. In the yes, book. exactly. And I didn't know he was going to say that. Jim Feebig. Yeah, Jim said so, and I agree with Jim. Yeah. And if anything had a personality, look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? <gasps> It's absolutely beautiful. How does Mother Nature do that? And it changes. I agree with what Matt was saying. It's got a beautiful combination of golden yellows, rose pinks, peach and sunset oranges. Look at that peachy colour. Can you see it? In the studio, it's quite peachy. In the recording, you've got the gold, haven't you? After everything that we have just said, it's absolutely incredible. Very few people on this planet can say they own certified natural or a preto imperial Topaz. I want this. I can't believe we're at 20 quid. After everything that we've just discussed. And in fact, if you just read on while you're making your confirmations, is there another slide? Thought so. Can I read this to you? Because it's so important. There are concerns with regards to Imperial Topaz mines of Brazil. Aura Preto is famous for their topaz mines, which is where you're getting yours from. And it is known for having the largest supply of Imperial Topaz in the world. The main commercial mine in Capao and in the town runners sell parcels of topaz. However, the miners and the dealers in the town have concerns that the markets have been flooded by treated topaz that is being sold as imperial. This is having an impact on the gemstone and damaging its reputation. Look, you have certified natural imperial topaz, not dyed, and £20 is not your price. I can't, I could count on my digits how many times I've brought Imperial Topaz to air. I didn't know what it was. That's why I kept looking at it. I said to you in the break, what's that? When you bring it Yeah, natural. It's, it's natural. Beautiful. It's the rarest of all colours in, in, in Topaz. If you've got your Gems and Crystals uh, book that we launched here at Jewelry oh, Makers yeah. from the Smithsonian uh, um, Museum, mm -hmm. what's the, what picture have they chosen in Topaz? Is it Swiss blue, London blue, sky blue? It's Imperial. That's a, they've got a big imperial topaz at the start surprised. of that chapter. It is mesmer mesmerically beautiful. Oh, yeah. 
Absolutely. Oh, but is. natural is so important when you're sourcing the stone. In 18 seconds, I can't believe we're doing this. Again, I wanted to show those words. Those are the words that are on our Gemstone Learning Library, by the way. Go to Gemporia Learning Library and you'll find that, 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 that. Very, I know it was wordy, but it's worth listening to, isn't it? And that was Matt Bennett, who travelled to the Ouro Preto mine. And he actually says in one of those mining locations, he, he saw less than a carrot from the ground in one given day. Wow. Let's, say, let's spell it out. The rarity of this stone. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. How many of these do we have? Oh, I'm not going to get. We one. should have. That should be <laughs> way more than that. Ross, again, I'm going to say people in glass houses really shouldn't throw stones because we shouldn't be bringing this to air at dinner. Not for <laughs> in the best possible way, Ross. You know, thumbs up for this amazing deal. But seriously, <laughs> can we also just say? We've just got imperial topaz. So we're talking about the journeys, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. One of the rarest gemstones. So natural. Little bit. Natural, yeah. genuine imperial yeah. topaz, not, not treated. Yeah. It's got to be mined, which takes time. Yeah. It's got to be faceted to perfection, colour match to perfection, stranded to perfection. Um, but it's sold out. Oh. Unbelievable. 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 Now, um, OK, I've got one more to bring you in this hour. Oh, my word. And these have to be. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? The drops. Oh, they're lovely. Like marquise, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, we have marquee. We have uh, rice beads and marquee-shaped jadeite. Imagine this with jadeite. Oh yeah. How beautiful this would be, or with some lovely pearls. Any of the pearls that we've brought you, topaz. Have we ever done ten by five millimeter topaz before? They're huge. I know we've done it in quartz, done yeah, it in clear quartz, yeah. which are lovely. I'd use these with your kits, Debbie. They're amazing. And they'd also be, I use a lot of these for um, drops on the end of things and also earrings. Oh, beautiful. This shape. £19.99 pence only. Oh, like a, a, like a marquise, aren't they? I know they're described as rice beads, through drilled rice beads, but they're like a marquise, a great alternative. Yeah, they are. And you said earlier on there were lots of designers that are, all, are, are using um, beads. Yeah, they are. As opposed to just your calibrated sizes. Yes, yeah, because I think, you know, it's fresh, isn't it? And it's for summer and... I just like these at the end of a drop. It, it kind of draws the eye down. And I like the, you know, just a pendants. Put a sterling silver headpin on. Yeah, and just lovely. put it on a chain. Like beautiful. Beautiful. With maybe one little pearl on the top. Oh, beautiful. How many have we got? 50 available. Okay. Russ says, I tell you what, it's been pretty amazing so far. I've still got more to bring you. Let's do the lowest price we possibly can. 45 carats, a size that I don't recall ever bringing to air before. None of and team anybody? Do we remember bringing colourless to, uh, topaz of this size before? I don't. Have we got any more on our website? On our on our system vault? No, I don't remember either. That's why they're flying out the door. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. <laughs> We've got fifty of them. Again, it's natural Brazilian colourless topaz, faceted. Yes, in a rice. Some might even refer to it as a marquise. Um, I like the idea of these on the bottom of a tassel. Me too, and they do. I'd made um, a necklace. It, it was a labour of love. It took me absolutely hours, but it was like a flat weave um, with different gemstones, and then it has got like different tassels, like four different tassels. Um, and on the end of each tassel, I had a shape like this, but it was gla they're glass because mm. I didn't have an alternative. Well, at the no, because we don't see strands like this, no. do we? But it's still lovely. But I would have preferred it if it was a gemstone on there. Twelve ninety nine. I know. That's so good, isn't Trace it? Trace our steps back to when jewellery maker, I don't know, whether we were in Ivy House, whether we were in the studio just here. Mm. You know, strands like this in my head would have been considerably more than 12 99 Considerably more. Yeah, definitely. Especially in topaz. And because of the size of it, you really can see the colours coming through, can't you? Because yeah. there's more surface area to really see. Um, hello, Sandra Musa is saying, uh, could you please tell me the name oh, again of that stuff. bracelet and how do I spell it? What's it called? Capriccio. Capri, C-A-P-R, oh, C-A-P, yeah, Capri. R. I'll tell you what I'll do. If you come, Capri if you come find me on um, JM Guest Designer, Debbie Kershaw on Facebook, when I get home, um, over the next couple of days, I will try and put a link to oh, the tutorial. Good, yeah. 
that I um, that I used. And I'll put some pictures of my bracelets on there, and then I can give you the exact information. But it's Capriccio. It's known as something else, but I will have the the patterns in my playlist, so I will find them and I will share them on my. Oh, you're a good page. egg. Thank you, lovely. And if Debbie. I forget, remind me, message me. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't got a clue how you spell that. Oh, Capriccio. Capriccio, and it is called something else, but I'm, it, then it was more commonly known as Capriccio, but it's um, a seed bit. I'm trying to think who did it. I'll put it on my page, I'll look for it. Watch this space, so find Debbie on her Jewelry Maker uh, presenters page. Um, okay, now, we've still got lots to squeeze in. You've got your masterclass, um, which might be the perfect introduction into gemstone setting. We also have an opportunity, now these have been on air once. Now the pearls are coming up immediately after the break. They are brand new and slightly different from the first introduction of these necklaces. Now these are so commercial, so high end, you know, you could go to a luxury jeweler and find something like this for three figures and then some. You get all four of them. Wow. They are 95, they are all natural pearls. Um, and I, genuinely, this is one of the best deals you could possibly wish for. It's coming up. Um, pearls have been very much in the limelight this morning, haven't they? Mm -hmm. And they are flying out the door. Because remember, you can use your Pearl 10 code. So you're going to get them at the lowest price point. Debbie's Masterclass coming up as well shortly. Don't go anywhere. Back after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Make sure you join us this Monday on Jewelry Maker. It's under £10 day. I know, amazing. We're joined by Claire McDonald and we're also welcoming back a very, very special lady, Jan Dwyer. She's bringing her Easy Knot tool to the show in the 11 o'clock hour. We're so excited. Now, your deal of the day are four to six millimetre rounds. They're all closeout deals. And you've also got a Sphene Early Bird. Under £10 day this coming Monday on Jewelry Maker. See you there. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. We have too much fun to call this work, don't we? We do. Too much fun. I was just talking about when um, I used to present on the um, our American channel and I used to do quite late at night. I used to come in, come in at, uh, at midnight, yeah. which was the busiest show, of yeah. course, because, uh, um, you know, it was kind of primetime shows. So, and I uh, go on air at three. It is hard. So hard. I used to do that hours. for another channel. I used oh. to do the American version of it. And they're just waking up and you're like, it's the middle of the oh, night. Oh, yeah, it's hard. But I was saying that one of our, um, the tech op that used to work that shift, bless him, he really struggled with it, really struggled and regularly would be <laughs> fall asleep. <laughs> stood up. The That's really up. impressive. Falling asleep, stood up. Yeah, the camera would just disappear down to the ground. Like, I'm trying to follow it. My sons went to a car thing together and there's a bit of a difference between them. They're going to kill me, but they're not watching. And um, my youngest son sent me a message and he said, Tyler took three minutes, 40 seconds to fall asleep. He, that's su such a thing that my son would do is time my other son, how long it takes. Because <laughs> he could sleep anywhere. My oldest son could sleep anywhere. You could put him anywhere and he'd just go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And so they've obviously been talking and then Dylan's timed, timed Tyler and Tyler's gone to sleep and like, Three minutes that's time. impressive but my husband went that's typically of Dylan to actually time <laughs> yeah impressive um just lastly on that same as Tom's exactly the same. He? he will fall asleep anywhere and back when his in his in his youth yeah in his youth um <laughs> when he used to go out have a, be a few beers with his mates and whatnot and he was walking home and he's decided I can't bother to walk all the way so I'm just gonna sleep here <laughs> and uh <laughs> so some some very neighbourly person onto their what those bu bushes boxes bushes that was perfectly maintained <laughs> like a box hedge yeah perfectly so Tom <laughs> falls asleep on top of this box hedge like so wakes up in the morning dew all over him <laughs> <laughs> and the the, 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 the the person's house excuse me are you okay <laughs> he's just like sorry just off he pops but amazing some people amazing. can just fall asleep can't they anyway. they can they can <laughs> Right then, anyway, back to your beautiful jewellery. Oh my goodness me. Imagine for one second, and Dan has read my mind here by putting these um, on yeah. luxury luxury bus. Because if we were, I don't know, Place Vendôme, Hatton Garden, Milan, any yeah. of these places, and we were to see this in a in a window oh, you know no no price point just that displayed anywhere else most bond street most of us would think okay well they're, they're beautiful pearls they're with lovely precious metal they're going to be maybe beyond i'd imagine they'd be beyond my but beyond my budget yes. i'm going to tell you and i know that our viewers i know look this is why you you may have started making jewelry because you're sick of seeing jewelry that was maybe beyond budget and you know like, i could probably make them myself and that's how that's how lots of journeys begin aren't they absolutely i'm going to tell you it's not even worth your while doing that okay. because for you to make them which ordinarily means you can make that piece of jewellery much more affordably. So, you know, the beaded necklace, that wonderful bracelet, for example, you can make them more affordably yourselves um, by putting that sort of the, the hours in. I'm going to say, for you to source the sterling silver chain, for you to store, source the, the large bolt ring clasps, for you to source the extender chain, the two-inch extender chain at the back, mm -hmm with a charm at the bottom, and I'll show you those in a second. For you to source the natural pearls, your pinks are completely natural, which are should be high, high priced. Yes. And then you have your white pearls. Plus then factor in your time. Yep. It's not going to be worth your while. Okay, they're tiddy little wrap loops, tiddy. Really yeah, I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't do fiddly, that. Fiddly, very fiddly, fiddly. So how long do you think it would take you to make one of these necklaces, Debbie? 
it's fiddly. Uh, how many? Can I just move them? Of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Me, about two hours, maybe. Okay. It's not bad. No, okay. So if you're not, you know, I'd have to have my magnifier oh, it would on. Oh, it would take me ages. Well, yeah. No, but I was expecting you to say oh, like okay, that. Oh, okay. I was yeah. expecting you to say that. But look, you've got to... Oh, that's lovely. Look at the extender chain. Not so cute. Look how perfectly wrap loop that is. You could stamp an initial on the other side of that. You computer. could. Is it plain? Yeah, yeah, it is. Can you see it? Oh, you could stamp anything, a little heart or... These are new because the ones that we had before, if I remember rightly, didn't have the sterling silver dots in between. So these are different, I believe. Now, there are only 50 available. And if you're thinking, okay, well, which one am I getting here, Al? All of them. You get all of them. So I bought these the first time they were launched, and I bought them to put in boxes, which has been done. I've got some of those square boxes mm. here from Jewelry Maker. And they've been put away, and they'll be birthday presents or Christmas presents, because who's not going to love that? 15th of December, please. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Judy in the diary. No problem. I mean, who wouldn't love that? Oh, I'd love that. It's so timeless. But when I bought them, and when we launched the first collection of these, it wasn't the month of July. Oh, yeah. Which meant... And whilst they did go to the most unbelievable price point, it did also mean that we didn't have the potential, the opportunity to do pill 10. Because today, you're going to get all four, not just at a fantastic live TV show price, you're going to get it at the lowest ever price because it is the month of June. So you get an extra 10% off. Yeah. Which is epic. If I was to say to you, uh, uh, okay, let's be, let's be, never mind the Place Vendôme, the Bond Street, how many of us walk down there? Um, I will, but I'm not going to buy anything from there. I saw Diana Ross there once, and that just shows you how expensive it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I might walk down Bond Street just to have a little look. Yeah. I'm not buying anything no, from there, maybe. though. Um, but okay, let's, let's bring it back to um, reality <laughs> for a second. If I was to see these in something like Ernest Jones, Beaver Brooks, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pick this one. If I was to show you this, or go into Beaver Brooks and say, I love that pearl necklace. I love the simplicity. I love the fact that it is, um, it's a modern twist, but at the same time, it's not going to, it's not going to date. Are those natural pearls? Yes, absolutely. They're not bleached and dyed. They're natural pearls. That's beautiful 925 sterling silver. Um, how much is that? Let's be honest. That would probably be about 300 pound, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because the prices of silver has just skyrocketed. It's not like a ch cheap option anymore to no. put jewelry in silver at all. Not at all. You won't believe what these are going to. Now, I've got 50, did you say, Ross? 50 available. There are 50 available. This is the second time they've been on air, but the first time that, they've been, that they have they are on air with Pearl 10. When we launch these... Uh, uh, Ross, uh, uh, there, <laughs> there he goes. Really? Liam's at it again. He said, when we launch these, it's not a price point that I would have launched these at. And that's saying something, Roscoe, because you are a man of deals. Yeah. What did he launch them at? Tell me. What? 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 Is Liam in the building? Liam, if, he, if you're in the building... Get down here right now. What on earth are you thinking? <laughs> this is ridiculous. That, oh. Did you just hear what they said? Yeah, and I would buy them for this like 10 times over. That is incredible. That's incredible. I also think that's half what we launched the other collection for. And are you going to get 10% off that as well? Yes. Oh. Liam, what on earth were you thinking? He might, well, he might hear me right now. Right, start dialing. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be adding to these. Because that's the most ridiculous. In fact, as a member of staff, I paid more than that 
than the, than the collection that we launched prior to this. That's unbelievable. That is amazing. I, okay, I know you don't know what we're talking about. No, well, let me just tell you this. You know, I said that one there, if it was in something like Ernest Jones, the price I've just, and I said it could be a certain price point, that's a zero on top <laughs> of what I heard in my head. Um, if you're thinking, what on earth? What on earth? How about if I told you, just to give you a little bit of a subtle hint, you can get all four finished, complete, and I knew they were going to be a great deal, but I wasn't expecting that. I, that's what I thought, because the last time we launched these, I thought, I'm going to say it. They launched at $59.99, the last set like this. That's incredible, though. $59.99, so that means 15 That's pounds. amazing. I'd pay that. I'd be happy with that. This price is... Insane? Well, yeah, pretty much. Not logical? Questionable. I have never, ever in my whole career bought anything on air, and this is is tempting me. So that's how good it is. <laughs> that's how good it is. Fifty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Um. You t yeah, you're talking about fifteen pounds per necklace. Yeah, because you've also got that pill 10. So what does that mean? You get 10% off that, £6 off that price tag. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. When I launched these, and it was these, similar, they didn't have the, they didn't have the additional sterling silver in actual fact, I bought them at the same time as you, possibly. When I launched these, that was the launch price. £59.99, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Again, go back to the beginning of the, uh, you know, to source the sterling silver, the wire, the chain, the bolt ring, the, the extender. extender. Yeah, the little charm, the pearls, and they're natural. I agree. Ross, what we're taking this to is the price of one. Yeah, Here yeah. at Jewelry Maker, okay. not, a, not in Ernest Jones. Not in Beaver Brooks. Definitely not. Do you know, I guess, uh, either if you want to gift them like I am, or if not, just buy and sell them on. Don't sell them what we're taking them yeah. to, though, because this is going to be an on screen sellout. And we can thank Liam for this one. <laughs> I love Liam, I do. Uh, he's ace. But what on earth was he thinking with this? What was he thinking? I don't, I, I don't know how we've even got any at that price. I mean, Oh my goodness. That's for all four. Oh, and they're on split pay, are they? All four. What were you thinking, Liam? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That's oh. so amazing. <laughs> 10 pounds. There's nothing to be said about that. No, because really? Jenny and I was happy at 59.99. So was I. That's where we launched them at, and that would be amazing even with that 10% discount. And but you've got to remember there's 10% off that as well. And if you've already bought, you're not even paying postage. No. So wait, thirty nine ninety nine. Take pearl ten. How You're talking about thirty five pounds <laughs> for all four of them. Liam, I don't know if he can hear me or not. He might. He might be able to hear me upstairs. But I, like, love you. But what are you doing? <laughs> Seriously, that's the price of one. Amazing for you guys at home. I genuinely don't know. I don't know what to say. What do I say? I, li I like Ross's impression of Liam. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You sound a little bit like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, Lisa, hello to Cumbria, Diane, Susan, London, Irene, Jenny, Florence, Linda, Leicestershire, Durham, Kerry, Gillian, hello to you, Mersey, Merseyside, hello to you, where Yvonne, Dawn, I can't keep up with you. We had 50 of these available. I, I can't believe he did that. Um, yeah. And, and we love him for those deals, don't we? But that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And again, I, put the, I was happy at 59.99, which is what I bought them at. Look how beautiful they are, Debbie. Oh, they are so beautiful. They really are lovely. I'd definitely be keeping one or maybe two for myself. <laughs> Can we do the maths? 39.99, take 
three ninety nine, three pound ninety nine. Thirty five ninety nine divided by four. Nine pounds. That's how much this is costing right now. That's amazing. Nine pounds. That might be one of the best deals I've ever seen, actually. That's what Ross said. Yeah. That's what Ross said. It's one of the best deals I've ever, ever seen. It, it, yeah. Yeah, that does include the old days. Nine, nine, <laughs> what, back in the day? Back in the day. In 13 years, I know. I agree. Leah, what are you thinking? Nine pounds each. That's a super fantastic deal. That's really, really good. I don't know what to say about this. I'm a little bit speechless, to be truthful. There are so many of you there getting involved. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how he did it. I generally don't. I don't know if Ross should have done it. Uh, Ross, you should have repeated it. Are you sure it wasn't meant to be £39.99 £99 each? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. I'm all about the deals, but that would make more sense. Unbelievable. Well done. I think they've sold out. Have they sold out? Yeah, gone. I'm not surprised. Um, pardon? I think so. Yes, I have. Um, oh, it's a pill day today. You're absolutely loving the pills today. Um, yeah, I wonder why that is. <laughs> yeah, might have something to do with the prices. Oh, oh, look, Debbie. This. Half, hang on. Half drilled pearl. Mm -hmm. with a little hat with the most beautiful can you see that oh wow the most beautiful bale little stars you were, yeah you were saying you've got you've got children doing a levels and gcse's i have the li your, your little stars yeah that would be lovely wouldn't it for daisy she'd love that really pretty yeah um and again it's just a case of gluing it into place leaving it overnight Feeding it onto, I mean, like that, if I turn it towards Ethan right now, that could go on leather, couldn't it? It could go on leather. It can go on the thicker charm bracelets. Nice. What, that shop? Yeah. The shop that we all know with, which sells the lovely charms. Yeah. Yeah? Amazing. Um, one thing I don't know if they do culture pills. I'm not sure if they do. Culture pills? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I could, like Debbie and I have said before, one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker is our pill buying, and that's even before the pill 10 code. How many do we have of these? 50 available, and you know how amazing the pill deals have been so far this morning. I don't think that's about to stop. I'd be feeding this onto maybe my Imperial Topaz. Ooh, that'd be bougie, quite nice. Bougie, bougie. Yeah, why not? Why not? And we're just to get started, we're starting at £19.99. There's a big investment of sterling silver within this that's going to beautifully wrap itself round. You know, it can go... Um, there's nothing wrong with just your classic split bale. No. It's pretty. But unusual is also good. And also, you know, the story behind this, it, you can say, I've given this because you were a superstar when you were ill or you were a superstar when you were doing exams or... Mm you know you're my shining star that you can you can add whatever meaning you want to it and then you're adding that story to your jewelry which i love doing yeah let's see if i can just place it to oh it's falling out isn't it obviously just a little touch of your jewelry making glue leave it overnight see if i can do it i'll try once more if not i'll just you can imagine i want to just kind of sit it there don't don't fall out don't fall out don't fall out oh no no can't it needs the glue and you need to secure it in, in the market in, uh, in a what's it called you just did the knotting on one earlier on macrame macrame board, board there leave it overnight that's so pretty isn't it <laughs> <laughs> thanks for cutting back to us and we're staring at the pearl with our mouths open <laughs> going just broke <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. My TV face is this, Deb. <laughs> That's my TV <laughs> face. It is. Tom says to me all the time, he's like, Al, you're doing it again. We're both staring at that pal. <laughs> like that. And then he comes back to us <laughs> yeah. in wonder. Adam <laughs> <laughs> saying, I gave you plenty of warning. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Sorry. Is it just me that watches TV like that? 
Yeah, my husband's like that. L, seriously, you're doing it again. I had, I had a friend. Lowest ever price? I had a friend who used to watch the telly with a funny face. Should we do it? Yeah. Um, we've got 50, so if we're gonna do if we're gonna do it, and you've got to remember Ross as well, there is still Pearl 10. Yeah? If we're gonna do it, we're gonna take this under 10 pounds and you can use your pearl code. And that's not just a one-time code, by the way. You can use that repeatedly on your pills. Oh really? Yeah, throughout the course of the month. As much as you want. Yeah. Oh, that'll do. I think for the whole month. We need to see you there though. So use this 60 seconds. Yeah, look, it's valid till. 30th of June, 2023. Oh, so for the whole month, essentially. That's very good. Right the way up to one minute to, to 12. Yes. Right, we need to see you there. Here's your call to action. The more of you that are there... Well, how many, how many are you looking for, Ross? Nine more people. Nine more people on the web and on the phone lines. And we will take it under £10. <laughs> Which it's already a crazy price, isn't it, to be truthful? I'd pay that for the bail on its own. Uh, yeah, you'd be lucky to get it for the bail on its own anyway. Because like you said, it's very designer yeah, inspired, exactly. isn't it? We're going to go even lower. And uh, if there's enough, how many now, Roscoe? More than enough, he says. You're flying in for it. Never been under £10. Comes with that beautiful star bail. And you can use Pearl 10, your 10% discount too. It's over allocated in actual fact now, so you need to check them out. 57 of you have it in your baskets, and that's not even including the, the names that we can see on the phone lines. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> I'm like my dog, actually. He's, he's got... Do you know, there was something... I, th I don't know if it was Crufts, but there's an award for underbites on dogs. I reckon I might enter Brutus. Snoop's got that. I've yeah. got a shih tzu and he's... Yeah. I like it. Especially when you have though. one little snaggle tooth. Yeah. Pretty cute. Check out your baskets, though. Nine ninety nine. That means £9, doesn't it? Because you can get... 10% off. 10% off. Amazing. Well done to you, Karen, Helen, Jeanette, Joy. Hello to you, Shirley, Diane. Cumbria's got three. Carol's multi-bought. Pauline, Sandra, London, Lisa, Jackie. Hello to you, Lanarkshire, Mariska. Um, Suzanne in Norfolk says, I'll have two. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Cardiff, congratulations to you. Um, make sure you're checking out. I only had 50, and this is the lowest ever price point. Plus, you can also use your get 10% off with your pill 10 code some people are going to have some cracking parcels coming with oh the do you know I'm what jealous. today very jealous. i've wanted it pretty much everything that we yeah, bought everything to wear. That i've wanted is sold out yeah i'm sure if we went on the website that yeah there might be you know, wish list you can always wish list i'll it. wish list yeah i'll be wish listing some stuff as mm. well um uh, yeah and come and say hello to us as well we're having a lovely day today it's been it's gone super fast we're lots of fun well so far we've discussed uh, um the <laughs> fact that we love liam but sometimes it doesn't make any sense um we've discussed underbites we know how long it takes my eldest son to go to sleep we know that <laughs> tom fell asleep drunk in a bush once um, what else do we know? We know we, we know quite a lot. Yeah, <laughs> from a space of a few hours. Do you think hours? we're guilty of oversharing? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Definitely, I'm going to say. Tom, my husband will be watching going, you don't need to tell people that story, do you? She didn't need to tell people that story, which is why I, I was that asleep, <laughs> that inebriated, that there was dew on the top, on his face. <laughs> Little dew drops in his beard. Aww. But bless the, the, the house owner, you know, it's like, are you okay? <laughs> I'd be like, oi! Get off! Yes, thank you. Bye. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Morning. Um, well done. Loads of multi buyers. Hello uh, to you, Linda in Nottingham. She's got two. Suffolk's got two. Lorraine and Gwent's got two. Amazing. And we've still got Debbie's amazing masterclass coming up as well. Um, for those of you that maybe have, have been thinking, but maybe a little bit hesitant to start your gem setting journey, this next hour is going to be absolutely perfect. Isn't yeah, it? it's not difficult at all. This ring and it's so so pretty. Really Love it. lovely. Love it, love it, love it. Now, um, we can squeeze in. Oh, I don't know, that's a tough call. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> I definitely do. Oh my gosh, that flower. Oh my goodness, wait, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I've never seen that before. They're all available on pre-order, obviously limited, because it's been on air once and this is type A red jadeite. Now I'm going to show you. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, that's lovely. These are hand carved. Yeah, so clever. I love this colour jadeite. Wait. Pod of peas. Oh, that is lovely. It's adorable, isn't it? Representative of your family. Little peas. Little pea pod. Little pea pod. I love that. Totally one. natural. And, hang on. You have your beautiful leaf. Oh, look at that. I love Natural. It. And we have a strand of four millimetres, three, four millimetres. Oh, no, not that one. Are we going to do all of these today? Okay. All four of these coming your way. Now, they're available on pre-order right now. The flower, the pea pod, yeah, I'll do it in that order, the leaf, and then that lovely kind of swirl, all natural. Should we start with the swirl, which you, your cord that you had earlier on this morning would be amazing. Lovely on, on cord, wouldn't it's it? It's very infinity-esque, isn't it? It is. Every single one of these will have a meaning, by the way, you know, jadeite. And I, I won't have the time to go at length and talk about jadeite. We know that, A, the, it's mined out in uh, um, Burma. We know from the colour wheel um, that jadeite forms in lots of different colours, but the rarest of all is actually the skin, mm -hmm. which doesn't sound the most elegant, does it? <laughs> but um, as uh, jadeite forms more often than not actually in a boulder, and I can show you a photograph of that, um, we don't know what colour is within that boulder. They test it, they can hear the sound of, of it, but they don't know exactly what colour it is. Red is only found on the exterior as the boulder actually oxidises. So, and up until recently, it wasn't actually stockpiled. So, um, it's, uh, and it's incredibly, always has been considered incredibly valuable. I say stockpiled, you can't really stockpile something that is sort of fractions of the actual no. size. Um, and never mind taking my word for it. If you wanted to speak to anybody that, you know, has lived with Jade, knows Jade through and through, has, has, has contributed to articles, um, celebrated for his talents and his, uh, you know, his, his gemology degrees, you know, he's studied in countless different uh, uh, doctor of stones and uh, um, studied in lots of different universities. Like I said, he's massively overqualified. And that is... Um, Roland Schlussel. Now, Roland Schlussel, and you'll see a photograph of him, uh, we've shown it in the past, him stood alongside uh, Dave over in Tucson. He solely traded in jade. Oh, okay. Solely. There he is. There's Roland Schlussel at Pillar and Stone. And the magazine that he's reading right now is in colour. He wrote that on jade. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he wrote that. So, And if you look just over Dave's shoulder, you can see all the jade carvings. Now, he's actually openly said, look, once this is gone... Bear in mind the mine's closed, the Burmese mine yeah. is closed. He's going to have to diversify into other gemstones. And he's actually said, OK, that's going to be tourmaline and that's going to be spun out. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, Roland Schlussel said that the price of Taipei jade is right now at an all-time high, particularly difficult for us as sourcing the skin. This is the fancy colour of jade, the lavender and the reds. These prized colours are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidises. This is why you never get solid red colour sculptures or jewellery. The skin is so thin comparatively and the boulders aren't coming out of the ground. And if you're thinking, OK, I can't quite, I can't visualise how... You're talking about the exterior of the boulder. We've shown you a fit. Let's show a pi another picture. Let's show another picture of that, of the boulder. There it is. That's how little is red. That's a tiny bit in comparison to... Yeah. Wow. Like the skin of an apple. Yeah. So when I, hold, when I show you these, or something like this, yeah, the bulk of the colour is inside. Yeah. And by the way, yellows come under the red umbrella as well. So the, um, another quote from Roland Schlussel says, these colours have turned the industry on its head. The demand and supply is a real issue. And as such, we are seeing some of the highest prices for this, this material. And still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. We are finding it easier to provide imperial green to our clients at a more affordable price for the first time. If you go to somewhere like Mason and Kay, 
you might find red jadeite, but you will find maybe a single bead, a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Have a look elsewhere. Go to somewhere like Sotheby's. I can show you. Do you know that, that, that one you just showed a few moments ago, Ross? The, the leaf, not that one. Yeah, this. Very similar. Very, yeah. very similar. You could definitely get that look, couldn't you? Yeah, now hold that thought. Hold that thought, natural red jadeite. Very, very similar to the leaf that we've got coming up. It's on pre-order right now, but I'm going to start with this beautiful infinity. Hand carved. So little of it. You might get a suggestion of red. Um, you know, we've shown bangles in the past, whereas probably 80% of it has actually got um, white color or right. a different color and maybe 20% of it has this beautiful um, red and it is if I spin it round all red oh, it is. this is what Roland Schlusser was talking about so it's so difficult to get you know a solid red piece of jewelry and if it does it fetches astronomical prices astronomical prices we are not stopping at 299 a beautiful infinity design, hand carved. There was only ever 29 ever created. Are you ready? Ross is liking this one a lot. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love this one. I think you see different things when you look at it. I think this would be great for gents jewelry. Yeah. Like a lark's head knot through the top there. Yeah. Just put it on and you've done the technique of the sliding knot. Yeah, you could easily do that. 99 pounds and 99 pence. If you put that on that wax cord from earlier on, for red jade, that's incredible. Ex exactly. You don't you don't go to Mason and Kay expect there to be double figures. No. They ain't going to have double figure prices for red jadeite. Or Roland Schlussel, for that matter, is not going to have double figure prices. Because this is no longer coming from the ground. Plus, this is actually the rarest colour on that colour wheel. You know, people think it's imperial green. Imperial green fetches the, uh, the highest price at the moment. But what Roland Schlussel is saying is that might well change. The boulder has completely disappeared from the market. Sorry, the boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market um, as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. This has resulted in the most drastic price jump in the jade market ever seen. Um, we strongly feel that it won't be long before uh, the auction record is held by a purple or red jade, which uh, changes everything we have ever understood about jade. Wow. And again, that's Roland Schussel's words at the beginning of, Tucson, uh, beginning of 2022 um, at Tucson. Good luck. Make sure you are checking out um, for that beautiful infinity design. Next up. There, I, let's just say it as it is, because... Under £100 for all of them. Let's do the flower next. I turn these into earrings. Oh, yes. Can you imagine those? Or just one on a single bench. I think one on a single chain, just sitting there exactly where you've put it, is just stunning. Just stunning. And that, you know, this colour will go with gold or silver. Oh, absolutely. You know, whatever your preference is. Um, it's going to look beautiful. That's beautiful. I think that's my favourite. My, I think mine too. I do like you've got the, the You've got the bale as well in the jade eye, which yeah. is totally natural. It's not just a flat flower. You've got the curved leaves, almost like the hibiscus it flower. Is. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. And it's totally natural. Look at the... Look, again, let me just pivot it round just so you can appreciate. It's it not, really is. It's not like just on the front or no, the of it, is it? Solid red. Type A jadeite. How many of these have we got, Ross? We've got 40. Make sure you are checking out. Oh, I'm tempted by this one. I am. Mm. I really like Oh, you could ignore the um, drill hole and have a ring as well, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. When you see the bangles that we've shown you in the past of jade, where there's been like about, what, 20% red? The rest of it has been imperial white. Have we still got that? Like this? 
you really appreciate how lucky we are to actually hold something like this. I mean, that sold at 25,000 US dollars oh, wow. back in 2014 when the mine was still operational. Imagine what that would sell for now. Exactly. And they don't talk about it being imperial white. They talk about the red, don't they? Yeah, and yet that's only a tiny little bit of it yeah. is red. Yeah. Snuff bottles from... from uh, all right, they might be from certain dynasties, but selling for fortunes. Look at that. Estimate was ten to fifteen thousand US dollars. Price realized thirty-two thousand US dollars. Now that is solid red. Yes, that is. And that was going back even further in two two thousand and seven. Okay, there's forty of these available. So pretty. Beautiful. Budget allows they make amazing earrings too. We made a price promise under £100. Um, it is certified type A, not B or C. This is not dyed. This is not polymer impregnated, which has no investment value, basically. Type B and type C, it's still been purchased. And you've got to remember as well, you've got to have the jade to polymer impregnate, um, to dye. There is nothing coming from the ground. This isn't dyed. This is all Mother Nature's doing, and we're not even stopping at £99.99 99 only. Get your certificate of authenticity, because it will say those amazing words, natural type A, red jadeite from Burma. The mine is closed after, sen after centuries of mining. And we've, all, we've been, again, very open and honest, saying, look, we can't, we can't continue to bring you type A, red, uh, type A jadeite, full stop, not just red at anywhere near what's on your screens. How beautiful. 79 pounds and 99 pence only. Imagine that on a strand of, if you've got a lovely strand of pearls. Ah, oh, beautiful. Having that as your pendant, that would be so pretty. You know those pink pearls that we had earlier on in yeah. the bundle? Have we still got those handy, Dan? Yeah, sorry. The pink pearls, yeah, the bundle. Imagine just one of these suspended from those. Yeah. I just think that that would be such an unusual, amazing piece of jewellery. Check out those baskets, Karen, Jilly, Elizabeth, amazing. Congratulations again. It's really simple. You could lark said not it, couldn't you? And use the technique that um, lovely Debbie showed you in the nine o'clock hour as well. Um, I had 40 and already lots of you getting involved. You could shop ahead on the others too. Um, no, no. It's right, the strands are meant. Don't worry, Dan, though. Um, you can shop ahead on the others, though. Um, let's do let's do the leaf, the one that's very similar um, to that suite that we saw that sold at, I don't know, I'm going to say Sotheby's possibly because it says, because it's, it's what, lot number 547, <laughs> and it's sold for, um, let's round it up ever so slightly, 10,000 US dollars. All right, there's diamonds in there, and I would assume that's 18 karat gold or platinum with the uh, um, an ice jade. You can see 10 grand's not a bad price, to be truthful, considering you're getting all of them. You don't know how how big they are, though. True. You don't actually know how big they are. But 10,000 pounds is probably one of the more reasonable prices I've actually seen in Sotheby's. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, now, if you love that kind of leaf, that wonderful autumnal leaf design, Mm, lovely. We have one too. Cute. It is beautiful. We'll do it in one price crash. Again, certified totally and utterly natural. Red jade. There's that skin. Look at that colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? £69.99 pence only to get hold of this. Now... Bear with us, we're just going to dip out of the graphics for one second. Bear with us, it hasn't ended, you can still get hold of yours, don't you worry. We're just taking the graphics out off your screens for one second. Um, and they're back, there we go. The reason why we did that is because it is on split pay. Um, it will show up in a second, it just takes a little while for it to come through. Um, but £69.99, or today, with 0% interest, £34.99. And ninety-nine pence. How amazing is that? Karen, Mary, Annie, amazing. London, new buyers getting involved. You know, Roland Schlussel himself has actually said, "Look, I might need to. Um, I might, I'm going to have to diversify once this is gone." Yeah. So that doesn't indicate that there's very much left. Does no. It? Which, no. Um, it's lovely to own something unusual. 
absolutely. That not a lot of people have got. I mean, not just for the monetary value, but just that you can. <laughs> That it's rare, nobody else has say this is actually red jade yeah. that not many people will know about. The last one, symbolic of family, is the pod of peas. I do think this is so cute, this one. It's adorable, isn't it? Little peas in a pod. Absolutely adorable. Look. Yeah. Symbolic of family, and it's vibrant, vibrant red, type A jade. Under £100. Hand carved. I didn't realise this, but actually, pe pods of peas are really, really uh, steeped in history. Actually, in carvings of jade. Really? Yeah, I didn't realise that. Um, I've seen, you know, obviously I included them in the Willow and Tig collection pod of peas. Yeah, I love. Um, but I didn't know the history of Taipei jade out with peas. I love this, and I feel like you could suspend it from the bottom of a larger pearl if you wanted to Beautiful. to make it into sort of more of a drop but it's just unusual isn't it and it, again it's signifying something but not being too obvious about it yeah absolutely at 99 pounds and 99 pence only we're going to do the lowest price of them all Ooh. um i think the peas are actually going to be one of the most popular do we have quantity 50 on the nose oh <laughs> <laughs> Straight away. Type A jade. Do you think if when, when I was over in uh, in Tucson, um, I could have gone up to Roland Schlussel or his beautiful wife and said, any chance I can buy some red jade out for 50 quid? <laughs> It'd be like, absolutely no way. You know, he's saying, I actually think this is going to overtake your green, uh, your imperial green, um, in terms of the price point moving forward because nobody has it. And we've told other stories of, a, um, it was Dave who actually met up with a gentleman who's kind of in, inherited his father's business in jewellery and some pieces of jade that his father had sold um, now with sort of the, the second generation who are coming back and he's paying, he's paying, sorry, they're selling it to raise funds. Um, and he said, there's just, there's just no way, no way that he can afford to pay some of the prices it's commanding. Isn't that amazing? It, yeah, absolutely. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Make sure you do check out your baskets. We've still got your wall of fame to Ooh, come yes. as well. So um, that's happening just the other side of the break. And we've got this amazing uh, masterclass. If you've never done gemstone setting before, then just stay with us because Debbie's going to show you how back after this. <laughs> Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, 
This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. everybody i'm so excited for your masterclass. these rings let me just give you a sneak peek for those of you that haven't had a little look yet i adore these they are available on pre-order right now but they're adjustable as well they're adjustable so you don't need to know anyone's size and then you've got these little drop hang which i absolutely love because these are very on trend these sort of charm rings and they're really simple so i'm going to show you how to do it because it's really simple beautiful they're coming up shop ahead so you can sit back and enjoy the masterclass demonstration but now it is time for your wonderful creations and starting us off this morning this afternoon is nikki Hello, Aww. lovely Nikki. Um, and Nikki, you are number 633. And she says, hi, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. He's Timmy the Turtle. Oh, I love Timmy. Um, I love making him. The Pearl Drop Crystals uh, was a present. The rest is from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like them. Abso I don't think I need those, to be fair. These are pretty big. Um, absolutely beautiful. We love him, Nikki, as always. And good luck to you. Number 634 is from Becky. Oh, it's Becky. All pretty. That's very reminiscent of those necklaces we had a few moments it ago. Is. And Becky says, quite simply, Larimar and Jewelry Maker Pearl Sterling Silver Anklet. Ooh, anklet. Amazing. Loving that. Uh, number 635 is from Heather. Oh, very beautiful, Heather. Oh. Heather says, uh, this must be the quickest make. <laughs> um, a jadeite carving with a bale and sterling silver chain. Bale is my own. Uh, thank you, Jewelry Maker, for my jadeite collection. Heather, that's absolutely beautiful. Yes. And just because it's quick doesn't mean it's not luxury. Exactly. Um, I also have number 636 from Una. Oh, beautiful, Ooh. Una. Um, good morning, jewellery maker. My entry for the Wall of Fame is a Dalmatian Jasper necklace using the new copper gallery wire from JM. Uh, the Dalmatian drum beads and copper wire, also from jewellery maker, and a cabochon from my stash. I hope you like it um, and that you're all very well. We certainly we are, are, Una. Well, good luck to you, my lovely, as well. Happens on Wednesday, so still plenty of time to enter. Over to you. Oh, I need my glasses. So I've got 637, and that's Lorraine Smith. Oh, I love that. Hi, Gem. This week's entry is a rose gold plated chain link necklace with pink and purple beads, ready for summer and great to wear with maxi dresses. I'm off to Venice next week, so we'll wear it there. Oh, I oh, love that. Oh, lovely. Happy days. Good luck, Lorraine. It's going to look gorgeous in Venice. That's absolutely stunning, so good luck. I've got 638 next, and that's Julia Tinsley. And she says, hi all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame draw. A simple make this week, this week to showcase these beautiful Tanzanite pear drops. I cannot wait to wear these. Oh, wow. Amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? Looks so expensive. Absolutely beautiful, Julia. 
Good luck with that. And yeah. then the last one, no? Penultimate. Penultimate. 639 is Kim Hopkins. Hi, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a 925 silver pendant and earrings made with Mayuki seed beads inspired by Alison talking about folded peyote. All from JM. Good luck, everyone. Love the shows and demos this week. The highlight has got to be Liam skipping with two metres of pearls. I miss that. I um, miss that, Those Kim. days, yeah, I miss that too. That is beautiful. Yeah, I was, Kim, I, if I Very remember clever. being with Alison saying, that's amazing. That gives such a beautiful effect. That's really neat. That's beautiful, Kim. Good luck. And the last one is 6.40 and it's Alan Hopkins. Hi, please find me entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a quick make, either 925 sterling silver earrings and glued in pearls, all from JM. These are great profit makes. Good luck to everybody. I was in such laughter with Liam and the pearls. Always great to see him back on JM. Stay safe, everyone. I miss I, I missed that as well. What happened there? What happened? He skipped with some pearls, did he? What's he been doing, so Liam? Yeah, oh, Liam. Do you notice how none of us were ever surprised? Um, <laughs> never ever surprised. Oh, yeah, standard procedure, isn't it, Liam? Just, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, are you ready for your masterclass? Are you ready? Um, because you said earlier on that if you've wanted to tiptoe, so dip your toe in the water mm. and give gemstone setting a try, then this is the ideal opportunity. It is the ideal opportunity. And also, I'm a great big fan of briolettes. Yeah. And to me, a drop is not a briolette. And this is a briolette. And yeah, how I, agree. I understand a totally agree. to be is it's like a droplet of a gemstone with facets so that the light goes everywhere. And these are what I think of as real briolettes. So yes. the briolettes are just beautiful and they're used as a charm. So yep. you've got that movable element. Uh, charm rings are really, really in um, fashion. It makes me think of, because uh, I've got a, an Alex Monroe necklace that's a bluebell. It's got a little bluebell oh, pendant. My um, Tom bought it for me, I think, for my first Mother's Day, actually. Yeah. And it's got, just got one little briolette kyanite. Beautiful. Tiny, by the way. It's mm. tiny, tiny, much smaller than these. Um, and I can't remember how much that was. But, I, I, yeah, I agree. I love briolettes. And they you don't are often see them. so difficult to cut, though. I, I'm, I can imagine. And you don't... Like, we see a lot of drops, a lot of yeah. pairs. Yeah, and not I've, the same thing. I've often asked for a briolette in a kit, and we just don't have them. No, we don't. They're very difficult to cut um, because you've got that really dramatic angle at the top there. It's actually probably one of the hardest cuts, mm. but really popular in Victorian times. Oh, really? We used to use them in uh, sort of uh, um, lots of waterfall designs. Which is beautiful. They are. Um, what's that? Very similar to, yeah, rose cutting in Victoria times. Yeah, absolutely. But, it, you know, it shows you the whole carrot way. Yeah, if you think about that, if you think of the two, with a rose cut and a briolette, you see more of the surface area than you, you do, do like a round brilliant cut. You do. More carrot weight. But with your briolette cut, because if you can imagine it like a full 360 droplet, if you like, so yeah. it's got to be cut all the way around and on the underside. But it's that point at the yeah. top which is where you want the drill hole to Without be as well. Without breaking the gemstone. It's really difficult, yeah. Um, so they come with a certain price, but they are lovely, like you said, as charms. And just having these sort of hanging, I just think it's so elegant on the finger. And it's, you've got that movement, so it's making the most of the briolette because you're getting the light through it because it's moving. It's going to catch people's eye. Oh, these come with everything. Oh, yeah, you get absolutely everything that you need. So you don't even need the silver wire? No, you get everything. You get the silver wire, you get the adjustable ring, you get the stone to set, and you get the briolette to um, add on as a charm. Oh! So everything. Sorry. Okay, let's, um, let, should we start with the peridot? I'm gravitating towards the peridot. There's 150 of each of these. A, the fact they're adjustable, so you haven't got to worry about sizes. Um, there's the, there it is. Oh, these are gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. You've got... And they're easy. Are they? Yeah. So I don't... If I've never done any gemstone setting before, can I do this? Absolutely. Because you don't need, like, a load of tools, a load of kit, as I would call it. Um, I set it with pliers. Simple pliers? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show. They're so good that the one that I'm going to demo with is actually a peridot. And usually when I put a stone in, I'll put like a little bit of dental floss underneath in case I need to get the stone out again. 
And these are so good that I was just checking that the gemstone went in so that I could tell you guys how easy it was. And I didn't put the dental floss underneath and I can't get it out. And to be honest, I'm not going to force it out and no. I haven't even set it. So this is how well they go in. Of course, if you don't want to set it with pliers, if you don't have the confidence to do that, you can glue them in. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with that because high-end jewellers use glue. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you can even glue it in and then set it with the pliers. And then you've got that extra yeah. um, security that it's not going to pop out while you're setting it. So that's another thing that you can do. But as you can see there, that was two. I just the first one I did. I just did it with the pliers and then just wire wrapped the briolette and, and hung it off. But of course, if you don't want that briolette on as a charm, you can use that briolette as a matching mm. pendant. Yeah. And or just... I was thinking you could put seed pearls on top of there, really fill out that tessellation. Yeah, it'd be beautiful. That, that, oh, it? absolutely mm. beautiful, Debbie. I love these. They are 925 sterling silver, so it's an adjustable ring, one size fits all. You also get your pear cabochon, um, which is seven and a half by five and a half millimeters, perfectly calibrated to go alongside, and also your briolette drop. Um, we're at £29.99. We've got 150 of these available. And if you have any questions for Debbie, message us in the studio. £29.99. You can get shop ahead on your pet on your amethyst, and you've also got the citrine. But I'm going to assume that many of you want to mix up the kits. You want to get some of the citrine, you want to get the amethyst, you want to get the peridot. You can shop ahead on all of these. Are we making a price pledge here? Oh. All three you can buy individually, and they're all going to be exactly the same price, but you can choose your favourite. How about if we said you can get all three of these pieces, less than £20 each? I don't know where you could buy a genuine gemstone and sterling's 925 sterling silver, not plated, 925 sterling silver ring for this price and also it's really unusual it's a really fun design isn't yeah, it i've not lovely. seen anything like this no i agree and i'm definitely would wear these definitely. Me too. two and a half grams you're getting in sterling yeah. silver on those the gram for weight what? alone for this price i wouldn't even bother trying to make it no you know making the actual ring because i couldn't do it factoring in my time my equipment my electricity blah, 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 mm. for that that's true that is true well, the best thing is, Debbie, that it's not even a penny under £20. Because we are going lower. OK, I genuinely didn't expect that. No. What's it going to? You've got birthstones here. They don't tell me because they like to see my face when they drop the yeah, price. Yeah, that's half the fun. <laughs> that is half the fun. And also, again, we said it earlier on in the, in the nine o'clock hour. Look, we want to bring you the best possible deals as we possibly, possibly can, especially with your kids, because that's where you expand your portfolio. That's where you, I don't know, try mm -hmm. more techniques. And just... This is a gorgeous finished piece of jewellery. This is a yeah. piece of jewellery that I would see at a craft fair and buy. Yes. You know, so this is the sort of thing, if I was watching, I would buy, make it and wear it for myself. Totally. But then you can talk about presents. I mean, a lot of the Secret Santa budgets are like £20 or yeah. £15 or £10, aren't they? Um, and you get like a hand warmer or soap or... You know, something. Imagine giving someone this a secret An Santa. actual <laughs> genuine gemstone, yeah. Peridot sterling silver ring. Well, in three seconds, 1999 was already amazing. I take some of the three millimetre strands that we had earlier on and create like a really big. That would be beautiful. Castle. Because you've got space there to yeah. do that. <sighs> Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine. That's amazing. Pence only. That's so good. So wait, is that across the board? So I can get the peridot, the citrine, and also um, the amethyst for thirty. No, forty-five pounds. I think one of our viewers just messaged in to say that. Um, oh no, it was the Wall of Fame, wasn't it? That um, the pearl earrings were um, just a profit maker. Mm. Well, if you make to sell, this won't take long. So if you're factoring in your time. A really inexpensive price to sell these for would be £30, which is double. Yeah. And your time is a few minutes. So 
I would think that's an easy profit maker. Absolutely. £14.99. pence. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, though, everybody. You've got well, well over two and a half grams um, in an adjustable ring, which is, again, a win-win situation if you are a business or if you are gifting, because, let's be honest, rings are difficult to gift because we don't all know uh, sort of our nearest and dearest sizes. Um, and it is one size fits all. What are you doing? It, um, I mind you, you did say there's 150, didn't you? There's 150 of these. Is that the same quantity across all of them? 53, so a third of the stock pretty much has gone already in the Peridot. So I'm going to so I'm going to say that it's the, we're, we're going to match the price on all of them. Okay. What well, you're going lower than 14.99? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Just because of the quantity. So there's the citrine. Look at the intricacy of that setting. Yeah. So anyone who's watching who makes silver uh, is going to think, I'm not even going to bother making that with the wire, with the setting, getting my tools out, cutting the seat, blah, 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 for four, when I can buy it for 14 99 And jewellers will tell you that. They will buy their mounts in Absolutely. often because it's cheaper than actually making it from scratch. Absolutely. Look, you can get all three and they're all going to that same price point. You've got the amethyst, peridot. They are, they are different though, aren't they? One's got yes. a pair, one's got a round. Yeah, I think two have got Two have rounds. got... Two have got rounds, have they? No, one's, one's pear, one's round, one's oval. Oh, yes. So there you go. 11 .99. £36. Which is what I'd sell one for, really. £36 for all three. <laughs> How amazing is that? That's... That just shows our buying power, it that does, kind of yeah. price, doesn't it? Because yeah, it does. that's not realistic. Even for the two gemstones, that's not realistic. No, the briolette cut. Like, forget the setting and all of the sterling silver that's in there. And you've even got your um, featherweight pin mm. and wire to go through. Yeah, that comes with in it. In sterling. Too. So. Which is a double. <laughs> it's got. How do I say this? Two ball ended <laughs> i'm trying to think of that's it. nicely done I'm, I'm trying to look it's got two balls it, it has on, one on either end yes i don't know why i don't know why either i guess cut it in the middle i just um i Wrap just it cut on the end on. yeah I, you to get it through it, you can't fold it in half and get it through because the hole's not quite large enough so i just cut one of them off and put it in my scrap pot okay i wonder if you could cut that in half oh you could and then you've got basically two head pins. You definitely could. I definitely had um, silver wire left over. Oh, there we go. So it's just, it depends how much wrapping you want on your briolette. Yeah. I'll show you that. Take it away. Make sure, shop ahead on the others and we'll bring them as and when Debbie actually gives me, a, right. gives me a heads up. So I've actually put my ring into a ring holder. And if you've got that, that's great. Um, if you haven't, don't worry too much about it because you can hold it in your hands. Now, I'm going to leave it in the ring holder because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. And I'm not going to bring my head over the top because who wants to see the back of my head when you want to know how to make jewellery? So I'm going to talk you through it. But ideally, when I'm in my workshop situation, um, I've got this in front of me. And when I'm setting a stone, it's literally I've got my head over the top, right over the top so that I can mm. see exactly where it's sitting. And then I will bring it up to eye level because sometimes it can look like it's in, but it's actually slightly on the skew. So then I would take it up to eye level and I'll make sure that that stone is equally set down and it's not skew if. And I'm just going to look at it from all angles and just make sure that I'm completely happy with where my stone is. And as I say, these went in so easily that it wasn't really an issue for me to worry about it, it flying out or it being skew with because it, it's made really beautifully for the gemstone to sit in so once um i've just you know popped my gemstone in and as i said if you haven't set before and you want the security of knowing that you're not going to pop the gemstone out you can glue it in there mm. first um quite a lot of jewelers will glue in and then set yeah just so that it's not wobbling about i don't think it's an issue with these because they don't wobble about because they've been so beautifully made uh, it just sits in there really but that's up to you that's just an extra bit of confidence if you haven't done it before and then what i used simply to set these with um, were my setting pliers now what actually sets these apart from other pliers is they're just a bit longer in the jaws the setting pliers but i've also got another pair of just chain nose pliers that i covered in um, some tape so that it didn't mark and i use those as well so you don't even need the setting pliers and then what you want to do and it's all about being super gentle and not being too um 
sort of heavy handed, it's just a gradual process, is take your pliers and just squeeze the opposite sides of your gem and then gently just move around. Now, I'm not actually squeezing here because I'd have my head over the top, I'd be having a look and just squeeze. And then you might want to turn it around the other way. And if you can't get your pliers in because you've got it in a ring mount, then you can move that open because it's an adjustable ring. And then just squeeze. And what you'll see is that the little bit of space between your little precious metal there and your stone will start to squeeze together and hold the gemstone. And a surefire way to know whether it's set, and I'm just going to take it out, and this isn't set because I didn't squeeze then because I can't get my head over the top, is in the bottom here, you've got that gap. And if you want to check it's set, then take something soft like a cotton bud or, or whatever and poke it up through the bottom. And if that stone stays in there, then you know it's set. Sometimes it can look set, and then you'll press up from the bottom and it will come popping out. So that's yeah. how you know it isn't set. But if you can add a little bit of pressure, but don't do it with anything sharp, you don't want to mark the stone, and that stone stays where it is, then that stone is set and you're good to go. So that's literally all there is to it. If you felt that you'd misshapen your setting very slightly with your pliers or you marked it, you can get um, your sort of... Uh, I've got an agate one, but you can get the metal burnishers and you can go around the, the outside and even push that setting in even more so that, that you're just moulding that metal and this might help you sort of around the corners. You don't want to squeeze too, from the top to the bottom too much because you can pop the stone out. So you just sort of want to set around one side and then the other. If you feel you've got sort of a few little ripples, you can take um, even the back of a spoon if you don't have a burnisher and just take it very gently around until you're happy with your finish. So that is all there is to actually setting the gem. And then if you're wanting to add your briolette, we'll do that bit next. So I'll move that to the side. Now, one thing I would say with a briolette when you're wire wrapping, be very gentle because like we were saying in the drilling process, it's so delicately pointed that if you start to crush this gemstone or force a piece of wire through there that doesn't fit, you can very easily break it. And I have done that in the past. So that's something that you want to watch out for. So gently I, does it. Gently does it. Don't do it when you're in a bad mood. No. So I just clipped off the end of my ball pin and it is sort of a, a featherweight one so it goes through really nicely and then I'm just going to pop it through the top of my briolette there okay and this is just how I do it there's loads of different ways that that you can wrap a briolette and then what I do is I just take I'll do it then I'll show you my sides up into sort of a V shape now you want to make sure that the gap that you've got for your point to sit into isn't too tight because if that's too tight you're crushing your gemstone so you will kind of want to make sure that once you've made that little anchor point that your gemstone moves within it because then you're giving a free movement and when you start to wrap you're not going to get tighter and tighter on the top of that gemstone so that you crush it and you break the little drill hole because it's very very delicate okay so once we do that then what I like to do, just let me grab some little tiny pliers and then you'll be able to see what I'm doing, is just wrap around the bottom there. So I'm going to hold on to it with my pliers. Um, round nose pliers are quite good for this because they don't take up much space. And then I'm going to straighten out my top wire and either using your hands or your pliers, you want a nice tight wrap around the bottom there. Now I'm just going to do it once, which means I've got all of this silver here left over, do not throw it away. Because you can actually um, use that in your scrap pot uh, if you're doing any uh, sand casting, or you can actually weigh in your silver and get money back from it from, from bullion dealers. That's how um, precious silver is at the moment. And then once I've done that, I need to decide how big I need my, um, my hole to be. Now just let me find some round nose pliers. There we are. So you have got quite a large kind of width on this 
part here. So a little tiny loop is not going to go through there. So I use sort of the wider part of my pliers so that I can make a larger loop. So I'm going to go just above the wrap that I just did and I'm going to take it right up to the top of my pliers almost so that I'm getting a large circumference. And I'm just going to do sort of um, most of a wrap loop because I need to fit that into my little space just to make sure that it's going to fit before I wrap it. So I'm popping it in and then I just want to make sure that there's movement so this can kind of move around and it's not going to it's not going to snap. And then when I'm happy with that then I can start to form that loop. So I'm going to hold it with my round nose pliers so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to bring that into a wrap loop. And this is where you've got to be very gentle with your briolette. And you just wrap this around, either using your pliers or your fingers. Some people stop there because they like to see that point of the briolette. And other people will wrap all the way down so that the top of the briolette is covered. And that's completely up to you. Now, I kept the ball on the bottom. Yeah, it's a nice little detail. A little, that, little, eh? Yeah, a little flourish. Yeah. Um, Obviously, I'm doing it cat candy because I don't usually make in this position. It's in front of me. So I would keep going, keep going, wrap it round, wrap it round. And then when I get to the end, I would usually squeeze that in so that it adds sort of a little flourish to my ring. And then you are left with your little oh. hanging charm and your lovely ring which is adjustable so I'd wear it that way actually so that it hung down my finger and you don't need to know the person's size because you can adjust this now this is a kudos to how good this kit is that's not set I didn't squeeze it and it still hasn't come out and I've wiggled it about loads setting this is slightly wonky but you know um so these, this is a great one to start with if you haven't set gemstones before because you don't need a lot of the equipment. No. And you just need your pliers. Um, if you're worried about marking your metal, you can wrap some, I don't like, finger tape or masking tape around your pliers just so that they don't mark. Just be gentle. Just do it in little increments. Turn it round, do it in increments. Press from the bottom, make sure it's in. Um, and it's, it, was a, it was a joy to set, actually. It was one of the much easier ones. Yeah. A great one if you've not done it before. You don't need a lot of equipment. You can just do it with your pliers. Yeah, you don't need the actual tool setting kit, do you? You don't you need the tool setting kit. Um, shall we do the next one, then? Would yes, you please. choose amethyst or citrine? Amethyst. Amethyst. Oh, yeah, with the round. Now, hopefully, you've all shopped ahead on this one. Loads of people have. You know the price point, says uh, Roscoe. Yeah. I mean, for the amethyst cabochon on its own. Well, exactly. So you've got a lovely size amethyst cabochon. Um, and then you've got the slightly smaller space in this one for the briolette. So if you wanted that sort of round shape rather than the little leaf shape, this mm. one's lovely. And I love amethyst. Yeah, the quality of those amethysts are absolutely amazing. And that briolette cut show, really showcases on this recording shows how perfectly faceted our, our, you know, our gemstones are. £11.99. Look, we bring you calibrated mounts for that, don't we? Yeah. Well, this, is, this has got more silver in it because it's adjustable, so you need it to have that flexibility. Absolutely. And when you're doing a round, um, if you find that you're thinking, I can't get my pliers in, just open up that ring because it's an adjustable ring. Open it up slightly so that you can get your pliers in. And with a round, it's a bit simpler than the leaf shape yeah. because you just keep going round in a circle. You can actually move that ring round. You don't have to be mindful of, of the point squishing it and popping it out. So the round is probably the simplest. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? And they aren't they just, pretty? Yeah, so lovely. And the fact it's one size fits all, basically, because they kind of adjust to your finger itself. Um, so, yeah, obviously you can see the adjustable. We've sold, we've sold shanks at that price tag. You're more, you know, generic shanks. That's an amazing price point. It is. Um, you know, just think, could you buy that ring? Could you even buy a base metal version of probably, that ring for no, 11 No, probably not. Certainly not if you go places like Marks and Spencer's and Zara. Um, make sure you are checking out and shop ahead also on the lovely Citrine. Um, we've still got that one to come. I did I have 150 of this one as well? Um, 150 of each. And I think because you have got that, you know, the one part of the adjustable ring has got that lovely um, sort of halo. Mm. In this case, it's around. Um, you could you could sit sit glue around gemstone on there 
Oh, absolutely. You could You could fill cut it. a seat in it if you, let me if I, just let me check that you could. There's lots of potential for yeah, it. Yeah, if you're a jeweler, um, if you're a metalsmith, you with well, the round one, mm. you could cut a seat in there and set a gemstone. Yeah. Um, most certainly. And you know, if you don't want the hanging briolette part, you can use it as a matching necklace or whatever. Yeah, separate them. I if you love want. the drop. I and love me, the I think it's really I, I I would probably put more gemstones on it. I would probably put more of the little seed pearls on So a there. couple of seed pearls either side yeah. or, so that you've got a cluster of gemstones would be beautiful. Ah, uh, let's do the citrine. And this is all about the oval. Oh, it's hard to choose. But mind you, at 11 99 I'm not going to have to, are we? Not really. And I, I mean, that's moved its way up to the top. But you could, you can see that you've got space to have a little cluster. Do you remember those cocktail rings that we used to have? So you have the shank and then you had like, essentially a jump ring on the top. Yeah. And then you'd put loads and loads of gemstones on. So it all jangled around on your finger. Yeah. You could do that kind of design. Yeah. So you could totally customise it. Wow. You know where it's going to. Um, again, Seven by seven and a half by five and a half millimeter oval flying out on pre order. You've got your six by eight beautiful faceted briolette. They're not drops. I've had this conversation with the team behind the scenes. I was like, Look, there's a difference between a drop and a briolette. There definitely is. And then, do you know what the answer was? If you want to change them all out on the system, you can. I was like, Fair enough. But moving forward, we should be calling these briolettes because that is what they are, and they are more expensive briolette cuts. Normally, I think, I think so, and they yeah. just like you said, they we're just... doing it disservice calling it a drop, exactly. Exactly, basically. Um, if you see where we're coming from with that, I'm glad it's not just me, Debbie. It's not, and look at the facets, it's just not the same as a drop. No, it's it really isn't. difficult, really difficult to facet. So, there's so many of you there. Um, hello to you, Paula, uh, Ayrshire, Cheshire, uh, Holland, hello to you, Miriam, Marie, Nicola, hello to you, Nicole, Sharon, Gwyneth, Tina, Jackie, Sharon, June, Paulie, Mariska, Wiltshire, Sandra, Heather, Peter, hello to you, Anonymous Maker, Anne, Colette, Mary, Ruby, Belinda, Sharon, Pat, I can't keep up with all of you. We had 150 of each of these kits. £11.99 means I can get all three for £36. Do you know, I went to um, get a few extra bits and my son was 18 last week and I went in a sweet shop. You know those kind of bijou sweet shops? Like retro? Yeah. And like they had a couple of like American sweets in there. And do you know that they were more than this for a packet of sweets and just like three cans of American Coke or something? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a whole business in there. You know, do you remember um, Dion that used to work here? Yes. Dion. Yeah. She does. What she does. She's does got she? A, yeah, she's got a, um, a retro sweet shop. Cool. Um, which is cool. Yeah, I've got Christmas presents from her before. Um, let's do some lovely pearl earrings, shall we? Beautiful. Look how perfectly colour matched these are. And I'm going to try and position them so that the drill holes... There we go. So the drill holes at the top of both of these, so you can actually see how perfect the shape is. Um, they are. And in fact, didn't we see these made up on the Wall of Fame? Didn't Alan make yeah. these? He did. He I'm sure he did. These are the ones that he said was a profit. Um, yes, maker. I'm sure. Yeah, there you go. Oh, they're lovely, made up. Thank Alan. Look, there we go. We're using your beautiful jewellery as demonstrations. Beautiful. Um, and don't forget, pill ten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're lovely, aren't they? Like little, again, organic, kind of like they're growing. What's the fruit, the orange fruit? Yeah, the little one that you get in restaurants on the top of the... Oh, lychee. No, no. no. I, want, I want to say something, but it sounds like something else, so I need to be sure I say it right. Uh, um, you know, the orange ones, what are they called? No. <laughs> you know the ones? Huh? <laughs> He's, He's left the room. Yeah. You know the orange ones with the kind of like frilly top? They look a little bit like that. Not pineapple. Is it a kumquat? Is it? That wasn't the word I was thinking Is of. Is it little? Yes. The little round, yellow, orangey ones. Are they kumquats? Are they? That wasn't the word I was thinking of. But yeah, I, yeah they look they a bit do similar. Look like them. They or do, cherry don't tomatoes. They? Ah, beautiful. Natural golden pearls with this beautiful, almost like a, um, a starfish as well, with that yes. movement. 
little leaves. Beautiful. Um, which are, by the way, actually set with genuine colourless topaz. Plus, you also get the halos. Don't forget to use your Pearl 10 code because, yes, we are in the month of June. Can you believe it? Um, and that means you're getting 10% off that as well. £39.99. How about we take these under £20 and you can still use your Pearl 10 code? Yes, please. Thank you to, to Alan for showing us how they how beautifully they look when they're actually completed. And it's only a, a dab of what? Yeah. Hypo cement or E6000? Yeah. yeah. Any of those will do. £19.99 straight away. We've got multi buyers, Durham, Vanessa. Use your Pearl 10 code because that gets you. I bet you loads of you made loads of savings today on your pearls. Oh, today's been amazing for pearls. I mean, well, for everything, for our little faceted gemstones and the topaz, we've had some amazing bits and pieces today. Beautiful. So that's working out at what? Uh, £18. £18, pretty much. How good's that? I know, amazing. I mean, uh, but they are flying out. We have got multi buyers getting involved as well. It's high end jewellery. If you do things like your um, bridal boutiques or, you know, of June yes. babies, but to be honest, I love pearl earrings. They're the come I go to really. Me too. I wear pearl earrings. I very rarely anything. wear anything else than pearls True. in different varieties. <laughs> True. And these have got that lovely movement. Well done. Multi buyers getting involved. Congratulations to you all. Time has absolutely flown by this uh, this morning. It really this has. afternoon. Gone absolutely flying. Um, lots of you still checking out on um, on Debbie's beautiful masterclass as well. Um, I can squeeze in some toggles. Oh, yes. Hang on a minute. Sorry, Dan. I will sort this out after. Um, now, these are your perfect summer bright colours. If you've got the three gemstones, um, the adjustable rings, and maybe you're looking for the perfect toggles to go alongside, then this is them. Oh, I've seen these. They're gorgeous. Oh, they're amazing, aren't yeah. they? Do you know what they go to, Debbie? I can't remember, but I know it was amazing. Yeah, it's, it is unbelievable. So you've got your matching gemstones plus an extra Rajasthan garnet. So if you look, toggles, um, we launched them together, Yeah, I we think. did. Because yes, you we were talking about how difficult it is to set a gemstone in a toggle. And isn't there, yes, that's it, we did. Yeah, because you've got citrine, amethyst, oh, Rajasthan garnet, and, sorry, say that again, peridot, amethyst, Rajasthan garnet and citrine. Obviously all that sterling silver. Um, and we were talking about making these into lariats at the front, That's right. Didn't we? we were showing the mulberry yeah. necklace, weren't we? Yeah. We were showing the uh, Ralph Lauren, lots yeah. of big designers using the toggles, not just as a class, but a class that you feature at the front of the decolletage. That's right. Yeah, we did. That's right. And we all loved that mulberry yeah. necklace. What we didn't love was the £500 <laughs> price tag, did we? No. Um, and they weren't gemstone set. They had a pearl, didn't they? One big prop, uh, Brock pearl. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Yeah, that's R remind me. R remind me the gram weight of these. Eight oh, no. grams. They're substantial because we. I think we held them up against um, a lovely gemstone strand, and it just you know something like the pearls that people got today, and yeah. having this sort of strand on the back, how beautiful. Amazing, but I would be inclined to wear that, these at the front. Oh, me too. I often use the things that are supposed to be functional as decorative as well because I love the metal. Yeah. Especially if you've got gemstones in. Yeah, absolutely. Win -win. But you, you, you're right, I agree. If you're looking for that clasp that's functional but is that extra. Yeah, it just adds that little something. Yeah, totally agree. Um, we had only a few of those left and they've absolutely flown out now. I have got... Is that in a box? Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what. I like the box. Forget what's well, in it. Well, it's, this is our coveted collection. So we've been broadcasting for 13 years here at Jewelry Maker. And the coveted collection is what we consider the best ever, ever, mm -hmm. of 13 years. Rubellite. Now, what is rubellite? It's, it, it's one of the rarer colours of your tourmalines. And 
there is a big difference between a pink tourmaline and a rubellite. Basically, a rubellite needs to maintain that strong reddish pink color under every single lighting condition. Here it is in the light box oh. with that rubellite color. Here it is in the studio with that rubellite color. This is so collectible, so rare. Um, completely and utterly natural. Tourmaline is a type three gemstone, so it can actually have some quite significant inclusions within. We kind of accept that. It kind of goes with the territory, but yet yeah, not the case here. You'll remember, we've brought you probably thousands upon thousands oh. of strands of, uh, of tourmaline through, uh, through the years, 13 years. And for this to say, right, that's the best we've ever bought. That's breathtaking, that's It is, isn't it? Yeah. I know, amazing. And at 1,299 pounds, that's unbelievable. It's no way near there. <laughs> Stunning, isn't it? I don't know what this is going to, oh wow. <laughs> okay. To put this into perspective, that's like getting your Pareva Tourmaline at a double figure price tag, yeah. to put this into perspective. Yeah. I think we'd all agree, Indicolite, Rubellite, Pareva, they are the most valuable, most expensive, most sought after colours of the tourmaline. And if you have yeah. any of those in jewellery, the price of the jewellery, even if it's like the kits I just did with three different yeah. gemstones, it's so much more expensive with this. Absolutely. In. Look at that colour though. It is the best I've seen here at Jewellery Maker. Oh, amazing. Um, amazing. We're running out of time. Woo! It's been a lot of fun this Friday. I'm back with you bright and early in the morning for more incredible, incredible deals. It is going to be a wonderful show. We've got a gemstone launch as well coming Ooh. up on Sunday with Dave. Alison in the morning. Um, thank you, beautiful. Oh, when thank are you, you for having me. I think it's next Saturday. Next Saturday? 17th, is that? So I don't. Yeah, yeah next yeah. Saturday. Is that right? Um, so make sure you tune in for that. I'll see you bright and early in the morning where I'm joined by the lovely, lovely Alison. Um, have a little look for those of you that have just tuned in. Have a little look back on the website because we have got uh, loads of amazing deals. Don't forget to use your pearl tent. Yes, it's Mark with me as well on Sunday, ah. so that's going to be incredible. Um, have a little look on the website. Like I said, loads of deals there. It's been a lot of fun today. It's gone it? so quickly. Right, do your, fa your TV watching face and we'll see you tomorrow. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.